Good afternoon and welcome to Sydney Parade Sunday. After yesterday's absolutely thrilling four-run victory for Pembroke's thirds, they take the field again today. Four changes to their team. Always difficult to get the same 11 for a double header. And there's been a number of changes. And the first change that you'll notice as viewers, if you're watching yesterday's game, is a change of opener. Ethan Clark is there. But Bouchan Baviscar, after his reverses yesterday, he scored a very quick five in pursuit of runs. And he'll be opening the batting. And Greystone's Chris Peniston Bird will be opening the bowling from the St. John's end. And we're just moments away from the start of this game now. Neutral umpires again, such a vital part of the game yesterday. So there we go, and umpire calls play, and we're underway. Shortest run up. Paniston relying more on guile than on a sheer outright pace. the thirds really do attempt to take a stranglehold on Division 7 with two wins before April the 15th. It would be ideal. Bouchan with a big swing of the bat on this occasion. He was done by the guile. Peniston, Peniston Bird will be delighted to see that. We have our first viewer of the day. Welcome. This time a bit shorter. Just played away. Two hundred and twenty one runs scored yesterday, plus the addition of penalty runs. And it ended up that penalty runs were the difference between winning and losing yesterday. So I wonder if Greystones would have heard that and pick up on that lesson. <laughs> Lots of appeals. First over. Plenty of appeals. Dot ball. Not out. Paniston Bird a little aggrieved. Still discussing things with the umpire. That's much closer, given not out again. <coughs> Bouchan not getting his footwork going at the moment. Peniston Bird is causing him all sorts of problems with these dipping in swinging Yorkers. One a bit fuller on the offside, played out to point, dot ball. And that fence ends the first over with a maiden. Well, he'll be slightly aggrieved, but Bavisar will be delighted to still be there. First over gone. Not
Clark off the mark with two between well the first leap and the keeper. And now he picks up another single. Gets down to the non-striker's end. And one bail came off. <laughs> one bail came Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot to do it again. I meant to give the umpires the light-up bulbs. We've got oh. our bails this morning. Oh, damn it. It wasn't to happen. I'm sure they need batteries anyway. Yeah. Were they a parting gift? No, I bought them myself. Oh, I thought they were keyboards. Ooh, early doors. Anyway, no free hits, so just one extra. Can you not? It's a habit. Okay. If I'm in court, I'm not allowed oh, to label. toast and labels and ah. stuff. I'm not allowed to be drinking back there, to be honest with you. Mm. And it's certainly... It never stopped the judge. <laughs> there are certainly <laughs> rules against me eating my muffin in the morning. <laughs> you tell oh, cut away. Just over. A playing arm, a gully. Well fielded. This time using his hands rather than the feet. That's uh, a fine piece of fielding. <laughs> well fielded, sir. <laughs> he got down to that one nicely. <coughs> Prevented any more runs. But nice shot cut away by Bouchan. Yeah. Oh, opening today. Yes, Noah Smith is at the under-23s training today. Ah, I'm yes. available for today's game. Doesn't stop his dad from doing the live scoring. Yeah. And for that, we're eternally grateful. Not a fan of the under <coughs> Noah Abzal, the bowling from the Park Lane end, the Wilfield Road end, and the nursery end. Good follow through from the bowler. Good to see. <coughs> yeah, not a fan of the under 23s. Okay. Well, that's just another way of taking players away from a club. We are if they're playing better cricket because they're playing against the top 23s in the country, then there's, there's some merit to it. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd third, argue the standard. A third, a third game against Greystones? It's or a 23s game? I, you know, there's, there's merit for it. Underage. And why should underage just stop when you become an adult? No, but yeah, I'd, I'd argue on the standard. You'd argue? Yeah. <laughs> Graham, arguing? What now? <laughs> I'll, I'll discuss it. I'll sit down calmly and discuss the merits. Well, if he sits down calmly and discusses the merits, I do believe that's one of the four, four horsemen galloping over the, over the horizon. And behold, a man rode upon a pale horse. And his name was... <laughs> so, Peniston third. He was maiden in his first over. And he'll consider himself hard done by not to have picked up one LBW. But on this occasion now, he's got a different batsman. Another fresh batsman for him. Played so away on the offside. No run there. So after yesterday's game, do you think the skipper um, said anything to Bouchon about playing reverse sweeps, first body faces? No. <laughs> I said nothing. <laughs> he's an opener this time. Yeah. That's all I'm going to I'm very Before much I'm so. Network. Yeah. No, no, completely different role today. Nicely played. Calls the single. Gets through for it quite handily. Well run. Just shows the skill of the man. He can play up and down the order. Whatever he's asked of by his captain. Well, over 900 runs last season. It seems to suggest that perhaps he may have been playing on a team too low. He actually scored more runs for the thirds than he did for the fourths last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. That was one of the stats I heard from. Me. Uh, our commentator, one of our five commentators yesterday. Shots. Bouchan drives this one straight down the ground. The field is going to get there yeah. and use his feet okay. uh, to decent effect. I would assume he's well practiced with that uh, blocking method. Oh, I have to say, I'd be wearing shin pads and ankle guards before I start throwing mm. my feet in the way of the ball like that. I assume same track as yesterday? Uh, yes, I assume so as well. Yeah. Otherwise, the other one has recovered remarkably <laughs> yeah. quickly. Well, you can't argue with 400 runs on the first day of the season on a track. Well, that's another one. Practically 80 <laughs> overs bowled on it. He is causing problems, Peniston mm. Bird. Well, I can speak of the joys of bowling left arm over trying to get LBW. It is a difficult, uh, difficult one. You've got the angle. You've, you've got if you get any movement in the air. Seems to be almost getting too much movement for the liking of the umpire. This one played away on the offside. 
defensive push. Keep the law changes over the years to make it more difficult. Well, same as yesterday, that wind is, is yes. biting. I brought an extra layer. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I might put it on now, actually. I took my long coat off Amanda today. I got my schnood, or whatever you call them. Nicely played again by Clark, just keeping that out. Peniston Bird, another good over. He's only gone for two from his first two overs. Clark has moved on to four. And Bavistar is on three. But a steady enough start for Pembroke. Greystones playing themselves into the innings. Again, it's amazing to see the different levels of clothing around the fielding side. Some guys have gone with undershirts. Others are wearing sweatshirts over the top. And I'm sitting here in a T-shirt, rugby shirt, hoodie, quarter vest, and my biggest, heaviest coat ever. I'm basically wearing a blanket. I've got a lovely shot through the offside. That's got to run away to the boundary. Oh. There's no stopping that. And that is shot of the day yes. thus far. Lovely shot. Four more on to the total for Pembroke. Yeah. Lovely rock back. Long the ground all the way. Just what you want. Fielder standing right in front of the commentators. To revert to the same view you have. That one wide again and driven again into the covers. This time the fielder was in the right spot. A dot ball. Bouchan's not going to hang around either way, is he? He's, he's not a Jeffrey Boycott opener, is he? He's just a man who sees the ball so well from ball one. He so trusts his, his skills. See ball, hit ball. Well, I, I, th I think that's a lot a to be said for see ball, hit ball in fairness. Well, I think that's a bit of a disservice to his skill level. It's, it's not just hit ball. He... Uh, as you can see from that shot, a beautiful rock back on the ground all the way to the boundary. He can play his reverse sweeps for six, for four. He has seems to have all the skills. To go with your coffee. Thank you. You said the magic word. <laughs> so, just again out into the offsides, and no run. But a decent enough start. Um, just judging from the first over and a bit here, or two overs and a bit. Now, di definitely different um, styles. Not just left arm, right arm, but um, I'd say so far the accuracy from one end has been a little bit better. Well, Peniston Bird has certainly been there or thereabouts on the mark each mm. time. His, his lengths just feel the right length for this kind of time of year and pitch. Very much so. You're not going to get any extra bounce out there, no matter how good Dale is. Well, this time of year, and with the recent rain, yeah, that's 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 where you want the ball. That makes your captain happy. Bouchan Bavistar keeping that one out. It's the end of the fourth over. The score has moved on to 13, and it's a solid, if unspectacular, start by the Pembroke openers. Mm. And a good start from the Greystones bowlers. We, yeah. we haven't seen the loose bowling, the wides that we no. saw yesterday. Over 100 extras yeah. yesterday. I, I was just going to say, it's a similar scoring start for Pembroke today. However, yesterday it was all wides. There was nothing off the bat at yep. this stage. Um, yeah, neither captain from yesterday's game would have been happy with their bowlers on the extras front. Again, that's a good line. Good land. You, it's just a the, the joys of being a captain when you try to set a plan, dream up the night before what you're going to do, what? everything, put everything in place, the right fielder where you want them, and then your bowler just <laughs> throws it all away with something down leg. Yeah, too often uh, you set a field for a bowler and he doesn't. Uh, there's enough out there, Graham, that somebody should be able to do it. Side screen being moved for the left arm over bowler. Give it two deliveries before Peniston Bird actually switches to round the wicket. And we're <laughs> going to have a lot of messing with the side screen today. 
again. It ruins our dead eye look for LBWs, etc. Makes it slightly trickier. You may notice today we didn't really have the this camera working yesterday because of the high winds. That's just a, a stab at that by Clark. Uh, but you'll notice the camera is giving us a different angle. It's far higher than it was last mm. season. Oh, oh, you can yes. see it's probably about another yard, three foot or so. Hip, pu hip puberty over the over the winter. Well, growth spurt. Niles put it up there, but as he said himself, he wouldn't want to go much higher because it just no. becomes wobbly. Oh. That's nicely clipped away off his toes. It will just be a single, but nice shot from yeah. from Boosh. Oh no, from sorry. Ethan Clark. Ethan, Ethan is with the red, yeah, the long red. Easy to make out now that I've spotted. And I decided not to try and center it up because that's, yeah. that's good enough. Yeah, no. It stays there, it'll do. No. That's good. We were saying about the, the you can see the different angle now, a bit higher. And the track. And Bouchan drives it straight, mm -hmm. and the misfield doesn't cost anything. You can see Bouchan is certainly wanting to test out the weight of his bat. Using his feet already to try to negate some of the the good lengths this bowler has been uh, employing so far. He's certainly a jittery batsman. He's not going to... Oh, and it's, it's, it's a tough chance, but it's put down. He managed to get there. It took a lot of effort to get to where he did, but he was in, in in place there, but mistimed his dive, really. Yeah, and, and, uh, yeah he had more time, fact, actually. Over dove the yeah, ball. Yeah. His hands went, in fact, too far, and he couldn't pull them back. I think he could have actually gotten a few more steps into it, yeah. maybe. I think, yeah, he, yeah he, t he thought he had to dive before he dived. Yeah. But it was still a great effort. Look, Pembroke will be hoping he comes to rue that. Right back to it from the bowler. It's very good. You can see Peniston Bird just running his hand across the seam as he's coming in to mm. bowl that last delivery, looking to get it to move away from the right-hander. It finishes the over. There's five gone now. And Pembroke have moved on to 15 without loss. And it's that without loss that they'll be most pleased yes. with. Yes, oh, definitely. It's, as we see so yesterday, this is a pitch that can yield over 400 or 200 <laughs> runs per side. So par is about 190, 200, depending on your bowling attack. Well, par yesterday was 250. 225. <laughs> well, if you take the average score if, of the two sides. Yeah, if you take away that 12th batsman for both sides. Well, yes. I, I, I would suspect so far, just judging by the extra so far, Greystones have granted only two bowlers, but some, they, they've certainly been honing in on that off stump very well so far. I was talking to one of yesterday's umpires earlier on today, Declan Ryan of the Greystones Club. He's obviously down here to support his own club. I was going to say he's not playing. But uh, he came down and he was very complimentary about the coverage. He mm -hmm. went home last night, got himself a bottle of wine. <laughs> and as the level of the bottle of wine went down, his appreciation of the stream went up. Oh, excellent. So that's, that's our key. We need every, uh, send us your name and address and we'll send the bottle of wine to all our viewers. Jeez, Graham, I'll give you my name and address. I already know one, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, another delivery just yeah. cut away by, by yeah. Ethan Clark just finding the fielder, unfortunately. Just trying to pierce that infield. Ball looks again to cut. The ball wasn't there for that. Again, he, same troubles as yesterday, sitting on his back foot. He just oh, needs right. to try you, to get forward a bit more. It was a bit t yesterday, he, he missed one that was a little too straight to cut and was bold. And that, again, the length was wrong for that shot. I think two needs to get over those South African pitches. Take away on the leg side, he'll take his single, get safely down to the non striker's end. A square leg can't do anything about the single. Well, it look, certainly looks a bit rainy down the Liffey Valley at the moment. Yeah, nothing on the north side, it was fine. It was cloudy and grey, but yeah. no rain or anything. Cloudy and grey, we can cope with. Yeah, well, we'll shiver away for your benefit out there. Again, God, I was cold yesterday. Yeah, I went home and I had soup. I went to the bar and had whiskey. 
Well, I left a bit earlier than you, and I was driving. I woke up at half seven this morning. For some reason, I felt I needed uh, some aspirin <laughs> and a cup of tea. Yeah, I thought and that was I your thought, general and breakfast. Then I, and then I thought, do you know what? I could go back to bed. Oh no, it's eight o'clock. It's too late. I'll wake Amanda up if I go back now. And she'll so kill I stayed you. upstairs, stayed downstairs, waited for her to come down, and then we went to the Orange Goat for breakfast this morning. Oh, you do love that place. Um, I'm surprised we we're not asking for sponsorship at this stage. Well, you used to sponsor YMCA. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Put that on the list. But an excellent breakfast place if, if you're in the area of Sunday Mint and fancy a good breakfast. So, Nazwa Bazal, he's gone for 12 off three overs. And Pembroke are scoring at three and over. Yeah, that's a nice steady start. As we were saying yesterday, although the score was 220 odd versus 220 odd, a lot of them were down to extras. So, if your bowlers can bowl a good line in length, this 180 is about par with this time of year. Yeah, taking extras out of the equation, you're probably about right, and anything over 180 is going to be difficult to chase. Yeah. As I said, the thirds have made four changes to their side from yesterday. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you what they are, but I know that Jordan Kelly is in the side today. Noah Smith is out of the side today. Stu McDonald. Stu McDonald is in. Yes, that's another one I saw. No one shy is playing. It's for the game for Pembroke. There you go, you see, it's all happening. Oh, that one just going past the outside edge. Bouchan's bat through to the keeper. Got a f bit of enthusiasm amongst the players in the field. Here's the team. Subra's playing. Stu mm. McDonald's so playing. Show new. Yeah. Yep. A shed a catch, but no, safely to the boundary. Lovely. Four more. Clip to the boundary. Another four onto the total. Gracias. Can you see okay with there? It's trying to see over the top. It yeah. makes me sit up straight. <laughs> oh, better for posture. Yeah. What is our delay from screen to... No, that's pretty much... Yeah. Well, that's, if you want to see what the delay is, you have to look at the screen over there, which is uh, actually the YouTube broadcast. Ah, uh, yes. But what we're watching is pretty much live. Right, great. Before and then before YouTube get hold of it. And, and, and not being the technical side of the... ...today, and, and as I say, Declan Ryan went home and watched the, the entire game again. And wow. was was extremely complimentary about uh, said production. How late and did he stay up? And especially the the uh, commentators. Yeah. Well, we 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 do our best. Usually sober. Oh look! If if I had won the lottery and I didn't have to work Monday oh, to Friday, yes. you'd spend that time sort of prepping for a game and yeah. you'd know guys' stats yeah. and stories and the whole yeah. lot. Unfortunately, with a full-time career, I say career, with a full-time job behind me as well, yeah. it's very hard to find the time to uh, the impossible. investigate. And also, yeah. you have no idea who the opposition are going to pick. Well, exactly. Now, that is improving there, with the with the cricket clubs set up now. You can see they are encouraging clubs to put the teams in as early as possible. And they are going up on that app, so you can see the opposition, you know, and they're trying to get them up there. So year on year, it is improving. And it it's, will continue yes. to do so as the technology yeah. improves, yeah. I'm sure. But I, it, what you're saying there about that, that preparation, it always reminds me of when I saw the documentary on Sky Sports about Sid Waddell and his and his notebook. Oh. Yeah, ever, like, it, the guy was a genius of the one-liners, but it wasn't by accident. I was up in Murrayfield um, behind the scenes for a, a women's Six Nations game, and one of the places I got to visit behind the scenes was the media box. Uh, obviously called the Bill McLaren obviously. media centre. What else would you call but it? One of the framed pictures on the wall was an A4 sheet of his his notes mm. that he took into a game. And firstly, God bless his eyesight. <laughs> Just so small. Yeah, I'd have gone A3 <laughs> on it at least. 
but he, he got fitted all this information and you could see, see as, as, as he'd used the information he'd, he'd cross it out yeah so he wasn't repeating the same fact oh, again brilliant. and again and again Ah, it's just the sheer professionalism. Yeah. But again, it was time preparation. He had time to prepare for yeah. these things. Yeah, it's his job. It was his job, and it's. I'm sure in our jobs, we're just as prepared every day in what we do, in serving the public. Again, you can speak for yourself. <laughs> the complaints cabinet. Oh, there's all. a call. Yes, uh, no. A I'm only asking because Amanda's on her way up there now to go and get brackets. So remember, for your brackets needs, woodies, woodies, woodies. Shot. Again, just un unable to pierce that infield. And again, the enthusiasm of the two mm. fielders either side and covering behind. That's what you want in your covers. Oh, do you, do you remember? It's a good way of staying warm out there today, I'd say, if you're only wearing a yeah. polyester. Shirt. Of a single. Clark wishing he could have got back for the second, but it wasn't to be on this occasion. Do you remember that game we played in Greystones a couple of years ago? And that cover fielder for, for Greystones, his hands were like glue and the ball just kept coming to him. It was brilliant that day. Yeah, he may in fact be playing for their ones today. Well, down Bruce the track Ram. again. Feet. Very, very... Uh, positive. Positive. I think it's the only way we can describe that. Yeah. He's, he's just looking to get on top. He, he's always looking... He, every... If you off your legs, it would go into the dining room. <laughs> and that was a boundary. And that was, I think yeah, that was a boundary as if you got it through the door. As opposed to anything hit straight, yeah. which would bounce off walls and the such like. Again, bat involved. Throw wide of the stumps. Direct hit may have been interesting. Yeah. Wide of the stumps wasn't. And no signal from the umpire. So, yeah, I do suspect a bit of bat involved. Well, there's a sight you don't see very often. I see off to the left. Uh, Ashley Bell Burney without a pram. <laughs> he was here last night pushing the pram around. I don't even know if said child was in said pram. But well, they're, they're training to before they're given the child. They have to put in at least 100 miles of just pushing the pram. Six lessons. Yeah. Oh, it's 12 now for, dry, for, the, for the lessons. They passed the theory test. And then he'll be allowed out by himself with yeah. the child in the pram. Yeah. But yes, uh, one of the upgrades the club is about to put in is a baby changing table. Well, Playtime. Certainly, it, it, I think this is my possibly my third hmm. set of Pembroke turning into a nursery. Uh, Bouchard oh, goes big, big. there's a fielder underneath he it. He's going to get to there, and he does take it. He missed one earlier on, but on this occasion, a slightly more difficult catch, I'd say. Well, it was oh, it, something over your shoulder is never easy, but he kept his eyes on the ball. They never left the ball and um, moved his feet well. 
Dushan will be very, very disappointed. It was, it was very early in the innings to be playing shots like that. Well, he was on 12 from 28, and the 29th delivery came down, and he had a big swipe, and he didn't get as much of it as he needed or as he wanted, and that sees him trudging back to the clubhouse. And yeah. here it is. Our first something of the day? No. Oh, Whoa. well, that's, that's... That's interesting. Well, that's very okay, interesting. Now, uh, you know, yeah, that, that seems okay, that's a bit worrying what's going to come on screen now. Okay, if this turns into a snuff movie. <laughs> no. well, and there he is, back to play. Yeah. No, no, but... but, but Bouchan, yeah. well, it was, a, it was a loose shot as it turned out. If he'd got a little bit more to the middle of the bat, it would have cleared the fielder, yes. and we'd all be saying, what a great shot. No, true, but that is the margin of error, especially for an opener. Um, if we are only in the fifth over. This is... Penniston Bird has definitely been the pick of the two bowlers so far. With ninth it, over. Oh, sorry, I'm reading that wrong. Sorry, his four, sorry, his his fifth over. Penniston Bird's fifth over. He's definitely been the pick. You know, he only gets eight overs. You should have been. And Bruce straight away, punching no. one through the offside. Yeah. It beats the fielders, oh, and this time the footwork doesn't come off. Uh, it's still only one. At the moment, and the backing up ensures it remains one. So Whaley off the mark from his first ball, and suddenly we've got a pair in the middle when the average age must be about 16. Do you, do you think his own teammates kind of don't know what's going to happen any given ball? We, oh, so far today we've had two stop with the feet, one brilliant stop with, with the hands, a great catch. Morning, James. Ooh, call. Not, not the out. Pitch. There was a noise, but yeah, it wasn't bat, on, bat on ball. Bat on pitch. And that's the end of the over. And the breakthrough has been made from Greystone's point of view. 26 for one after nine overs. Um, you, you, might, uh, you dropped our hanky over there. You dropped your hanky over there. That's five penalty runs, mate. Graham, if you want to go and do that, go and do that over there. What's not here. Yeah, but you're shouting oh, into a microphone. Sorry. So don't do that. And don't be commentating or umpiring the game. The umpires are there to do that. James Cresswell, one of our viewers. He was speaking about the commentary dropping out on occasion. Everything dropping out. There was a camera change. <sighs> Final round of the Masters tonight. Will you be cute? I don't have Sky Sports. I miss BBC. Yeah, BBC I, used to cover the final round. I loved watching it, even the highlights. Ever since yeah. Sky Sports got involved, though, it used to be they only covered the final two rounds. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, even even the American networks yeah. didn't cover the first two days, really? and then and then it became uh, Sky Sports got involved, and money got involved, yeah. and Tiger Woods was involved, and suddenly they've now got cameras at every yeah. hole and yeah. multiple cameras oh. and. The coverage is something else, it really oh, is. I, the commentary, unfortunately, Im involves Nick Felder. <laughs> and I haven't had the pleasure. He he comes out with the weirdest things sometimes. Um, Sir Nick. Sir Nick, yes. And deservedly so. Uh, oh, that's, that's, a, that's out. That is dead. That's leg stump. Uh, I well, Clark has missed that one That's and is a taken a state stump out of the ground. In his first or second over? Two overs, uh, two wickets. Greystone's cock a hope at the moment. Mm. And Ethan Clark, well, he is trudging off. He's disappointed with that one. It must have been a big gate. Because that, that, that didn't take any of middle, any of off. It was all leg stump.
But again, the the, the conditions definitely. Uh, if you if you were able to swing the ball, you would swing the ball today. Well, yes, if you were a swing bowler and you couldn't swing it in, the, no. in these conditions, yeah. you're never going to swing it. No. Uh, it's the sort of conditions where you get a Terry Alderman would move to Ireland to get these conditions. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> He'd be the happiest swing bowler in the world. Phil Blackley now is coming in at number four. Didn't really get going yesterday. No. But uh, he's certainly capable, we know that. Again, a previous leading r run scorer on this team, so. Very much so. Yeah. And a previous captain as well for a number of years. Saw the thirds through some difficult times. And then Bill Whaley came on board and suddenly the age profile of the side <laughs> changed dramatically. Well, they're all here on merit, so yeah, if, you're if you're good enough, you're old enough. But it just means a little bit easier. To, uh, send out the young ones to field on the boundary. We'll stay in the slips. Yes, indeed. to face his first delivery it's outside off and he does have a big swipe at it to no effect but good to see him getting his feet moving early oh, that's what you want, po po it? positive front foot that's what you want on this track but you know, maybe a little less movement with the bat so early but anyway again if he'd hit it Well played, nice defensive shot. Yeah. Saw it was a bit shorter this time, coming back into the body. Just played it with a straight bat. It's the end of the over, 27 mm. for two. And I think Greystones are going to be the happier of the two oh, teams. So, definitely, your 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 first change bowler takes a wicket. That's that's a, that's perfect. But uh, he's a lovely high action. So you know, and it he's was a lovely it. wicket. Ah, to see nothing. the stump coming yeah. out like that so early in the year. So, change, change of bowling from the St. John's Road end. Well, they did use mm. Peniston Bird for three. Uh, for five overs, he has three left. Mm -hmm. So, have they over bowled him? Should they make well, this change a little bit earlier? But then again, if, if, if this bowler comes in and does the same job as, as the guy from the other end, it's perfect captaincy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, would it, you, it, would it you have liked to have kept one of Peniston Bird's overs? Well, it just depends on what as a captain what you have in the bag because sometimes deciding who your opening bowler is ah well who wants to open today because all four of you are similar you're all good you'll all ball line and length so it, it won't and again you can over you can sometimes overthink the the final five overs because again no matter how good your plan is batsmen in the final five overs it doesn't matter who's bowling to them sometimes yep sometimes you almost don't want your openers yeah, at that stage yeah. because the batsman's looking for something that he can count on, whether it be length, speed, mm. bounce. Kirk yeah. it is, bowling from the St. John's end. He's clipped away on the leg side for just a single down towards the clubhouse. So now we've seen four of the Greystones mm -hmm. bowlers and we're still only in the 11th over. Which is, which is good for Greystones. They've had an excellent start again. Extras have been very few and far between. Not get so it really far well, yesterday. So anyway. so far. Um, ah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> but but the, as compared to yesterday, the, there was always that release valve for the batsman. They knew, oh, we're getting at least one run in this over without doing anything. Yep. Camera were lucky if it was only one. Yeah. No, it, 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 it was definitely, uh, you'd, you'd like to think from both sides, early season woes. Clipped away through the offside in front of Point. Point fielder no. isn't the one to get it. And then there's a discussion about whether there should be a second run. They decide against it. Phil would be slightly slower than uh, Bruce between These the wickets. These two need to, uh, need to establish themselves now. A few overs of just pushing it around. Working, finding the pace. Yeah. Bruce Whaley, well, he got a few yesterday. That one's yeah. well wide down the offside, and Whaley leaves that one well alone, and that adds another one to the Pembroke total. Well, there we were talking about how good uh, the, both sides, or rather Greystones, have been mm. with their bowling this morning, a, a distinct lack of wides, mm. and suddenly we get two in the first over as soon as yeah. we start talking about it. Well, should we ta start talking more? <laughs> no balls, no balls. Oh, 
That one just flying past the arm of the outstretched fielder. Despairing dive. It runs down to third. There is a fielder down there, and so that's all they get from that one. Again, I give Kirk the benefit since it's his first over. It's good lengths he's bowling. Yeah, I, it's, I, it's again, it's the line that they're mm. worried about. And, and again, yesterday I felt that the Pembroke bowlers were overstriding yes. and and trying too hard to. I suspect that's going down leg. Yeah, well, that was certainly in, in the case of one delivery where a batsman was bowled up with a foot no ball. Yeah, uh, they were just striving too much to show their mm. pace in, instead of demonstrating their accuracy, mm. perhaps. And uh, mm. as a result, there were a large number of extras in yesterday's game. Well, the, be the best. Oh, that's it. Well, yeah, that's, 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 that's simple. That's <laughs> not a good ball. And Kirk, he well, uh, dragged he, the arm across, followed be, him. Yeah, he'll be looking. Uh, try and get out of this yeah. over now. He's only one ball left, and yet mm -hmm. he's bowled three wides now. Nine ball over, always mm. always draining for oh. a bat, bat, bowler, and especially if it's your first over, because you're yeah. then going to think, well, what, what, what do I change? Seven, what yeah. do I do? Much better delivery. He, he, he's, he's got no dark up here. He's been given. He's not. Oh, he has been given. And Blackley departs. He's looking back at the pitch for some reason, but that one's taken the edge, and what an over that was. Three wides, a wicket, and three singles. Well, a bit of everything there. Greystones were, were without doubt that it was a wicket. The umpire, I was suspecting he was waiting for Blackley to walk. It looked as if he was Oh, he certainly gave the batsman time to go, yeah. and Blackley wasn't going, and the way he's so, trudging yeah, off, he doesn't seem not. particularly happy yeah. with his dismissal. Now, it may be he's not particularly happy with himself. He did dig the bat down, so he may suspect he, it was it was him digging into the turf. Yeah, you know it's but hard. Thirty-three for three. Oh, Greystone's on top here. Very much so. Three, three, three. But going back to Pembroke's bowling yesterday, the pick of the bowlers for me was the slowest bowler of the day, Bruce Whaley. Yeah, he brought a bit of control when Pembroke mm. needed it. And his skipper used him well into the dying overs. Yeah, he was bowling at the death. He bowled, he bowled the 39th over. Or 30. Oh, new package. Do, 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 do. Niall has bought some more technology. No. What, you stole it? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a yes, no, yes, no. Oh. I have to say, we've been doing, Pembroke have been very poor with that this morning. There's been a lot of them. A lot of yes, no's, yes, no's. Well, so that will only improve as the season goes on. But by this time next week, I'm sure the thirds will have played three of their, yeah. three of their six, seven home games. Mm. Well, judging from the, how quickly Pat Carthy walked away from the stumps there, I don't think there was any chance of an LBW being given on that occasion. Actually, this is working quite well. The little just cover. That, oh, yeah. Just for the knees. Yeah, that's what I said. There's once in a while I'm right. Yeah. And you wasted it on that. <laughs> this one's in the air, but it's got away between two fielders in the ring. It won't reach the fence, but they will pick up two for it. And that one again, a bit aerial. A bit more aerial than perhaps Whaley would have wanted. Mm, he didn't quite get to it. Angle of the bats. But he, he, he got enough on it to get it over the fielder. Yeah. Well, hopefully now with Dan Murray at the crease, with with Bruce, um, there won't be any issues of running between the wickets pace-wise. It's quite similar in their mm. youthfulness. Yeah. And therefore we suspect that they're... Fit. Well, yes. Not not horribly unfit, anyway. Yes. I remember a few seasons ago having to bat with Bruce. Um, he came to join me at the crease on a no uncertain terms told him, <laughs> I'm not as quick as you. Nicely punched away on the offside. It missed by the fielder, runs through him. He should have fielded that, but he chases it down anyway. He had taken enough off it, and they pick up two runs there. Pembroke will be very grateful for those as it takes them on to 37 for three. 
This is definitely um, a betting down period for Pembroke. They need to fight through these overs. They need to get to, well, one would hope drinks with this pair at the crease. There is, there is a good batting lineup still to come, but you would hope these two could see us through to drinks. I really wish they'd put that writing in white or yellow yeah. or something. Yeah, it is a bit dark. It is. 12 overs gone, 37 for three. Just still going along on that three and over, mm. but I don't think 120 is going to be enough. <laughs> it's the old story. Uh, it's, as as, it's only as good as your bowlers. So, if, if if Pembroke bowl like they did yesterday, nowhere near good enough. Well, when it's right arm over, I have to say, no, the camera angle is absolutely perfect. Yeah. You're only just short of having a red strip down the middle of the pitch for DRS. Yeah, what's up with that? When are we getting the red strip? Myself nicely and played away on the offside, got his back down to it nicely, but it only reaches the ring, and it's a double. Myself and Charlie were discussing, obviously, baseball. Charlie, our American friend, we were discussing um, baseball yesterday and um, umpiring in baseball. And, of course, what they introduced a number of years ago for the viewers is to strike zone. So when anyone's at bat and you're looking at the screen, you can see what the strike zone, it's superimposed. So you can see where the... Very much so. Yeah. And... and they now have appeals. Mm, they have yeah, their system of DRS yeah. for things like strikes and balls. And in fact, umpires get marked. And they, they put out a report card that says how many they called right, how many, and then yeah. there's a picture of the strike zone and the ones that they called wrong, you know, was outside the strike zone or called yeah. strike or right down, the, I saw one yesterday, right down the middle. Uh, now it did, it did dive, yeah. but it was right down the middle yeah. and the umpire called ball. Mm. And it was, it crossed the strike zone sort of a third of the way up. Yeah, it it's it, it, the strike zone is between I think the knee, knee and knee, knee, the knee and the armpit. Yeah. Well, look, we were only, we were discussing one particular umpire in baseball that's famous for his bad calling. But I did I did it's the bottom of the arm. I I did, I did see the. Um, the that's one, nicely punched oh, away. It was far too shot. short a delivery. It's punched away on the offside by Murray. It's Dan Murray out there at the moment. The, um, the top scorer yesterday, mm -hmm. 44. He certainly has hit the season uh, running. Mm. But uh, they're, they're going nuts in America at the moment because a baseball umpire gave the wrong decision on a pitch because and the, the worst ever, or the worst in the season or something, it was six inches. Mm. Six inches, and it was the worst recorded error. Now, in fairness to the people who keep these stats... Yeah. And the ones I've often seen published are the umpire who got 99% of his calls mm. right. Mm. You know, they're, they're, they're very much about being positive about yeah. how good their umpires are. Mm. And it's something I found with cricket as well, with DRS, was the number of, uh, of decisions that are overturned. Yeah, it's very few. Damn Murray, a bit shocked with how much that one bounced. He'll ended be looking up, for that spot when he's bowling. Up, ended up pushing his bat down below the ball and getting out of the way. But it was good delivery yeah. from Kirk. Good he, he had a strange over last time, and he's having another strange over this mm. time. Another two wides, another two runs, and one ball to come. If he takes a wicket, though, his captain won't care. Short, too short. Too short and too wide. Mm. Got away with That's it. That's when Dan Murray was just keen to get bat on ball somewhere there, and he did. No, but the, I think for me, the problem with the DRS is it was brought in for flagrant mistakes. Yeah. Like if you've smashed the ball and for some reason the umpire gave you caught, you go, well, actually, too many of these reviews are for captains need to learn. If it's somewhat iffy, maybe don't review it. Well, Umpires are generally... People were meant to have spent a bit of time at this stage in deciding what to review and what mm. not. Some captains get a dreadful reputation oh. for reviews because because they're talked into it by bowlers. Or or, or bats, a certain Australian batsman who used to review LBW every time. Well, yeah, Watson was notorious for that. Nicely played by Bruce Whaley behind square. Good calling. On the offside, but a good call, and Dan Murray makes his ground quite safely. Afternoon, gentlemen. Joe, you're talent spotting, are you? I have a 
so they won't play. You're not even registered. I could be registered ten times and he still wouldn't pick me. There could be three people registered in the club, me, him and Charlie the dog, and I still wouldn't get picked. Well, Charlie's a good fielder though. Yeah, he gets around the pitch well. <laughs> Slight delay before the second ball of this over. Botcher, one for eight so far, off his 3.2 overs. Zoomed up later. I'm sure he, he will be looking at YouTube himself later. Phil Blackley. Oh, I think that's, that's the fifth or sixth yes no so far. Yeah, but they're safe enough. This is how yeah. kids run. Oh. I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't just say the kids were on. Guilty. I think I have too many yes no's. I have yes and sorry. <laughs> Nicely punched out in the leg side. Yeah, Two I've fielders, well, a fielder and a half heading out after it. <laughs> Got a single taken. And the score moves on to 43 for three. There's a couple of people I've enjoyed running with over the years. You are definitely one of them. Because there's no doubt. And any time I called, you came. Any time I heard your voice, I went. And it's always good when you combat with somebody like that. You you utterly trust. Oh, he's missed that one. It's beaten everybody. It came back it, uh, past the inside edge of the bat. Keeper was fooled completely. They run two. Well, no signal. No signal from the umpire. A little edge. Perhaps that's what took the wicket keeper yeah, out of that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Just. No. Not really. But yeah, the joy, the joy is of trusting your partner. I definitely need a bin down this end of the ground. Yeah. Oh. Came out to it. Little, uh, I wouldn't say played for and got. Um, not Good afternoon, looking. ladies. How are we? Good. Hey, guys. How are you? Your dad made it down the, uh, the road okay last night? Give me a favour and put that in a bin when you go past one. Oh, thank you very much. A, he's never taken the label off. I have cleaned it. I have cleaned it. Yes, I have cleaned it. No, oh, that was too short and it was smacked away. It's well fielded on the offside. That's why we're in yeah. long. Oh, it's horrific yesterday. So cold. Um, as long as we don't use it as one. I clean it. I do. I do. It's just. <laughs> Every time. Well, he's done well to dig that one out. I and he does. Strong coffee. He does so. Keeps that one at bay. Got him off balance. That was for sure. Having to dig it out from under his feet. See you later, ladies. Although now they know what to buy. Buy me a new cup then for this season. Short and wide, and wide enough for the umpire to signal it as such. Pembroke slowly making their way. 47 for three. And drinks will be approaching ever so soon. And Again, the same as yesterday, one would suggest that perhaps tea or coffee, soup, yep. hot water bottle. We were discussing hot water bottles last night. It was sort of, oh, that's what I should have brought. And of course, this morning, I felt warm enough to go for breakfast without one. And you don't have one with you? No, I don't have it with me now. Yes, sitting on a cushion, actually cushions. We should bring cushions. Because that would certainly warm us on this wooden bench. Better than the wooden bench we yeah, have. I think I'll start bring, sticking a few cushions in the car. Electric blanket. 
just a travel rug. You know, one of those well, tartan, no. the tartan ones that every grandmother had. <laughs> no, get you, get get what I have. This is perfect. It's long enough. It comes down over your legs. It has a big yeah. woolly hat. Yeah. Well, I'm sleeping back. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful shots. Oh, great shot. Six runs. First six of the day. Rock back. And Wiley's just deposited that yeah. onto the lane white quite successfully. Six runs for Pembroke, and that brings 50 up. Mm. It's taken them until the 15th over. Just going over three and over. But that was a super shot. That was beautiful. It was guided more than hit. And Wiley has moved on to 18 of just 21 deliveries. Well, there was probably some talk in the Whaley household last night how much better his father's strike rate was yesterday. 19 off nine deliveries for Bill. Well, that was the real sort of guy coming in at the end of the mm. IPL innings, that was. But what I liked about Bill's innings yesterday was the, the class of the shots. Oh, uh, yes. Playing through the V. Oh, yeah. Playing on the front foot, getting forward. Ideal for these early season conditions. You just can't really afford to go back to an awful lot of bowling here. Yeah. Two more for Whaley. Punched away on the offside. And in fact, the, his cla we'll call it classic. His classic old yeah. style. Actually, because because of the the new way cricket is being played, and captains are thinking of all these weird positions, and because of some shots and like that Bouchon playing reverse sweeps from the first delivery, yes, the captains move and field around. Actually, it, it left a lot more gaps in the traditional spots for him. He just hit it over extra cover. There was nobody there. Hit it through through the covers. You know, people have been placed elsewhere. So yeah. No, but it was a in a way a match winning knock because those nineteen runs certainly made the difference for such a tight game. So Greystone's continuing here with one slip in place. Judging by the way the shots have been played today, I, I would say more se second third slip than a first slip. The way the shots have been going, the edges, there'd be more cuts and wide of off. Nothing really in that channel so far. So just a simple little dot play back to mid off. It's good batting again from down though. Certainly a height difference between the two here, down six foot at least by now. Using, uses his height boat and batting and bowling very well. Well, earlier on we were having problems with the commentary dropping. We hope that it hasn't spoiled your enjoyment of this morning's, and in fact this afternoon's, it's, it's five to two. Coming up to the end of the first hour of play, Greystones will be happy. They've got into the 16th over. I'm sure that's... Oh, yeah. is that what is, is it four minutes per over or three and a half? Four. See you, Ash. Yeah, they say, and um, when they're reducing overs now, it's it's uh, it's two overs every eight minutes. And then below a certain level, it's two overs every 10 minutes. But this level, it's, it's uh, two overs every eight minutes. Well, those of you who are tuned in at the moment, if you'd care to like and subscribe this to this channel, we gained seven subscribers yesterday. Wow. Well, you may... No, that is... You may not, scoff, but... I'm not scoffing. We're now up to 784 subscribers. Oh, he's bowled oh, him, Yorker. Lovely delivery. Gets through the defences of Whaley. And that's a fourth wicket down with 57 on the board. Lovely delivery. Yeah. Um, Again, high from a very night, he gets very high with his arm. So yes, as I say, it's, uh, 784 subscribers. Uh, in this is the week that mm. means that Niall has now been doing this channel for over five years. 10th of April, 2019 was when he started, and uh, as a result, he now has 231 videos he's produced wow. up on this channel there for your viewing pleasure including today's game which obviously you are watching otherwise you wouldn't be 
hearing my voice. And if you do hear his voice outside of this channel, get worried. Now, if you are on Twitter, Craig at Craig PCC, that's my Twitter handle. Listen to me with all the technological know-how. My Twitter handle. X, X and, handle. And I, no, I refuse. I refuse to call it X. <laughs> it's uh, still a marathon bar. Uh, yes. Uh, so, Marla's put a huge amount of work in over the last five years. I wouldn't, I, I'd hate to add up the minutes he spent doing oh. this. And I don't just mean yeah. minutes covering games. No, I mean, you can get 230 videos and multiply them by yeah. an average of four hours. No, and it's uh, double the time. Uh, you know, it's, it's incredible how much yeah. time is put in both before and after oh, the yeah. game. Set up, taking it down. We have taken it, it down yeah. pretty much boxed yeah. off now. Yeah. In fact, this morning Niall turned up to find, oh, I'd say at least half the work done. Well, wow. sorry I was late, I know. Myself and Amanda put up the gazebo and the sound desk. Sure. Oh, that should be cracked away. Oh, that, if that doesn't yeah. reach the boundary, I will do a lap of the ground naked. Oh, it's gone. Thank, oh, thank God. Oh, oh God. Were you getting worried? I That's was worried for him. Oh, that was slowing up the field and was running really well to the ball. Folks, you don't realise how happy I am for that boundary. Uh, now, I know no I wouldn't have put a camera on me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was, best, I was, be, best award show ever. I was happy enough. Jordan Kelly it was who cracked that first ball for. Well, Jordan Kelly only plays one way. That's positive, that's for sure. Just leaves the bat down on that one, lets it deflect yeah. out to the leg side, takes the, a single. These, the number of wickets fallen, the score, the number of overs to drinks will not affect how he plays whatsoever. Well, the same with Bouchan. Yeah. Whether he's opening or going in at seven, you know he's going to be hugely positive. But it was a cracking shot, no matter what time of the day. And again, thank you for getting to the boundary. That one just let go through by Murray. Very watchful so far. Just five from 16 deliveries. But that's not the important stat here. The important stat is he's still there. Three point two overs to drinks now. Short, short, and played away yeah. on the leg side, and that one also is going to reach the boundary without too much trouble. And that's a super shot and takes the score onto sixty-seven. I wasn't worried whatsoever with that shot going to the boundary. There is no chance of that not making it. Well, it was travelling so quickly, you wouldn't yeah. have got the sentence out before it reached the yeah. boundary. So <laughs> Kirk, well, he's picked up that wicket. Yeah, but, he, he but he's is, also been yeah. going at seven and a half-ish and over at the yeah. moment. He's definitely been the more expensive of the four bowlers used so far. Makes you wonder what the fifth one will be. Well, again, early see this is their first game of the year. Shots too short again. He yeah. got away with that one, yeah. one felt. Oh. Way too short. Ended the over. Three overs to drinks. And the score has moved on to 67 for four. Now, yesterday... Pembroke batted first against civil service and they were 89 for one at yeah. the 20 over mark. Yeah. Uh, civil service in pursuit were 104, but they'd lost four wickets yeah. at that stage. And that was a big thing. And, and Pembroke have done the worst of both worlds mm. here. They've lost four wickets yeah. and they haven't scored runs. Well, to be fair to Greystones, the difference between in those stats are down to the <laughs> extras. <laughs> well, again, it, yeah. it could be actually it's, that... It's, that it's all extras. Yesterday, by by drinks, Pembroke had already bowled over twenty bowling extras, um, and like that, civil service by drinks, I suspect were similar, fifteen to twenty bowling extras by drinks. Today there have been wides from Greystones, but definitely not the number or the consistency. It, it really seemed yesterday nearly every over, no matter the bowler you're seeing at least one wide. But we're going to have a change of bowling from, in fact, the more successful of the bowlers today is coming off. So I was expect he, he'll be wanted a bit later by the captain. So we're going to see our first bit of spin today or... Well, 
shorter run up bowling in here. Let's see if it spins. Yeah, it's definitely aiming to spin. Straight away on the mark with a good length. Oh, straight away getting it where he wants it to land. So this is the fifth bowler, the vastly experienced Martin Potts. One of the uh, that's going to be. Oh, he ran in over it. He overran it. Pots head in hand, and it goes away for four. And it shouldn't really get four. I suspect it still would have been a very, very difficult chance if he'd stayed where he was. But he did run in when it was a case of staying on the line, and it just went over his head. Now it's been given four. So Jordan Kelly at the crease, as you said yeah. earlier. You know he's not going to die wanting, waiting. This, 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 don't switch off your screens for the next two hours. This, everything will be happening. As as a, a an old show I used to watch as a, as a nipper growing up. Bosco. I was going to say St Stingray. All right. And in in it in the start every episode it was anything can happen in the next half hour. And often did. Yes. Kelly on to another loose delivery from Potts. He's driven it around to the leg side. Oh, a despairing dive. Great effort. And from the way the fielder is getting up, the ball has beaten him, yeah. made it to the boundary. And the score moves on to 75. Well, Potts can't afford mm. to be that loose with Kelly in this no. sort of mood. No, J Jordan, very similar to his brother, has great quick hands. He, and he plays through the ball very well. If he, if he get connects, it's going to the boundary. It's just a matter of whether how his percentage of actually hitting the ball. No change in the field. Potts realising that, well, it wasn't a great delivery. You don't set fields to bad bowling. That's better. But again, he goes for offside. it. He goes crashing away. Four more. Through the offside, down towards the clubhouse. Bounces over the horticulture. And this is proving to be just a little bit expensive for pots. Uh, it, just show, it just shows you how that could have been a catch. Now it's now it's twelve runs. You know, another batsman may be a bit more watchful on this on a bowler's first over, whereas Jordan's just everything he's playing. Cracks that one away again on the offside, but this time it'll just be a single. The fielder has been posted in front of the clubhouse, and that ends the over. Thirteen runs coming from it, mm. by far the best oh, over yes. the Pembroke have had so far. Well, it's four scrape stones. Jordan Kelly has moved on seventeen off just yeah. seven deliveries. Eighteen. Eighteen off, off eight, eight deliveries. Yeah. Well, it, it's the first time today that Greystones have only had four fielders inside the circle. Well, and also the first time they've brought on their fifth bowler. Mm. And Martin Potts, he is vastly experienced. Mm. Um, but first game of the season and perhaps the shoulder's a little stiff and it's not coming out the way he wants it to. I would say there was only one obvious bad ball in there, the one that was flicked away to the leg side. The rest were pretty much on a length on off stump. It's just... Again, and the he batsman he was facing. Taking yeah. a wicket with that yeah. first four. Yeah, it was just the batsman he's facing. Wants to drive the ball, wants to hit it, isn't afraid to go over the top. Um, will take the field on, no matter what the setting is. So, another day, that was a maiden over. Well, for the 17 of you who are watching now, feel free to drop us a line and let us know where you're watching from. Or like and subscribe to this mm. channel. Yeah, we, we always do like to put pins in our map of where our first to field listeners come in from. We've had the West Indies, South Africa, Middle East, well, Dubai. Australia tends yeah. to be the furthest. Well, yeah. We love weird ones. Driven straight back oh. down the ground. That's so straight it hit yeah. the stumps. No, yeah. no fielder got a hand to it. So, that ball. Open and bowler back on. No what? Nawab Zay, Zay, for his fourth over. Nawab Zell. Thank you. That looks like an eye at the end. With a dot, full stop. Up Kelly goes off. big again. He's found turf where there was no field up. And he'll get two for that. Quite handily. And his assault on this bowling mm. continues. In this, the 19th over. Well, it'll certainly make Greystones think about their field settings and how they bowl. They're, it's a counter punch from Pembroke, Jordan Kelly already. 
He was raced to 20. Dan Murray must be getting bored at the other end, not afraid to play his own shots. That's a sensible thing from Kelly. Saw a good ball. Just keep that one out. He's not after everything indiscriminately. Which he's, he is picking his deliveries, and that's the positive thing. Well, but it's great to see somebody out there well, taking the ball as on. Well, with batsmen like this, who can who can dispatch a ball to the boundary with, with such ease, you always just hope they see 40 deliveries. Another one that comes off the edge of the bat, flies away, and the bowler exasperated. But even if he'd had slipped oh. in, that would have covered the, That would have been over the slip's head anyway. You'd have somebody having to stand on his shoulders. Like, if Jordan Kelly faces 40, 50 deliveries today... He could get 80, 90 runs. Well, he's definitely going to go at a minimum 50%, or just 50% plus, sorry, the other way. But, I mean, two a ball. Yeah, he's going at he will be at least two a ball if he... For his innings, um, oh, I suspect yeah. you'll, you'll do well to get a strike rate of 150. But you're quite right if he's away for any length of time. He gets away with that one. It just oh, cleared the fielder at square leg. He flicked it away. It was a lovely shot, yeah. but it was so close to the outstretched hand of the fielder at square mm -hmm. leg. And he picks up another four there. Oh, Dan yeah, Murray. Dan Murray, was. yeah. Th and lovely and this little is, shot. Yeah, this is the great thing for Pembroke. If, if one end is, is Jordan attacking, and Dan is slipping in under the radar. He's he's got to double figures at a good strike rate. Again, he had his the best knock at yesterday, forty four of the team. So he's no mug with the bats, and he can quietly sit there and and, and yeah, enjoy watching Jordan and taking his own few little dinks here and there. Another good over for Pembroke. Well, 19 overs gone, one more to drink. So I wonder if anybody has told the barman that drinks will be required very shortly. coffee today. I wouldn't mind another coffee later. Well, if I was you, drinks, I'd yeah. take our, your little coffee cup and go up and get one. Mm. But there was no milk yesterday, and I do need milk. Philip, was, I met Philip in the Merrion Centre today. Oh, excellent. Now, he's gone up to Belvedere, so yeah. I don't know if we have any milk, but if we don't, mm. there's no problem at all going up to the garage to get a, no. a litre of milk. True. Potts again continues. Ooh, peel, peel. Not out. That's it. Keep your hands in the air there. That helps. Keep appealing. Umpire always known to change his decision 20 seconds afterwards. Yeah. The ever stoic Mr. Carty. Pat Carthy unmoved on this occasion. Such a good umpire. You can watch Jordan go after this one now. Goes down the leg side, takes the wide. And of course, such a fine swing bowler in his own right, uh, in his days from Marion. Martin? No, uh, Mr. Carty. All right. Well pitched up by Potts. That's a better line and length from him. Getting it right underneath Jordan Kelly's eye line. Just wants to avoid those ones sliding down leg. Kelly changed his mind about three times for that delivery. Mm. He yeah. was looking to go big and straight, and then he decided to dink it away on the offside, and then it, oh, finally he just missed it. Yeah, the previous over route, that, that length was the one he was driving through the off. Well, circumspect is the word. Maybe he, he, he has a drink on order and he wants to get it. Word is the word. Oh, he's gone big, he's gone he's, high. He's gone there should be a fielder underneath it. I might get no. It's going to be safe. Oh, just. Well, the fielder hesitated on his run around there just to see how he was doing in relation to the ball. And it was that slight hesitation that meant he didn't get there. Yeah, well, it was. If, if a batsman's going to hit one anywhere, it's going to be the perfect spot in between deep mid off, deep mid on, and mid wickets, and the bowler couldn't get there. Slower ball from Potts, nicely delivered. Isn't Murray that? having nothing to do with it, and that comes to the end of the over, and that drinks Pembroke have reached 89 again. Yeah, yeah. They're consistent, if nothing else. On this occasion, <laughs> they've lost four wickets, 20 overs gone, and we'll join you again for the 21st over in just a few minutes.
man told that was yesterday. <laughs> it's worth just this man. Yeah, bring it. No, no, I love it. So, welcome back for the second half of the Pembroke innings. 
libations taken um, ready to restart from the St. John's Road end. We've got Jordan Kelly facing uh, along with Dan Murray. Jordan, of course, moving, has moved to a brisk 22 from 17. Decent foundation for Pembroke, even though they've lost a couple of more wickets what they would have liked. But it's important for them to consolidate this start right now and try to take the game as deep as possible. Well, we're just saying it's 89 is the same amount of runs at this stage yesterday, and they got 227. It'll be, I would suspect, a lot harder to get to that total today, mm -hmm. just from the accuracy of the uh, Greystones bowling alone. I, I, I would sus suspect they're not going to get those extra 40 runs mm. that they got from civil service. So, Graham, a question for you. If you are the Greystones captain right now, what would you do? Would you go for the kill? Or would you bring on your spinners and try to reduce the run rate? Well, he seems to be quite happy with his five bowler so far. Um, that's what's been used. This is the opening. Or he bowled from the nursery in this first spell. Back down here, down to the St. John's Road end. Mm -hmm. um, they definitely have spotted to change the feel between the two banners because they, they've recognised Jordan's going hard at the ball. Um, Daniel also capable of hitting the long shots but a bit more watchful at the start of his innings I'm sure his skipper wants him to bat as deep as possible to set up this total but um, I would I would say yeah Grace, Greystones with the field setting they have now it would be what you call orthodox defensive yeah I think they're happy to concede the odd single here mm. and there they just don't want any of the batsmen to get like five runs and over. Yeah, they're, they're, they want, they're trying to keep the boundaries down to a minimum. Yeah. Single here, single there. It is one day cricket. So the fewer boundaries, the better. That's played away into the leg side from Murray. Should just be the one. They do have a man at deep square leg. And a very interesting thing happened during the start of this innings. Dan Murray changed his guard from leg stump to middle stump. Probably that's an indication that he is trying to flick more because the swing has stopped. Mm. So he will try to get a couple of more runs rather than his traditional offside game. Yeah. Just looking at the bowling so far, there hasn't been a lot of swing apart from the first change bowler. Mm. Um, he, he got quite a bit at the start of his bowling spell. Yeah. Now the, the pink ball, it is harder to swing. It's the batsman's game, Grant. Yeah. Everything is about the batsman. Make it easier for them to see the ball, make the ball swing less. And big swing from Kelly. He will go anything outside the stumps, I suspect. He will be trying to latch on there. They have they have nobody deep on the offside for him, so he, he's looking at that offside boundary. And also, the third man is quite straight to him, yep. straight to the keeper. So, which basically means they're expecting an edge which will just fly off. Yeah, well, we've had one already from yeah. him. Um, everyone else on the circle. Hmm. Here we go. Yeah. That's cut away nicely. That was played for. So, just the two in the deep at the moment from Greystones. Deep mid, deep mid on, and deep, oh, sorry, deep fine like a deep square like, sorry. So, three, three outside the circle, everyone else... In. And the cover is very narrow for Jordan and yeah. for Dan it's a traditional cover. Yeah. Which basically means that they're going to bowl outside the off to Jordan and asking him to go for it. Mm -hmm. And he comes mid on, deep mid on as well, up towards the circle. Watchful. It's good batting from Dan. Yeah, again, th they'd be happy with that grey sounds, no boundaries, just a single here. It's and there. it's six runs off the over, so nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. So it's twenty one gone, ninety four for four Pembroke three. Yeah. Yeah, just five runs, so like good from both sides. Um, pots overs will be important here. If it's a, it's going to be a great little battle here here between himself and Jordan when he's facing. Um, because like that, Jordan seems to want to go after everything, and um, he's not afraid to go aerial. Pots with the experience, he's going to try and set this field. So there are four people on the boundary, so two in the offside. Five, one actually, five, one five, deep, yeah. deep square leg as well. Yeah. 
think that's down leg. Watch all the way down leg for the wide. Yeah, he's deep, deep, deep square leg slash deep mid wickets. Uh, mid long, up, mid long off. Yeah, deep extra cover. Deep cover. That's over the over towards cow where of course there's nobody. Rain comes mid deep mid on to cut it off. Should just be the two and is. Yeah, he's 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 bowling to the plan that he will be bowling outside off, and Jordan will be trying and just miss hit maybe a drive, especially again this pitch is playing very well, but still to be a, a bit of pace to get used to. That's a good yorker by a spinner. Yeah, <laughs> well dug out. Yeah, um, I was suspect J Jordan is a very good s slog sweeper of the ball, so. Mm -hmm. Potts would want to be careful here, keeping it off his legs. Oh, and he's bowled him. He's won the battle. That was Fuller. It wasn't there for that shot. Uh, nice and full on off stump. Play Swung over the ball. He was looking to the leg sides. I think there's no better joy than seeing a spinner flight the ball and the batsman saying, you miss, I'm going to hit. Yeah, it, there was extra pace in that one as well. That was that was darted. It, it wasn't really. Um, it was, certainly wasn't a slow turner. Um, he just, just bowled it full, nearly, not quite as full as the Yorker the previous delivery. Uh, Jordan went for the big drive, and just over the top of it. So a rapid fire twenty five from twenty two. Um, bring so, Pembroke now ninety seven for five. I think it's two McDonald. Mm -hmm. um, it will catch up now in a second. Um, yep. So, yeah, Greystone, Greystones will be very, very happy. Break through right after drinks, especially as Kelly was looking so dangerous. They'll be hoping a few more here, and they'll be hoping to wrap, the, wrap up the Pembroke tail, but there's still a few batters to come for Pembroke, so they'll be confident enough that they could still make it through to the 40 overs. The question is how many they have on the board when they do so, if so. It's an interesting phase of play for Pembroke and Greystones. Yeah. Yeah. Only a slight change in the field for the new batter. Mid on, mid on has come more orthodox, but still uh, deep mid off, deep extra cover, deep square leg. So uh, the plan is still simple. Bowl outside the off, yeah. go for me. Yeah. It's all about the length this bowler balls. That's again nice and full. Doesn't give the batsman any chance to get under it to go aerial. A little bit shorter. Just pat it down into the leg side. So it's 22 overs gone. Mm. Pembroke 3 are 97 for 5. 17 overs to go. 18 mm. overs to go, actually. Mm. I think the onus is on Dan Murray right now. To tell Stu, hang on, just some more time. Oh, there's there's lots of time. A lot can be done in a, in a five over spell. Batsmen yep. should be should be thinking in five over spells at this stage, um, especially if you're new. You get yourself in. You do a lot more damage when you're in. And as so they all saying, you don't score runs from in the hutch. Yeah, and that was a very good over by Potts. He actually mm. gave just three runs and took an important wicket of Jordan Kelly, who was actually looking dangerous. And it was all about the length. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A very experienced bowler. He knew any t anything short was going to be latched onto, and Jordan was happy to go aerial. So he bowled a full Yorker lad and a little bit of extra pace. Nicely driven by Dan. Mm -hmm. So no, no Asby into his sixth over in his second spell. Uh, just a 23 run so far from 5.1 overs. Um, and a few of them are made up of extra, so he has he, no batter has really gotten hold of him. That's a chance, just wide, a little bit too far for the wicket keeper to get across there. Oh, that would have been a such frustrating catch. sight for a bowler. Ah. He he planned the entire wicket for two overs, and one ball, which is supposed to get him the wicket, goes for an outside edge. Well, this this, this unfortunately this is cricket. Now he's bringing in first slip after the ball goes through the first <laughs> slip area. In in comes first slip, and and cricket being cricket, nothing is going to go there now. The rest of the match. <laughs>
but you know that's you can only have ten fielders when you're a bowler. You often want oh straight away does it not? Yes, he's gone. He's been given. That Thanks. went to the safely through to the wicket keeper. A little bit short outside off. Uh, McDonald seemed to sit in his back foot and uh, stick the bat out, and obviously caught a little something through to the wicket keeper. Pembroke are in deep trouble right now. 98 for five in 22.2 mm. overs, and I think. Captain Bill Whaley will walk in now. Yeah, well. Yep, it is Bill. Yeah. So just after the drinks break, two quick wickets in two overs. That's a good start by yeah. Greystones. Pembroke in all sorts of trouble. We saw Bill Whaley play a cameo yesterday, 19 of 9 balls, which eventually propelled Pembroke 3's total to 220. Yeah, but it, that was only... Well, it was, he played the innings for the, for the time of the match it was needed. Yeah. He, now he'll play a completely different innings. Mm -hmm. He's capable of any kind that is needed. He is so experienced, he, he, he knows exactly what he has to do. Yeah, and as a captain, and as a new batter right now, you're under a lot of pressure because you've quickly lost two wickets, the bowler is on top of the mark, and there's a slip. So, it's interesting time of the game, and if you're a captain, this is not the ideal situation you want to walk into bat. Uh, he lives for pressure. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you, He has daughters, you live for pressure. <laughs> so, and again, he's, he, no <laughs> offense to the Grace Hills bowling, but he, he is, he's faced better bowling over the years. He, it's, it's, of course, there's pressure, and he wants, you know, in any match situation. But mm -hmm. it, you know, it's, it's not going to phase him too much. You'll, you'll know what's needed. You'll know about rebuilding, not losing a wicket. Now it'll be important for himself and Dan to try to build a partnership, and get to those last five, six, seven overs, and then reevaluate. Slightly uppish, but nothing to worry for Bill Whaley, who played his first ball. And Nawab Zai repaying the trust of his captain. In Abu Dhabi. Oh, he goes big. Was put out there on the offside. There was nobody at third man. He felt safe in the aerial shots. He was well pulled up by the Greystones fielder. Just the two runs, but the extra little wits, and Bill was quick to latch on to that. I think the plan is very simple for all the bowlers. They're just trying to bowl wide outside the mm. off stump and making the batsman drive. And the wind is helping them because it's harder to drive when the wind is actually going against you. Yeah. Again, yeah, they're, they're bowling a lot better to a plan. Only two on the on the leg side in front of the... Oh, beautiful through the covers. Now, it won't get to the boundary. It is going to be pulled up. Should only be one. Oh, they come back for the two. Very good running from Murray. So quick, confident, strong call. And quick with the call, which was important. I'm pretty surprised the bowler isn't happy with the throw. It was straight on the stumps. Yeah. He actually missed the catch. Yeah, that was lazy <laughs> from the bowler. Yeah. You can't, blame, you can't blame the fielders for everything. <laughs> it was very well fielded from Greystones. It was, you know, it was a beautiful shot through the covers. And also Pierced the throw the was straight on the yeah, stumps. You couldn't there. It was a slid down. Yeah. Great good pick up, turn. You know, it was just some good calling and good running from Pembroke that got made it too. Bots to continue. Into, into his... Uh, I think he's into his fifth over now. Mm. He bowled four on the back before the drinks. Watchful as ever from the brother. Watchful uh, as ever. How are you? Winter well. Bend that side. Oh, reaches the boundary. That's that's great from Murray. Slowly, slowly catching monkey. Murray sitting there. Quietly watching it, like I said, 44, a very good knock yesterday. He had a good, good, he had a good winter in South Africa, and um, a good last, excellent last season. Like you know, the, the last 12 months have, have been going well for Dan, so hopefully he can continue on this form. That was a beautiful shot. There's a, 
It's always a good sign when the batsman drives along the ground through the covers. It's all about timing. And as a spinner, you hate that sign, which means he's getting to the pitch of the ball yeah. and you don't want it. Well, exactly. If it's on the ground, he's... Oh, and there he goes, Ariel, but that's safe. There's nobody there. Dan oh, that's gone <laughs> all the way. No, that's a beautiful shot. Completely safe in that shot. The, the fielder was up inside the circle. There was, he, he, he saw nobody was on the boundary whatsoever. So he felt safe. The ball was there. The length was there to be hit, Ariel. And he just... His body shape, he just he was still, his head was still, and followed through beautifully. All the way for six. And again, now the field will fielder will stay back there. Now that they've realized he can go deep. I think now it, there's a pressure on Potts because yeah. he's bowled a quicker one, went for four, bowled a flight, went for yeah. six. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 a better length on the stumps, no wits. That's that should be his his line and length really for his if he, for his spell. But I don't mind conceding that six because what it has told me as a spinner is that it's okay. He's willing to go aerial. That's fine. I might put a man there and again bowl the same ball. If he goes for it, good. If not, it's a win. Again, what is it with spinners and thinking it's okay to be here for six? Uh, that's All how you. Through, no, no. Throughout <laughs> my life, every spinner who ever has played the game. It's okay to be here for six. I'm yes. a spinner. I'm okay to be here. Yeah, you've gone for 15 sixes. Oh, but I'm a spinner. It's okay. It doesn't matter. As long as you get the it wicket does, column. Sorry, sorry, it matters. <laughs> Check the scoreboard. Sixes matter. Uh, wickets matter more. Yeah. It says, it says the spinner who probably went for five sixes and the only the only wicket he got was, was a miss hit that was caught <laughs> on the boundary by some diving catch. <laughs> get over it. Hey, I got a hat trick. Yeah, okay, I've never done that. <laughs> I've got a hat trick, I've got a five for last year. Yeah, was so, that, yeah. Was, wait, 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 was the hat trick, were they bold LBs or were they all caught in the boundary? Uh, two bold, one catch. Okay, where was the catch taken? Uh, mid off. Okay. James Cresswell caught it. Okay, okay. <laughs> At Malahide, last yeah. game of the season. Okay. But the sad part is the award function was over the previous <laughs> night. <laughs> and it doesn't carry over into the 2024 exactly. season. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, tough. <laughs> yeah. I know. I can't. Like I said, can't. I can't talk. Never taken a hat trick. <laughs> Only had the opportunity. But to answer your question, right, times. Graham? Sorry. Yeah. To answer your question, as a spinner, you're always told that if you bowl a flight ball and he hits you for a six, it's okay yeah. because he can't hit you for six sixes. He will miss time one. Right. You weren't watching the Nepal game, obviously. <laughs> Very <Where he> hit <laughs> thirty <laughs> runs in the last <laughs> over. <laughs> Listen. It's okay if he hits you for one six. You set the field and you win the battle, yes. as, as did Potts, Potts. against uh, against uh, Jordan. However, if you're into your fifth over, you've gone for ten sixes, and the batsman is uh, looking very comfortable, and you haven't had a chance, <laughs> and the, and your fielders have just spent half an hour looking for the ball in a bush. It's no, don't don't pull that. I'm a but spinner card out. Like that time, the captain changes the bowler. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, 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 you're the captain this year, so will that be yeah. happening? <laughs> how many how many sixes do you have to be hit for before you come off? Look, I actually have only three spinners in my squad right now. Ooh, Andy, James, and myself. But I don't count myself as a spinner, so it's only two. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on the other two. <laughs> what you count as a spinner? <laughs> <laughs> There's a change in bowling by Greystones. Joyce yeah. has come onto the attack, and he's uh, bowled two good balls actually. Yeah, and it's two dot balls, but. Going back to the conversation, uh, yes, I have Andy Hill, yeah. who's the king of flight. <laughs> and I have James Cresswell, who's yeah. actually, who was the second highest wicket taker for Fies last year. Yeah, but, but I, James will tell you, he's not a spinner. Oh, here oh, we go, Ariel. That, just over the ring. Should be safe. Should be, he comes back for the second. The, uh, Bill not quite having the same power as the young Dan Murray there. Couldn't quite get it to the boundary. I, th I think, I think uh, the ball stayed low than what he expected because the yeah. previous two balls were slightly wide yeah. onto his body. No, I think that would have needed one of those mobility scooters to get to the boundary <laughs> for, for, for Bill there. That's too short, too wide. The sixth bowler now today for Greystones. Uh, Joyce. Course, Joyce, yes. One of the famous, would it be? I know they have cousins who played in Wicklow, not Wicklow, maybe he joined Greystones. But, you um, mean Ed Joyce? Well, the yeah, their cousin, cousins play in, okay. in great, you know, that, that side Dublin area. Mm. Uh, 
But um, no, James will call himself a seamer. <laughs> I'll put money out. If you ask, when James comes on to commentate, yep. James will not call himself a spinner. He does not turn the ball. It's a seam. <laughs> it's just his run up looks like a spinner. <laughs> you know, Andy Hill, yes. The man, f- you know, he, he, he should have a pilot's license for the amount of flight he gives it. <laughs> I think uh, the only medium pacer who I've known with three-step run-up is Brendan. That's a three-step run-up. Yeah. A- and the ball is quick. <laughs> oh, it's all shoulder. No, yeah. I've, yeah. I, I've reduced mine to four, I think. <laughs> it used to be f- 18 in the good old days. I reduced it down to four. So it's end of 25 overs. Pembroke 3 are 119 for six. Dan Murray at 27 of 32, who's picked up his strike rate pretty mm. quickly. And Bill Whaley playing the anchor innings of eight runs from nine balls. And right now, Pembroke 3 are looking to build on this partnership. It's been a shaky start by Pembroke. Mm-hmm. Uh, they didn't oh, have... Well, yeah. and we, they've been losing wickets in groups. It's, it seems they lose... One they, brings two. They, they, it's, it's been two wickets every time. Yeah. It's been two, two, two. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's been hard for partnerships to get going because they've lost two in quick succession each time. Oh, this is the fifth over for Pot. So he mm-hmm. previously he had only bowled three, but he's considered mm-hmm. thirty of four. Yeah, which is okay. Well, he's like that. He's not giving them much control. They are picking up runs, yeah. so Pembroke will be happy again. It's about well, Murray facing at least fifty to sixty deliveries mm-hmm. for Pembroke. That that will be key. Mm-hmm. If Wadey faces thirty to forty, um, then that will get them through to the thirty-fifth over, and anything can happen from there. So that's. That will be the key, and that will be what these two batsmen are looking for. I'm pretty surprised, actually. Greystones didn't bring their left-arm seamer, who yeah. had a tremendous first spell. Yeah. And right now, you have a new batsman in. Yeah. I would have, if I was the captain, I would have definitely brought him on for one over and say, you know what, we've got a crack. Yeah. Well, I was saying that earlier in commentary with with, with Craig. Um, there's a lot of the time, especially at the lower level, also cracking shots through the covers on the ground, pierces the field, four runs. There, there's. A lot of captains at this level, anywhere below Division 3, mm-hmm. I would say, even sometimes in the second pr- 11 Premier Division, captains can overthink bowling mm-hmm. um, and keeping bowlers back for the last five overs because all plans go out the window. Yeah. Um, if a batter's in, it doesn't matter who's bowling at him. Um, if guys are swinging, it doesn't matter who's bowling mm-hmm. um, a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, so sometimes it's better just to go right. Well, yeah, I won't have you at the end, but yeah. and he pick up these quick wickets in the middle. You bring overs. that such an interesting point because yesterday I was watching the IPL and um, former cricketers were saying the same thing. What's the whole point of keeping your best bowlers for yeah. eighteen and twenty when the game Especially is already drifted? N- never, never keep your best bowler for the twentieth over if you're defending. Yeah, it, the game like he could be sitting there going by the twi- by the time it gets him at the 28 over they need two runs yeah. and what's, and he's like well what was the point yeah use your better bowlers at 16 17 18 and create a, a run rate that is so high mm. that the batsman can't it doesn't matter who's ball if if you've a halfway decent bowler at the, uh, for the 19th and 20th over mm. the run rate is too much to Correct. manage yeah so yeah, now, now keeping them for the nineteenth and twentieth is not always a very good. Uh, depends on now. Depends on how good your package is. So uh, there was this interesting incident in IPL. I, I know since you don't follow it, so Sunrisers versus Mumbai Indians were playing, and they got onto a brisk start. So in six overs, they were eighty for no wicket. Mm-hmm. In the first six over, Travis Head was on fire, and uh, Mumbai Indians who had just played Bumrah, he did not bowl a single over in the first six. Yeah. And post match, they asked the captain, you know, in 20 overs, you considered 270. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's Why did you not bring your best bowler? He said, I was keeping him for their best batsman, which was Heinrich Klaassen. And yeah, by Travis, the time sure, Klaassen sure, sure, came yeah, to yeah. bat, it was 14 overs and they were 160. Yeah. And what Bumrah did was in four overs, he bowled only two, he gave only 12 runs, yeah. but didn't serve any purpose. Oh, that's a loose one down leg. Uh, missed by Murray. He'll be very annoyed with that. He, he, he was eyeing up the clubhouse now. Pembroke get the wide, obviously, because it was down leg, but uh, full toss. I'd, I'd say Murray was eyeing up the clubhouse door there. Um, when those were in trouble, I think he broke one last year. Um, yeah, th- again, what what's it? Uh, the, the old saying, you know, some, you know, you make Einstein with you know, you make a plan. God loves if you make a plan or whatever. Another bad ball. That should be no ball. 
I was above waist. And Bare leg again, off, yeah. cut off. Should two off the bat, I suspect. It looks like they're going to get, yeah. It's been given a no ball. Would I mean, that be a first warning for the uh, bowler for waist It high? should be. Okay. Um, it was in the kind of the area of the body, so it should be a warning. Now it was given boys, so nothing off the bat. Mm. Um, yeah, if full, if it's within the kind of the range of the body, it should be given as a warning. Yeah. That's better. He actually hit the deck that time. I think th this is the time where Dan would think, you know what, I've already got three runs in first two balls. If I can get a boundary here or there, it, it already looks like a good over. <laughs> Funny enough, when you talk about trying to overthink things, sometimes you're as a batsman. Oh, he latches on to that one. Another full yep. toss. This time it was closer to the middle of the body and Murray made no mistake there. Four all the way. Spoke like a batsman? Yeah. Because I am. <laughs> I'm in everything. <laughs> and I couldn't bowl anymore. I had to bat. He tried to overcompensate. And all it did was bowl a rake full toss. Yeah. No, no, again, he's not hitting the deck. You, what, what, if, you know, whenever he's, you know, a low full toss, or at the very least hit the deck. Mm. You know, uh, that's a freebie for, for any decent batsman, especially. And you definitely put Dan Murray in that co category. Oh, that's a good ball. Playing a miss. Dom Joyce asking, sorry, Joyce asking the right question. No, not pointing out there. I didn't hear you. Uh, what, what did you say about me? <laughs> no, well, we were talking, so I don't know. I, I, I'm, not, I'm just hearing for chance. So it's 26 overs, 134 for 6. Dan Murray looking solid. That's well driven for a single. Good fielding. That's a good shot by Will, Bill Whaley, and it's get yes, just pulled, pulled up. It inside the line again. He didn't have the mobility scooter available to him that time. <laughs> That's a good shot, actually. Oh, no, it's an excellent shot. It's just again, yes, again. Th th this is this is only the second day of uh, a grass wicket here in Pembroke for 2024. Th 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 there's moisture. There's been rain, it's cold, the, the pitches are slow enough, you know, getting the timing right on them, it's difficult. Okay, so there's the scorecard so far from Pembroke, as you can see, uh, miss, hit and miss, but as you can see, most wickets kind of fell in twos. People getting starts, but not being able to move on. Um, now the key is this partnership, like with Luke, Subra and Devine to come in. I haven't seen a couple of those batters yet, so uh, much of this season. So an important time. Again, maybe Greystones will be thinking about bringing a strike boater on just to break it up. Two wickets, and it could be very, very quickly into uh, wrapping up this innings. Pots to continue into his sixth over. Just played out nicely along the ground into deep mid on for a single for Murray. So apart from his first over, which was expensive, where he mm. considered almost 17, that's mm. a nice comeback by Potts. Well, the key was him getting the wicket of Kelly. The, the, his first over was taken apart by Kelly, so he won that particular battle. Wide. Rightly called by the umpire. And that brought him back, obviously. Now again, Murray. I'm still surprised. They haven't brought their key bowler. Well, they've two for me. They have the left arm who bowled from the St. John's Road, open at St. John's Road, but also the first change bowler who bowled mm. from the nursery end. Yeah, he bowled I very well. He actually swung the ball uh, like that when he got Ethan Clark out 
bowled leg stump with the ball that started outside off. Obviously moving the ball. Hmm. So they've got two very two very good bowlers sitting there looking, wondering, when will I get another ball? I would definitely have given them a couple of overs uh, just to have a crack at Bill and Dan. Well, it, may, it, it might be worth, like we're into the... 28th over now. 28, 12 to go. It might be... It might be worthwhile just bringing them both on at one end, as in bowl yep. one, bowl them out, bring on the next bowl them out from one end, yeah. and then play, and then use your other three bowl, three bowlers from the either the St John's or the nursery end, whichever way he wants to do it. But I would say, yeah, now wouldn't be a bad time to get a strike bowler on. Uh, Especially a left, the left arm over, just it's a different angle. Correct. And also, both Dan and Bill have been on the pitch for quite some time. They're, mm. Now, they're able to see the ball quite well and settle accordingly. Yep. So, just upset the rhythm. Well, and also, with the field setting now, they are yep. picking up their singles. They they are smart enough to rotate the strike and take the ones and the twos, and they're quick between the, or the wickets. the captain is pretty happy with how things are going. Yeah, look, again, you wouldn't you, you wouldn't be unhappy with one four two for 6 mm. You know... Um, obviously, it's only I would have gone for the kill, honestly. Well, again, it's it's about how much you can chase in forty overs. Again, this this pitch is good enough that you can chase two hundred plus. Yeah, we saw that yesterday. Yeah, it it is. It look if you, and if you've got a couple of batsmen who can play the long shot, it's very easily gettable two hundred here. Um, like that, uh, Pembroke's. Bowling options today. Um, a couple of new bowlers who haven't bowled before on this track. So, it'd be how quickly they get, you know, their lengths right. They have Luke, Dan, Dhawan. Bruce. Bruce. That's four. Yeah. Bill. Bill. Five. Yeah. And then a couple of other options in there. Yeah. You know. The two bull no? I don't know. Okay. Eaton. Eaton, for legs, yes. Phil. Yeah. But again, it's about your front five. And um, you have to bowl five bowlers. It's about having that front five and then hopefully again it's gonna be repeated so often over the course of the season. But just as we bowling, speak. The bowling extras, yeah. the bowling extras. Just as we speak, Grayson's have actually brought on a new bowler. Yeah, this is their seventh bowler. Yeah. Which is strange. Yeah, at this stage of the game, definitely strange. Uh, look, again, you, you don't know what's, it, but I I would think you would have gone with the fr front five to get yeah. you to the forty overs. That's and that's a loose ball. Maybe this is the skipper. <laughs> Give myself an over. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Listen, the only reason you do skipper, nobody nobody votes you in. It's the whoever sticks their <laughs> hand up with the AGM. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no offense. It wasn't a hundred votes that got you in. It, you know. <laughs> Let me say what Mr. Pendergrass said to me. There is no use of power if you can't abuse it. Exactly. <laughs> you open the ball and you open the bat and then you get to feel the first slip. <laughs> At first slip? No. Well, okay. yeah. <laughs> Why else would you, Captain? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't for the glory. <laughs> it ain't I for the it, point. It, it ain't for the tanks you get. <laughs> Especially at the lower levels, it's abuse, abuse, abuse. <laughs> so, yeah, might as well take the abuse and open the bowl and the batting. Oh, thanks. I, am, I, I would never do that, actually. Oh, but God. thanks have for putting that thought. Have you not? <laughs> no. Jeez, oh. I have. <laughs> I gave myself a bowling award as well. Did you get a medal for that, Graham? I got a trophy. <laughs> I, le I, leave the medal, I, I leave the medal giving to other people. <laughs> I would, but again, I would argue I deserve the bowling award, so fuck off. <laughs> Double the wickets what anyone else got, so I was giving it to myself. Which was what, 14 wickets? 18 was wickets, it was idea. At that season, it was over 20. Okay. And the, close, the, close, the closest other person, I think, was 10, and they'd already left the club. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't going to him. So, no, sorry, I was giving it to myself. So three balls, three runs. That's better line right on that. Line, yeah. He's trying it's, he's it's getting whippy. swing. It he's is. getting swing at this stage of the game. Well it's a sling it's a sling action. Yeah. So, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna zip. It's gonna he's not he's not gonna dig it into the ground too much. He's gonna sling it down there. That's but he wild. is with that action though, he is going to bowl down leg side. I, I'm never a fan of a left arm fast bowler coming around the wicket in this first over. 
Oh, I, I used to only come around the wicket. Yeah, but for you, your ball always came into the stump. Yeah. Because you had accuracy. Yeah. And especially even in your first over. Open over, oh. that could be out, that's going to be on the ring. And he's gone, oh. taken. The change, the change in bowling has done it again for Greystone. So no matter how much we say about the loose bowling, sometimes batsmen can fall into a trap of they, they think it's all going to be bad bowling. And I was outside off on a good length. And unfortunately, all Whaley could do was find the fielder on the edge of the ring. Subra. I think the new man in is Subra. For his first knock of the year. He didn't. Yeah. He didn't get a bat yesterday. Was he playing yesterday? Subra playing? No, yesterday? No, no, Subra wasn't playing yesterday. No, he wasn't playing yesterday. Okay. So opener for fives, middle order for fours, yeah. tail end for the threes. I think Martin Potts is. Uh, doesn't say on this who the captain is. So uh, Pembroke now. In yeah, deep trouble. 148 for seven. Still another 11 overs and one ball to go. So 67 deliveries still to play with. Even a run of ball would bring them up to the 200 mark. But it's a matter of facing those 66 deliveries, um, which will be key here. And can they do it? Murray again. He's moved into the 40s as of yesterday. It was, you know, it's, he's, he's showing some really good early form here. It's about him facing another, hopefully, 30 deliveries at a minimum. Ideally, 40, 45 deliveries. And um, Pembroke could be happy, but hopefully somebody will just stay there with him. Down leg side again, called wide. Yeah. Now, one good thing with Subra coming in this late is that he will always run for the two. Yeah. Oh, well, look. It's key that you keep the ones and twos going. Teams, actually, civil service yesterday. Even though it, the, it, the match was only run but won by four runs, it was that close. There were a lot of twos they didn't take. Mm. There was a there was a they, there was a couple of batsmen who batted for them. Yeah. They, they batted very well. However, they only looked at the boundary. Yeah, um, I actually was surprised because where they had a single, they didn't take it. Yeah, yeah, and as and look, and in a four run run loss, you'll be kicking yourself. Yeah, especially if I was the batsman, I would target at the area where Aryan was fielding. Mm. And they didn't even run where he was fielding. Yeah, so. Anyway. James. So, next. Do you want to do an over? Uh, oh, Craig. Oh, Craig. Yeah. Matthew Potts continuing his over. Backed up well. well. I'm just looking at crick clubs here, and it's it's funny how they they, they classify every 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 player for Pe every player for Pembroke on crick clubs. Big appeal. No, no interest from the umpire. Every every player on the um, Pembroke team is listed as an all rounder. That's interesting. Yeah. So. Um, Yes, <laughs> obviously we've got ten bowlers. Yep, <laughs> everybody's an all-rounder, or maybe they're an all-rounder at something else. Yesterday. So who's keeper? I would uh, so Jor Jordan. Super, super, super. Of course, it's super. Subra with his classic shuffle across the crease, always making the bowler guess. Okay, well, listed as the captain on cricket clubs for Greystones is Mirwaz Nazabi, who was... Nawab Zai, yeah. He was the, I presume, maybe the parent of the opening bowler. Mm -hmm. Or some rel maybe possible relative of the opening bowler. So... He hasn't come on to bowl. That's all we'll say. <laughs> nice captain. <laughs> no, the, the, see, that's near that. that. That's your true test of a captain. He bats 11 and doesn't bowl. <laughs> would, you, would you captain and do that? No. No, see? Yeah. See, that's why when you're in the development team, when you do the development team, that's what you do. <laughs> 
You bat 11 and you don't bowl. That was sharp turn by Potts. That's end of the over. Both are opening batsmen. Okay, cool. So, um, well, he took a wicket in his first over, so the skipper's sticking with him. Will this be costly? Well, again, he's taking. he took the wicket, so maybe it's a run wicket and um, trade-off from the captain. You know... Um, it's a good ball. Yeah, but just put away nicely into the leg side for a single. Um, Yeah, well, five, only five came from his first over, so not disgraceful, but most of them were wide. That would be your only worrying thing, but he did pick up the wickets. And again, they've been taking them fairly, every time they bring on a bowling change, they seem to get, get a wicket. Maybe that's why the captain's quite happy to use seven bowlers. Fishing outside the off stump. Yeah, the sling action gets him that extra bit of zing which makes the ball go inside mm. be below the bat line for the batsman. That's again, just drifting onto the legs, played out nicely to deep square leg. Again, only one, but played off his legs well for Murray. So again, Murray's moved quietly to 42. <laughs> Sorry, 43. From 49 with that shot. Ooh, Ooh. That's better. That's see that when, when it works, his sling action, mm -hmm. when he gets it outside that off stump, it zips through nicely. It's when he's his issue is his right shoulder dragging, and that brings his body and his left arm down. And that's why it goes down to the leg side. If, if, if you look at it when he bowls, there's often it's it's when your left arm around, mm -hmm. it's about keeping your body up. And if, you're, if, he, if, his, his, if his right shoulder goes too early, his body's going to drop and his left follows him down leg. So that's what's happening from a few times. He's just dragging his body and that's why he's getting it on middle and leg and outside leg. I think the captain wants the final over from Parts because he'll finish his spell. I think he's bowled yeah. seven. Yeah, I do, yeah, and then he's another... He's six overs from the opening bowler um, between... Sorry, uh, Peniston Bird and the first change bowler, Botcha. They have six overs left between them. So if they were to bowl from one end, you know, I suspect he probably will have them both bowling in tandem. I expect you'll see them come on, at, you know, 34. 33rd, 34th over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the, I would say that's the plan. They'll bowl the last... Um, seven si overs, six, seven overs, yeah. Six overs between them. Yeah. Down the track from Subra, just put play back to the bowler. He's halfway down the track, yeah. actually. Well, yep. Yeah. Now again, it might work, but again, I would I would say the pace on if if the with, with Murray with his eye in, he won't mind a bit of pace on the ball. He's he's used to facing some quick bowling. He's played he's batted up with the twos. Like that, he's come off South African wickets where there's a lot of pace in the track. Centurion to Sandy Mount. Yeah. <laughs> It's wide. Yeah, two international grounds. So, yeah, why not? So, two added to the total there for Pembroke. Play back nicely. Just didn't quite get the angle to uh, push it back to deep mid on for the easy one. But again, he's, he's matched yesterday's score. So, uh, he's averaging 44 for the season. There's an easy one for the stats. Until that single came along. Uh, 
Now it's 44.5, and I'm going <laughs> to stop it there because now it'll get difficult without a calculator. That's well wide. He nearly get that's that's the first slit. That's a Harmison. Harmison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> difficult for a swim bowler to push it that wide, but well, an easy decision for the umpire. Back on it. Onto the leg stump misses everybody. It's given wide. They come through to add two more to the total. That's good running from that pair. That's the second time where he's missed the sweep and yep. it's turned out to be wide. So yeah. Potts has to get his radar right because he can bowl him round his legs. Oh yeah, there's nothing funner than bowling a batsman around his legs. <laughs> Never done that. Oh yes, I have. That's the thing with the left arm over sometimes, yeah. I did it in one game, and the umpire was actually turning to give wide. And I said, well, the wickets are down. The bales are off. It's out. <laughs> it's out. He was, at, he was about to stick his arms up. So another yes, no. It's been a while since we've had one of those out there. The fewer, the better for, from Pembroke's point of view. Of course, Greystones will want more. We had so, lots of them yesterday. Yeah, so that's 32 overs gone, 162 for seven. Yeah. Subra at one run after facing 11 yeah. balls, while Dan Murray is at 46. Well, the, the run rate, five and over, is, is a par, it's a par run rate, yeah. with, the, with, with again, earlier. <coughs> the outfield is good. Like, we've seen lots of boundaries along the ground, but still, it, it can pull up in areas just because of the length. Oh, that's right. I can't confirm <laughs> last night in the Whaley household. <laughs> they they probably were up till three in the morning going over the video. There was a na video analysis, scoreboard checking. Yeah, but strike rates did come up. It's always good to put the youngster in his place once in a while. <laughs> keep, keep, keep him under the thumb as long as possible. That's a single for Dan. Yeah. There's a fine career ahead of Bruce, but it's not, not no harm to just remind him every now and again that he needs to win a few more medals to catch up with Daddy. <laughs> oh, nicely played out, but it'll be no run. Easy into the covers there. Dot ball. But yeah, five five and over. Um again it it's all about how Pembroke ball. If they bowl like they did yesterday. This is an easy total. Mm -hmm. If they've improved on yesterday, it's a total they can and have the ability to defend. Oh, it's played in the air through the hands. Almost a very good catch. Uh, fuller from the bowler. Got under. Subaru with a lofted drive into extra cover. Just jumping effort from the fielder. On the, he was on the edge of the ring. Just through his hands, maybe just that little bit of power from Super Brother through his hands, but they came through for the one anyway. Good effort. Just could cold hands, cold day, possibly. Again, just outside off, good line. I think Dan is just waiting for his 50 so then he can cut loose. Well, he's he, he also knows he's, yeah. he's this. You happy enough? He's the. Uh, He's the informed batsman. He's the mm -hmm. senior batsman, despite his age. He knows his responsibility for being there as long as possible. I, I doubt he's he's looking at the score. He's he's not looking no. at the scoreboard in the sense of what he's at. No, he's he, looking he, at the scoreboard of what he overs, can get. He's looking at overs. Yeah. He's looking at you know what's left because he knows if he goes too early, yeah. you know there's going to be a lot of runs left behind. So no, he he'd be watchful. He's been here before. It's 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 not a case of somebody like myself who's desperate for a fifty <laughs> and would be crawling along. Uh, oh, little stutter, but safely true for two from Super. Cut down to third man. No, the, the, again, the joys of this generation of young cricketers is yes, they want fifties, yes, they want fivers and such and such, but they don't. It doesn't bother them. Yep. They, they'll just, you know, keep going either way. But what they're bothered is about winning the game, which is always oh, yeah. a good sign. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. They have, they definitely have <coughs> that in them. But uh, the discussions won't be around, though, about me getting two runs here. Because he knows if he stays there, he's going to get it. 
In fact, if anything, I suspect he's gone. Would I have enough deliveries here to get to a hundred? <laughs> if, if I lay, if I get going. Okay, so change in bowling. Pots has come off. So, with seven overs to go, 42 deliveries for the mathematicians out there. And uh, the Botcha, you know, who bowled five overs in his first spell, spell for a very, very economical two for 13, comes back on from the nursery ends. And he uh, jinxed him straight away <laughs> after his very economical spell, comes back in straight with a wide. <laughs> But even with that, no, he was his first spell was right on the money from the word go. He got a wicket in his first over, clean bowling Ethan Clark, and his his five overs as far as you get any like thirteen runs from it, he was on the money. And right there, he's back on that line length. He's, he he gets such a good height and good arm length. He's coming from a very good height. Still able to get the ball swing so mm, late. Yeah. So th this is obviously. Greystones will be hoping his last three overs go for possibly 10 runs, possibly 12, and they know they're on a winner if that happens. Pembroke will hope, be hoping for maybe 18 to 20, but again, Murray hasn't faced him yet. He's, he's only got to have a look at him for a couple of deliveries, and then oh, he just pulls back Derek because some silly people walking behind the bowler's arm. So, in for his third delivery. Play back, quickly call through. Fielder's deep enough there so he can get the one in it. Brings him to 49. Brings Subaru back onto face. So, again, he'll be his first look at uh, Boccia. It's been an interesting phase of play by Greystones where they have held back their pace bowlers and now they've brought them on at the right time for them. Mm -hmm. no, well, I think they suspect this was always there. was a plan of how, considering how well the... the the opener in this boat are bold that they'd be looking at six overs left six overs to go that's obviously the plan so I would be very 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 surprised if um, we don't see Peniston Bird come on now from the St. Jones Road end where he bowled his first spell that's 50 for Dan that's a very well so the first 50 of, of the 2024 season for Pembroke is is uh, Hit by Daniel Murray. A little bit fuller. And he's gone. Yeah, that was very full. Unless it had been really swinging then leg, you would have suspected that was pretty, pretty well out. So, Subras departs for just five against his name. Pembroke now, one seven, one for eight. Now, I suspect a little, yeah, you can see Daniel Murray getting a little bit of a drink there and also the skipper Jogging on the field, maybe a little ask how he's doing. What's his plans are? Is he heading to Coppers tonight? Has he got school in the morning? <laughs> and more likely he'd go for it. Or more like stay. Well, well, Luke joins him, so, you know. You've got six overs, so that's 36 yeah. balls. So. Yeah, no, no, a run about. It's about getting to the 40. You don't know how many extras you'll get. Yeah. You don't know how many wides there'll be. You've got to bat your 40 at any level. Bat your overs. Because yeah. otherwise you're always left wondering. But Luke Murray, you know. Joins his brother, well, Dan Murray. Yeah, well capable of, of, of hitting ones and twos. So, um, anyway, as suspected, Peniston Bird comes on to... What we would suspect to bowl three overs in his second spell. Very successful. One for ten off his five. So, yeah, 
Grace Towns will be looking for these two bowlers to bowl in tandem to maybe go for even less than a run of ball. They'll be hoping for maybe 25, 20 to 25 off these 36 deliveries. Keep Pembroke under the 200 will be there. What they'll be saying to each other. I, I think anything less than 200 is a win for Grace Towns because the kind of uh, stutter what Pembroke had. So anything more than 200 would slightly deflate their confidence. No, play it away. All all they can do now is like one 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 seventy isn't the worst total in the world. So um, with six overs to go, five point five, what the the what Greystones will be saying to each other is let's keep them under two hundred. That's that's our target. Keep them under two hundred, and we'll chase that. And, and we don't need to do anything fancy to chase that either. Well, no, Just single well, double, single double. That's more yeah, than enough. Yeah. The only the only thing is now I would. I would back this bowler. We have a new batsman at the crease. He's a number 10 batsman. And the same field as for Dan Murray. Everyone, you know, defensive, deep on the boundaries. It's 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 not backing a bowler who's, who's bowling very good lines and lengths. In fact, the most threatening bowler of the game today. Yeah. Yeah. So far. He's been moving the ball. He's, he's been very tight on his lines. I've, I've, I, I think they're very... They're, Three people on the lakeside boundary is too defensive for this bowler, even though he's bowling left arm over. But he's got a fresh batsman and, and he bowls a very good tight line on that off fourth stump. So, yeah. Personally, if you, if you were really going for it, going for the kill, you could keep third man but still bring in a first slip. Uh, not the first slip, I'd definitely bring well, for a the for, uh, for the first bat, for, for Luke, first slip, third man. No need for fine leg. He's, He's not getting the ball in, so might as well keep a wide gully so that he can nick it and it'll fly off. Yeah, doesn't. But the the man on the boundary is fine. But he's no need for fine leg. He's mm. bowling. He's bowling too well for a deep fine leg. For the uh, ball to be flicked that side. Well, yeah. for a deep fine leg, a deep square leg, and a deep mid wicket, he's bowling too well for that. Give him his first slip for the for the number ten batsman. Oh, he doesn't need a slip. <laughs> That's really well bowls. Full, little bit of movement. Brings it back and, and into the base of off and middle. That's really good bowling. Well deserved. Um, has been the pick of the bowlers. So, batsman number nine departs. I would say it's green light time for Dan if he's facing. I, I, I would say... We have number a left 11. Hander. Yeah, we have a left-hander walking in. Okay, well... The left arm over bowler won't mind that. You very rarely get to bowl to a left-handed batsman as a left arm bowler. Plays for the twos, Dhawan Shah. Recently joined Pembroke. Play for which twos? Uh, Pembroke twos. He selected for Pembroke twos already. They have, two yeah, but, but he hasn't played. Oh yeah, he hasn't played. He played he for Wexford played. one, recently yeah, transferred. Yeah. Well he's a right he's batting as a right hander. Yeah, he bats both. He bats both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a left arm fast bowler. Okay. Well, like I said, until, until you take the pitch, you haven't played. Fair enough. So he's playing for Pembroke Trees. As of now. Yeah. Selection hasn't taken place. <laughs> Remember, the, two, the two's captain is here. He might play himself out of selection. <laughs> <laughs> I would be more than happy to take him for fives. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent over. Just the one run and a wicket. <coughs> so th this is all going to plan for Greystones at this time. Their, um, their their idea of keeping these two bowlers back uh, is working so far. The interesting now, um, Dan Murray on strike. Or sorry, no, Shaw back on strike. No, it is Dan, Dan Murray on strike. Yeah. And what he does here now. I think he has to go for it now. Well, I'd, I'd be more, I'd be happier to see him looking towards twos, not necessarily going for sixes and fours, but playing for space. They're, the field is set wide for him, so there's opportunities in the Pembroke open space for twos. Nobody goes aerial over extra. Ah, oh, it's racing away. Beautiful four runs, backward point. And now the fielder is gone to right where he's hit the ball. The captain stuck the fielder. We so, spoke about it yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, captain's chasing the ball. But no, he's gone aerial. And now he's given the bowler protection outside off. So we've got deep extra cover, deep point. 
deep mid off on the offside. Two more in the ring on the offside. He actually moved the square the leg fielder yeah. wide. Yeah, but again, he's got a, f a fine leg. Deep fine leg, which, oh, he's gone aerial. That's gone big. That's over the heads. Mid on, it's just inside the rope, I, th I suspect. Yeah, four from four from the umpire. Again, as a, as a skipper, as a bowler, I don't, I don't like deep fine leg. Rightfully so, he's moved the fine leg now. Yeah. <coughs> Either have deep backward square or, or, or backward square, but the deep fine leg, especially when you have a, a, a man on the boundary, a third man. He's actually he brought slip. the fine leg inside the circle. Mm. It, it screams bad bowling, but this bowler isn't bowling badly. Oh, well played. Good bowling. That's a good, good comeback by the bowler. Yeah, good battle. Well, pressure on him. Like, with Murray starting 4-4, four, four, um, you know, obviously he, he's he's got his plan and a bit of pressure for the bowler. It's the first time he's, he's kind of been attacked like this today. There's, there's a little scan. Thanks, we got a cameraman there. Oh, that's big and full. Suspect down to leg. Yes, Mr. Carty, not interested. Batsman shaping to play to leg sides. The ball obviously following him down that way. He was very good length though. Hit on the full. No, that should be wide, yes, called. Just drifting a little on his own, trying to force it to keep the ball away because he's he sees um Murray's happy to go aerial on the offside. If he puts it outside off stump, he knows Murray will go at him. So it's nine runs off the first yeah. three balls four, actually. Four, four, four. One is away, so yeah, no, but four four deliveries. Now again down leg, but this yeah, another wide. He's he's trying to cramp Murray and unfortunately he's losing his line a little because of that. You you'd suspect now Murray should be thinking about a single. Just to get on strike at the other end. He's got 10 in the over. Again, full but drifting leg, and now three in a row. Your jinx yeah. worked? Mm. So 15 runs in first five overs, yeah, well, and 12 in the next nine balls. Well, as we said, it doesn't matter who you bowl at the end sometimes. If yep. a batsman is set and he's and he's capable of going for it, it doesn't matter who you bring on. Now the bowler, again, now he goes wide the other side of the stumps. It's beaten the, the wicket keeper. Um, Murray gets to the other end, just called the boy, so, so not too wide. Um, yeah, so 11 runs uh, in the over. The smart move now from Shaw would be nothing silly. Just play the three out, yeah. play out the three balls and give yeah. a single. Well, look, if you get a single, take it. But obviously, no, no, no big swings and misses, please. That's full. Shouts, suspecting a down. Yeah, just drifting leg side again. That was a good ball, actually. Oh, yeah. And that is over. So, yeah. Good over for Pembroke. 12 from it. Murray gets to the other end. He's moved on to 59. Shaz faced two deliveries yet to get off the mark, but Pembroke moved to 184 for nine. Off 36 over. So four to go. Um, so Murray has managed to put Boccia off his... His line, his length, and go after him. And now the question is, will he be able to do the same to Pedersen Bird? Because this will be the first time he faces him today. He's yet to face a delivery from this bowler. Well, bowled again outside that off stump, fourth, fourth wick stumped line. Giving the ball a chance to come back into the right hander. It's the hardest line to bowl, and he's bowling it at the death. Yeah. Speaks volume of the skill of the bowler. Well, to be honest, if you get your body shape right, it, it is actually easier than it looks. Oh no, he drifts into the body and Murray's fully lashed onto that one. There's no doubt about where that's gone. That's six. 
he drifted he drifted into the body it wasn't outside the line of off and murray just see we've got a replay here now yeah you can see the movement he's still getting swing at this late stage but it drifted middle and leg and murray just latched onto that length and, and a couple of words exchanged by yeah, the bowler yeah and into the garden well if he if he does drift he is going to go from but it, it is amazing he's, he's still getting that little bit of movement in the air in at this late stage there you go good length he gets a further right side off this time though just very happy just to play it in nicely into the offside which is Sensible. which is fine now the, yep. the umpire is having a look at that follow through yeah he's he's gone right he's gone well then that's a long way down the track for a follow through that's that's not even if, if he is going into that danger zone that that's a long way down Yeah, and there he goes again. Actually, that that that, that yeah, that should be a, the, the umpire should be having a word with him there. That's he's gone down a good bit down the middle. Yeah, he, he's having a word with him. I think the first one was he let the bowler have it, and the yeah. second one was like, no, you're not no. doing it again. You let him have one, then a warning. Yeah, you can see him. He came off the area nicely that time but still managed to keep it outside off so it's good bowling so again it's five deliveries now this will be this will be the moment the batsman should be looking for a quick single uh whether greystones react and bring the field in to try to negate that because ideally pembroke wants murray facing they haven't they're no, still they're the same. exact same field which is surprising but they trust the bowler to not give him that single well he could still just drop and go the field is deep oh uh -huh. well played and they get the single some fire between the both of them was exchanged by Peniston Bird and the yeah. umpire rightfully telling him you should walk off and Dan Murray so Peniston Bird complained that Dan Murray was on his way and umpire said no nothing doing you yeah. were on his way yeah I wasn't even paying attention <laughs> for that missed it completely I was looking at the ball and Dan Murray having a slight jog back to the batting well the joys of youth. When you're on 66 of 71, yes, yeah. you can have that yeah. word with the bowler saying that, yeah, That's you fun. bowled well, I just hit you for a six. Yeah. So, watch it to continue. Nursery ends. So, 18 deliveries. Strays again to leg sides. Clip beautifully to square. Nobody deep on that side. It is going to be pulled up. Just a two, but a lovely shot along the ground. Like give that a month of some good weather, and that's that's getting all the way to the to the railway lines. Lovely clip, and it's last over by Bocha. So mm. all Dan has to do is just wait for this over, and then no, no, no. He's, he, oh yeah, this is last yeah, over. Who's going to bowl the fortieth? Actually, yeah, so they'll have to bring yeah. one of the earlier bowlers yeah, to bowl the, one over. To bowl the fortieth. Yeah. If 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 Pembroke get there, they'll. Obviously, Greystones will be hoping they don't, and there's no need for it. But again, yeah. Oh, lovely straight drive. Should be cut off, but well, they, they've cut call back for the two. No, just it's easily make it in the end. Yeah. It just it hit. It got into the dirt early, yeah. so it, the, the the grass took a bit of bit of life out of that coming back to the bowler. It need it needs to be a bit more aerial. You can see the fielder's shoulders hurting them, so. Um, that's obviously the reason why, but they still ran well for that too. Again, played to leg sides. They're gonna. They could look too. So it, uh, they would have made two if they gone straight away, but because they were thinking single. That's a wide. Probably just wondering if we were okay to finish. Uh. Yeah, he asks in the 38 over. <laughs> that's a wide. So, yes, with, yeah, that's, um, so with just the, you know, 16 deliveries or 15 deliveries to go, 
We might just make that the commentators. Quick call through for Murray. And that is Shah off the mark. Obviously a bit of bat involved. First runs for the season. Yeah, first runs for Pembroke. Yep. Always nice to get your first run. Murray happy to come through with two to go in the over. Well played again. Well bowled. He does bowl that full Yorker very well. And it's so difficult to get away with it because it's straight angling into the stumps. Yeah. All you have, all you can do is expect the ball not yeah. to hit the stumps. Well, like that, with the field setting it is. Again, they're not bringing the field in for the final ball of the over, even though they must suspect Murray wants to stay on strike. He really only needs to, you know, get some bat on it and just run. And again, flicked away lovely. Drifted That's to the leg. Brilliantly yeah. played. That's an easy an single. An easy single. But they didn't put too much pressure on him. Surprising. So, Murray, Murray gets back on strike. Pemberton Bird to bowl his final over. And the umpire actually having a word with Peniston Bird to just relax a bit. Well, the other thing to be careful of, I know they are playing adult cricket, but he is underage, so you have to be extra careful. Um, when the opposite, when the op your opposition player is under age, so this is brewing to be an interesting battle. Dan Murray, who's of seventy-two and seventy-six balls, mm -hmm. and Beniston Bird, who's been the pick of the bowler oh, yeah. for two, two, two for eighteen from seven, and that's yeah. with that six. That's yeah, it's a brilliant piece of bowling. And we go. He looks to the garden again, but that is too far outside off for last shots. That's well again. He's playing bowled that well. Fourth, fifth stump with the ball coming back in. So. Bowler knows what the batsman wants to do. Batsman knows, the bowler knows. Yeah. So he knows that I know that you know, <laughs> that I know that he knows. We all know. So stay out, stay out of the garden. Oh, into the covers. Should be two, an easy two. Could be four. Will it be pulled in? No. Oh, oh it, just. It just pulled in. Well, there's a man there to, if it, to spot it. Now, I think... So an easy, beautifully played into the covers brings brings Pembroke nicely along. Brings up to two hundred, so two hundred and one. Brilliant, brilliant knock for Murray to get Pembroke to two hundred, and there he goes, leg side. That's going to be four. Can't see that being cut off, and it isn't. It's a, it was a little bit short of a length. Gave Murray the opportunity to get the bat under the ball, and he just well, to be unflattering, hoist, hoists. <laughs> hikes it into a lofted drive to the kind of wide, wide, deep mid-on area where there was a course. So round just one. To the, to, just to the car park, to the, Cyr to the Cyril's Way yep. crest. And there's a change in field. No, there's a deep mid-wicket now. Well, he's, he's, moved, he's, moved yep. the, um, he's moved the fielder to where Marie's just hit it now. Marie obviously will look to go straighter, but with the ball, it'll be difficult to do that. You know, with the ball swinging and angling into him, it'll be difficult to go straighter. Now he's been warned again yep. for walking onto the pitch. Well, at this stage, it should be, it's more than a... Second warning. Well, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, again. And the balls to go, yeah. Yeah. I de I he's just ruining it for his own batter. Well, yeah, I know. If I'm the opening batter, I'm going to be a bit annoyed. Yeah. Now, whether he gets penalty runs or not, it'll be interesting if he does it again. Decide not to take the single on that occasion. He's quite happy to wait for the last ball of the over. And last ball of a wonderful spell by Peniston yeah. Bird. Oh, yeah. He's troubled the opening batsman, yeah. got two wickets. Mm -hmm. Must say, pick off the bowlers for Grace Jones today. Yeah, like apart from two deliveries, which you've gone for 10 runs. Like you can't argue. Oh, that's well watched and well played. And uh, Pembroke have to be happy with Murray getting the single off the last ball. So, yeah, that's eight, o eight overs, two for 25. Great spell. Yeah, and one over to go for Pembroke. So, yeah. importantly, Pembroke have the ability to play all the 40 overs. Yeah, no, that was, that was not looking likely at one stage. Yeah. You know, when they were losing wickets in clumps of two. 
So the other opening bowler from this morning, he's back to his nursery end where he started. Um, so no, no Walsby. No Walsby. Thank you. Um, yeah. Now there is an opportunity because there's a bit of pace in this bowling, but again, I, I would argue out of the three bowlers for Greystones, this is probably the more wayward. I'm not saying that yeah. he was very wayward. Like obviously, <laughs> 33 isn't a bad spell off seven, but. Just, it's the last over. Here we go. Here we go. Ariel. Beautiful shot. Absolutely crashed through extra cover. Expect fireworks. Yes. The every every he'll, he'll be he'll be swinging through every ball. If if they if he doesn't get his lens right, this 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 could get ugly. Hundred percent. And well, he's kept a field yeah. where he doesn't have an extra cover. Yeah. Which basically means his margin of error is zero. Yeah, yeah. True, to, true to V. That's all Murray should be thinking of. Anything outside off, just hit it through the V. Don't change a thing. Again, outside off, over the top, same spot, four runs. That's brilliant for Murray. And he moves to 87 of 83 balls. He, now he will be thinking. He's he, In his head, he's thinking, I'm three shots away here. No. Nah. I think he'll be thinking of three he's, big he, hits for the team. No, no, you know, of course he's thinking because he wants to hit three more shots for the team. But anything he does will equate. If he does what he wants for the team, it would also mean personal glory. Yeah, we're back. So anyway, Pembroke two fourteen, two fours, four deliveries to go. Here we go again. He goes reverse sweep, beautiful. Gets it on the full. That's oh, a cracking shot down here to third man. Even the even the wiki keeper has a little smile on his face at that one. It was brilliantly played. Oh, to the oh, 90s. Oh, Bouchan has taught him well. <laughs> that's, that's a Bouchy special. Uh, it was fuller from the bowler, which is what you were hoping for, but he just he kept, his, he kept his stance and uh, reversed the, the reverse sweep beautifully played. So, 3 4 4 4. Pressure on the bowler. Pressure on the bowler. 2 18. Oh, oh, swing and a miss. Oh, he, no, he doesn't want the run. He got, oh, gee, Murray didn't want the run. No, he's coming back for the tee. He's going to be run out. That was That's an opportunity missed, I would suspect. Dude, that's... <coughs> that was bad calling. Shaw should have known it. No runs needed there. No, no, no. There was, there was no, never a second. Well, the, the, that's why Murray wanted the strike. There was, no, there was no need for the one. They should have just been happy one dot ball. And giving him the opportunity of two more hits. But, but anyway, brilliant look, innings by Murray. Brilliant, ninety-one. He'll be he'll off eighty-five. Be, he, yes, off eighty-five. That's the. I said if he faced eighty deliveries, that's all that was. It, it was needed. He had to face eighty deliveries for Pembroke, and he did so. So at the end of the innings, Pembroke have scored. Oh, been all out for two hundred and eighteen. Yeah, Tri and with two unused deliveries, unfortunately, from their point of view. Uh, two nineteen. Two nineteen. Two nineteen all out because they got one run for the. One run completed, um, which should have been a bye, I suspect. Or, or who knows, or who cares. Uh, they have the scoreboard, uh, they have Daniel finishing on 92. 92. It says not out, but he is run out. They have the, they've the wrong man run out there. Uh, they have Shah run out, which obviously Daniel will be happy if they don't change that for his averages. <laughs> but I suspect that will be changed uh, at some stage. Uh, yeah, I can, I can imagine Shah going up. No, I want my one not out. I want my one not out. But you will have to credit Greystone's bowlers. They made life difficult for Pembroke. Penniston Bird was the pick of the bowlers, who bowled eight overs for 25 that's, runs and two wickets. Yeah. So that's 136 runs from Murray this weekend. First weekend of the season. Average of uh, 65, 64, 65? Yeah. Uh, look, you know, not a bad start to, the, to, to 2024. Got to be happy with that. Be so happy. we're gonna innings well, break. Yeah, innings break. We'll leave, we'll leave, we'll leave you there because we'll, we we need a drinky. Okay, but yeah, see you back for the second innings.
Just to bring you up to date with what's happening in the match here, the match summary on your screen. Pembroke thirds somehow managed to get up to 219 all out. And Greystones will require 220 from their 40 overs. The bad news is, and you can see on your screen, the covers have been brought out and put on. Pipes not being laid out yet, but it's certainly a sign that we are expecting some rain. It could be a delay at the start of the second half. And we hope you'll join back on with us when we do get some action. But at the moment, the players are at T. Pembroke having reached that total of 219 in Maine to a fabulous innings from Daniel Murray. Dan got 92 and it took him 86 balls to get there and he really was the backbone of the innings today. Yeah, same as yesterday, top scoring. 44 yesterday and 92 today. Jordan Kelly weighed in with a entertaining 25 before, well, that was Martin Potts' wicket. Uh, just getting him on length. And Bruce Whaley, swashbuckling 20 from 23 deliveries. 38 extras, and again, another high figure we're seeing in these early season games. There were plenty of extras yesterday. And uh, you can see there the bowling figures for the Greystone side. T was taken about 5, 10 minutes ago with another 20, 25 minutes to go. And hopefully by that stage, the rain will have passed and not done too much damage. We will come back and try and keep uh, you informed as to how things are happening as we hear news. But for the moment, I'll leave you with the match summary and the picture of Phil Blackley trudging off to the pavilion.
Well, good afternoon to the seven of you still tuned in. I can tell you the rain has arrived. It's falling. And looking at our weather apps, it looks like it's going to be falling for a good half an hour yet to come. It is looking a bit brighter out to the west, but for the moment we are, do find ourselves hunkering down in our gazebo, just as the wicket itself is hunkering down under the covers. Thank you very much for sticking with us, and uh, again, we will give you an update in about 10 minutes or so, or if anything happens before then. But for the moment, thanks for sticking with us, and even if you leave your laptop just open, no doubt you'll hear us announcing the recommencement of this Division 7 game. Well, just as the rain is coming down, no doubt you can hear it bouncing off the gazebo here. We thought we'd bring you up to date with what happened in that first innings. Greystones first, winning the toss, and they decided to field first, unsurprisingly. And then Pembroke got off, as you can see at the start. Well, I'm not going to take you through it over by over, but... They started with a maiden and just a steady start from the openers until the ninth over. And a few wickets fell. And slowly but surely, you can see the stands, the various stands and partnerships that were made. And look at that at the end. My goodness, doesn't it take an up click for those last five overs? And what marvellous work was done at that stage. And that got Pembroke. Well, they were below 175 when the ninth wicket fell. And they've made it all the way up to 219. And they've set a decent target. We'll talk to our graphics department now. They might give us the batting team. And that was the, the worm. And here is the card for the Pembroke third 11. A different card to yesterday. No Noah Smith at the top of the order today. He's off training with the under-23 squad, and we wish him all the best with that. However, uh, Bouchan uh, Baviska... Open with Ethan Clark, and it was steady enough. 
But as you can see, the wicket's falling. The major contribution of there, obviously, coming from Daniel Murray with his 92 before he was run out. On, uh, <laughs> well, he called a second. Uh, they did call a second. He was so slow setting off for the yeah. first that yeah. there was never a second. Yeah. It was taking fumbles and all sorts of things. It was in his head, do I send and, them back to my face? And look, he, he sacrificed himself for the possibility of another run for the team. So. And he wanted to face. And uh, so that was it. Two balls were left behind. The overs and the bowling. Well, Greystones, I was impressed by Peniston mm. Bird. Oh, uh, yeah. Left arm over, in swinging bowler. He did very well, and that's reflected in two for 25. He, he can be quite happy with his day's oh, work. Oh, no, and, and like that, out of that 25, 10 came from just two shots near the end, with Murray eye in swinging f for the fences. So, no, great, great spell, two spells. And there you can see the fall of the wickets. It seems to be a bit brighter out there now. I don't yep. know if it's still yep. raining. Still raining. Still raining. So, but at least a bright skies ahead, perhaps. Yeah, they, Seagull the un enjoying the pitch anyway. The umpires have half an hour to play with before they need to even think of any reduction in overs. So we sh hopefully, hopefully there won't be any issues in having a 40 over second innings. You can see the big figure there, extras 38. Well, mm. I say big, that's the smallest figure we've seen this weekend so far in three innings. Mm -hmm. um, Greystones apparently were looking at the live scoring or watching yesterday, and uh, a few of their players were sort of rubbing mm. their hands with glee at yeah. the fact that Pembroke gave away that many. Well, again, and especially on the day, if, look, at the, like I said, at the moment, DL isn't coming into the game. Um, there's no reduction in overs, but if it does... Your your economy and your pressure in the overs make all the difference. And if you're giving away freebies, that DL will be much easier to keep up with. Well, it's a decent target they set, but I wouldn't say it's much above par. Again, that's on that track. Outfield now, the wet will slow it up a tiny bit. Maybe make the ball a bit greasy, difficult for the fielders. But again, yeah. 220 is definitely gettable. Like I said, two two teams got it yesterday. Yep. Yep, we saw plenty of runs yesterday. Uh, all tangled. So, yes, uh, plenty of bowlers used. Seven used there by Greystones today. I, I would still argue 180 is par, 220 is good batting. If, it, if all the runs come from the bat, I'd mm. absolutely agree with you. But out of those 220 that, mm. that, that Greystones need, they could be looking at collecting 50 of those yes. through extras, in yes. which case they only need to score 170. Yeah. And if no, no, the, yeah. You know, if, if that's the way it goes again today. But mm. that having been said... We don't know. The Pembroke bowlers now have a game under their belts, yeah. which the Greystone bowlers didn't. You, Pembroke will argue they're slightly improved in the rolling attack today. Just, just from... Just the introduction of Shah, just for for experience. Well, like he 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 has you know he's, he's a few more overs under his belt than a few of the youngsters yesterday. So th hopefully that counts for something from a Pembroke point of view. But again, until he get the ball in the hand and turn the arm over, we don't know. It's the known unknowns. <laughs> oh, <yes>. Jordan <laughs> Kelly. Well, there's, there's, that's one way to be unique. <laughs> I think that's marvellous. I think more people should submit their photos onto the Crick Club, Club's yeah. live uh, system. Yeah. It should be mandatory, well, except for under 18s. So there is the Pembroke side. Well, yesterday we saw Clark, Whaley, Murray, uh, Whaley, yeah. And Murray as bowlers, yeah, and they're all here again today. Yeah, now I would suspect it's Murray Murray open, um, then Whaley Whaley, uh, possibly Shaw in there. I would say Bill will probably bowl Shaw before himself, so Murray Murray Whaley Shaw, and then the fifth bowler, a combination of Br uh, Bill and possibly. Does Stuart bowl, actually? I don't know. No, Stuart McDonald no. wouldn't. I mean, he bowls in the nets, and I have seen him bowl. But when you've got bowlers like Luke Murray and mm. Daniel Murray and, you know, you know Bruce Whaley, mm. uh, who yesterday provided the control. Oh. Sorry, no, you're captured on this leg here as well. Okay. Um, you know, when you've got that sort of mm. quality around, uh, are you going to go to somebody who's part-time? Uh, well, I definitely don't think we should be doing what Greystones did and go with seven bowlers. 
Well, you never know. Bill may be he, a he, forced he, into that. Yes, he might be. Um, Ethan Clark with his leg spin. Yeah, um, as I was saying. Yeah. Was, uh, Would you give Phil Buckley a ball? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against Phil, but again, with the ball you have yes. in the available to you, you don't need to look to people like yeah. Phil or Stu Duvall. I, I just, I, I do find it because I was saying earlier on commentary, under cricket clubs, every player is, is counted as an all rounder yep. on their description. So you're like, it's a bit harder for people to tell. Does Jordan bowl? No, no. no. Um, look, ideally, Pembroke would be hoping their five bowlers are enough that they their lines are a bit better today. Um, if if they don't give forty extras, they should have enough. Mandy, you wouldn't mind popping up to the umpires and seeing if they've reduced the overs. Uh, they won't have, so it's half an hour after tea. Half an hour after half tea. An hour spare time. Yeah, before overs have to be reduced. So they have the time for tea plus half an hour. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> and then two overs for every ten minutes. After that. Now, only mm. fair if we put up the Pembroke side that we go and see how many pitches there are on the Greystone side. Yeah, I expect few. I suspect very few. Hey, Jordan's the only go. one out of everybody. Well, there you go. Well, well, I have to say, Martin Potts used all his experience with his bowling today. He, he's not listed as... Oh, do you mean bowling or as captain? His, his bowling. Oh, okay, yeah. Now? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it didn't quite fit. Oh. Graham has to lean back a bit. You look awful with a cigarette hanging out your mouth there, by the way. <laughs> anyway, right, without distracting okay. you of that. Uh, I suppose people would prefer if I lean forward. That's better. For me and the viewers. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Now you just put me on mute and it's it's 100%. Well, there you go. This guy's my chance of eating this biscuit. <laughs> We need be. sustenance. It's a long day. Won't, won't be eating on air, that's for sure. Yeah. There we go. Anyway, I was very <laughs> impressed by Connor Peniston Bird with his bowling, opening the bowling. He seemed to be a bit... Yes, please. Uh, he seemed to be a very good bowler and mm -hmm. almost a class above any of his colleagues. Well, I, uh, no, Bocce was, I was, I was up there as well. Um, I liked his height in bowling. He, he you know, high extended arm. He came, you know, got that Yorker in, which got him a couple of wickets. He was swinging the ball. Um, no, I like. But, but what do you think, Frank? <laughs> Back to you, sir. No, um, definitely the, the two standouts were definitely uh, Penniston and 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 Boccia. backed up by. Uh, no, I'm not sorry for pronunciation. Now, what? No, yeah. But Potts bowled well. He won the battle with Kelly. If he hadn't have won that battle. Um, could have been a lot more runs on the board, Kelly, because was certainly hitting the ball well. Um, so <laughs> it's set up for a good game, as was yesterday. Um, well, yesterday was an absolute thriller. Yeah, came down to four runs in the end. Yeah, I'd, it's, I and would suspect uh, something similar. It would, I'd say, I would say it's unlikely. So un it's a good advert for Division Seven cricket, yeah, anyway. Yeah, and it's look, it's very unlikely. Not impossible, obviously, but I suspect Greystones aren't going to win this by eight or nine wickets. Well, it, I would say it will come down to Pembroke season. Needing, I'd yeah. be very surprised if anybody yeah. goes on and racks up big. Uh, now yeah. Dan has, has done, done well, well, yeah, but he's a kid who's been netting all the time yeah. all winter. He's been out in South Africa yeah. playing cricket mm -hmm. during the winter. He, he's 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 light years ahead of people who haven't netted yet. Exactly. So he's had match time, uh, not uh, even net time. He's had net and match. So 92 today yeah, and 44, 44 yeah. yesterday shows that he's in magnificent touch. Yeah. But for the other 21 players who, <laughs> well, apart from his brother, obviously, but haven't spent mm. that long mm. uh, playing at the moment, um, it's tough to come back. And in yeah, yeah. early April, your cold. fingers are cold. Your yeah, your body isn't moving. It's yeah, sore. Yeah, Everything yeah. is sore. And that's just the young people. Yeah. Add, add to that a bit of age as well, and suddenly it becomes, oh. Why did horrific. I get up this morning? Why is did I say <laughs> I was available? Is, yeah. is often the question. Sometimes it's people decide <laughs> to shouldn't. go down the Steve McCarthy route, which is, could you give me a shout <laughs> in July if you're yeah. playing at home on a Saturday? And uh, <laughs> There's something on in the bar afterwards. There's something on in the bar afterwards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should have cleaned out the shed this morning. I should have done what the wife asked. Well, 
No, the rain has definitely stopped yes. now. I don't think there's going to be any delay or any they'll, reduction no. in overs. No, they'll, they'll keep the covers GLS. on. To the, they'll keep the covers to the last moments. Just to oh, yeah, just common sense. Yeah, around here. But there is, but it is, it is stopped. Um, in the same way, we won't be dismantling the the walls yes. of the studio to be able to see until at such time as as uh, we're quite until sure. I see until I see an umpire right there with a player and a ball in hand. Yeah, there's no need to get excited. Um, actually, I haven't even looked. Is there any other scores around today? Well, you, while you're looking around the yeah. grounds. Uh, okay. Because unfortunately, no, there was no other matches I think played yesterday. We were the only one, well, certainly nothing on live score. Nothing okay. Else was, nothing else was live score. Okay. Which, considering the investment by Cricket yeah. Leinster um, in to getting okay. each club a tablet. There may only have been about one other. Um, Castleknock versus Leinster, I think, was played yesterday. Castleknock won by 176 runs. Well, the first thing I'm going to say about that is, if it's true that the game here was the only one live scored, then fair play to the captain to get the score in, who has already got his score yeah. in on hey, the, on on this. Yeah, because hey. he obviously went home and keyed it all in. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there it is. Yeah, Castleknock. Leinster was yesterday in Portislane Park. Oh, Ongar and Lucan also played. Ongar won by 83 runs comfortably. Both teams. Yeah. I'll put that in there really well, it, it, it's all about interpretation. Yeah. The phrase used, uh, the, uh, the updates I, on the I, game I were like such it. that uh, Ongar second. No, one by 83 runs comfortably. Both team mm. played the game in high spirit. In high spirit. Yeah. Now, <laughs> judging from the grammar of the... Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing that English isn't. No. Uh, but I would say, uh, yeah, why not put it in? And mm. it's great to see, because I'd rather see people reporting good games than mm. talking about bad ones behind Cubs' backs. Oh, and if that is the case... Does the like I know, but you know, there's no right of reply. You don't want one. Either. No, exactly. But you know, don't put it in because there, no, there may, no, you know, I've, I've seen no, I've seen back and forths on this system. Yeah, absolutely. I and if they're going to be back and forths, there will be. But but that system is a cricket Leinster system. Mm -hmm. So cricket Leinster are policing it. Mm. Um, oh, players and umpires. I see players and umpires. So no, I think it's good that people get the chance uh, to put down, but you can't. All I'm saying is you, you have to be careful how you, you can't yeah. read things literally mm. um, because sometimes that's not what was meant. Mm. And, of course, text and, and, and writing is, mm. is no substitute for actually sitting down with somebody and, and looking them in the eye and having mm. a discussion with them. Uh, whereas over text, you, you can only imagine how, how they're reacting to what you're saying or how you'd react to what they're mm. saying. But it's totally different being in front of somebody than it is uh, by the anonymous nature of, of text and that sort of thing going mm. on. Well Sorry about that, Noel. So, well, at least... Well, the camera was blowing. You had it tethered there and it was blowing back. So at, le at least there. three out of five games were played yesterday. The Swords DLR game in Newbridge was definitely called off. The grounds were closed to any any sports. The availability is, was, wasn't available. Due to the nature of the weather in the last... Availability what? wasn't... Uh, there we go, talking about the language and yep. <laughs> the availability wasn't available. Well, uh, sorry, <laughs> just looking at uh, Fing Fingal County Council's availability of pitches report. Yeah, I know, I know. There was, a, there was very few uh, tr throughout Fingal that were made available. Look, one of the unions up north has, has postponed or deferred yeah. the start of their season the by north a week. The yeah. To, to, to because they've had such awful weather. Mm. In a way, that just ma it makes the fixtures easier. In a way, it just add do plus one to every yeah. fixture. Yeah, just plus one. It depends how you how they go about it. But yeah. yes, I understand what you're saying there. Yes, it. Could I know be. that's a bit simplistic, uh, but, but you know, um, yeah, I don't change your fixtures at all. Just no. change the dates by one week. Or or if just you were due to play yeah. us in two weeks' time. Yeah. You know, you're still playing us in two weeks' time yeah. after the first game. Yeah. But that week has been moved on. I would I would expect a change if they start it next do week. Do you know why they can't do that? Cups in Ireland and all Ireland yeah, Cups yeah, and, yeah. and already have dates. Yes, and festivals already have. I, dates. I would say if they start next week, what they'll do is 
all the games from week one will just be played midweek or something or refixed somehow like that. So players, you can see moving to move the covers. So we are going to have play. Let's uh, let's go with the score bar. But anyway, I just just looking at those two scores put in then, and the game here at Pembroke was definitely the most exciting game of the day, the closest. Well, it was certainly close. And like Castlenock, came down Leinster. to the last over, came down to four runs, came down to the last wicket. You yeah, can't, we can't get much closer than that. No. And to start your season with such a thriller, yeah. Phil Blackley taking one cover off by himself. Mm. What a man! He's been left that task, and I have to say, <laughs> yes, it's possible. <laughs> yes, it's now. not. It's not ideal for for control. And yeah, the three kids run off on their own together, pretending they're all pushing. Well, Phil's going to go around in a circle if he keeps pushing that. Right turn, Clyde. There we go, getting those quads moving. I suspect he's he's ah, he's looking Niall. at he's looking at first slip. Go on, go and find him now. Yeah. He went perfectly out of shot on both <laughs> the same time. So, does he exist? Ah, oh, look, he's got a mate uh, now. Ooh, oh no. I'd, okay, I've never had that said to me. Didn't know that was an option. I, yeah, I don't know. I have to admit, I've now reached this, the age of life whereby technology is, is surpassing, is out past yeah, pacing yeah, me. I'm yeah. comfortable with, you know, <laughs> I, I was okay with video recorders, <laughs> uh, DVDs. I was, um, yeah, I'm fine with, but now with file sharing and everything, I still want to go and buy albums and put records on, you know. Well, I'm, I, I have a, my youngest loves vinyl. Yeah. She should have said I had a whole load that I gave to my. Oh no. Gave to my uh, gave, uh, gave gave away. Damn it! Um, because she's her she's a no, huge. She, she probably wouldn't oh have no. wanted. No, no. <laughs> Most of my collection. I know your youngest, and and mine wouldn't fit with the really? sound with the, with the soundtrack of Saw. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, no. She is a huge Queen fan. We just went. Uh, we went to a gig there the, the yeah, other night together. I, I, Bowie. I, I'm not. Uh, there may have been some Bowie in there. Yeah. I, I I'm very much. I, an ignoramus when it comes to music. Oh yeah, same. I, I for me, I, I often heard this phrase when I was younger. You know, music stopped in, <laughs> and, you, and people would name a year. And yeah. you go, what are you talking about? But I honestly, I don't like those music snobs. I, if you like I, it, you like it. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter. I, I like ta I like a Taylor Swift song. I like a Metallica song. Yep. Uh, and when Taylor Swift covers a Metallica song, yeah. then that would be the ideal dream for you, Graham. <laughs> uh, but no, no. Uh, I draw the line when 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 uh, boys aren't covered anything. I know, I know what you're saying though yeah. about you know just 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 like, yeah. If you like, you yeah. like. If, if, if it sounds good, it was like back in the '90s, and uh, and it was the same back in the '60s with the Beatles and mm. the Stones. But in the '90s, you had the whole Oasis and Blur yes. thing, mm. and and that was when. It's around, around the same time that I found that I didn't hate Manchester United anymore. <laughs> I watched a game of football, and Manchester United, it was the year the kids won. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. I was down in Arklow with, with Alan Owens, and, w and the game was on, on the TV. So we stayed for a couple of pints. I have no yeah. idea. When. Uh, but United were playing this flowing football, mm. and it was just beautiful. You appreciated. And, and that was the day I realized that football tribalism does nothing for me. Yeah. I'd rather watch Good a beautiful football game, game. Yeah. Uh, and appreciate the game for itself. And yep. that's when I stopped really. There is not when you when you do, when you love it for the love, like the best for game the ever. Love of the game. The g but the I mean, we've had great games here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, An update yeah, from the clubhouse. Yeah. Four thirty-five. Four thirty-five kickoff. So but there we go. I think they are they losing any time? No. 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 They have so they're discussing it with umpires right yeah. now, but mostly it won't be what they said. Grant. We're well, 40 then. overs at the moment. Um, best game of rugby I was ever at, Japan, Fiji. And I just watching the game, yeah. the fans, it was, uh, there was no, just enjoyed the I game. I say, I love the Japanese rugby team. Because oh. everywhere they go, they leave the dressing room cleaner yeah. than when oh they no, went the in. It's just, yeah, they the clean the everything yes. up, fold everything fans, up. Everything. And then the fans are out on the terraces. Oh yeah, and no. They're sweeping the terraces themselves. Like we not one bit of litter <laughs> left behind. Why can't we all do that? Yeah. Well, you know, why can't why we? Uh, why can't the IRFU yeah. put a set up yeah. black plastic bins mm. at, at the top of the stairs? You know, yeah. you go along from your seat and then mm. you go up the stairs and then you go out. It's about personal responsibility. Yeah. Uh, I won't thank you. Oh, is it? No, it's Indian budgie. Okay. Um, I'll be there later. 
coming back from, I was in Dusseldorf for Christmas markets, right? And what you get, so for, when you walk around Germany, during the middle of the day, you see people walking around with bottles of beer, mm. as if it was a can of Coke. Yeah. But they have places for you to return all over the place. Bottles, empty bottles. They try, you, right, you're an adult. You can drink a bottle like you, and, 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 and you and will put it somewhere and you're responsible. responsible. You're a responsible population, yeah. and so we can put this thing there, yeah. and it won't get broken into, yes. and it won't get vandalized, vandalized. and it won't yeah. get spray painted. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's personal it, responsibility. It's, it's, when I was in Spain in January uh, for a long weekend, and what a weekend, a super weekend, um, but I was, I was taken with how the town and the tourist areas completely clean and no graffiti mm. now when you catch a bus somewhere you go through yeah, areas yeah, where yeah. there is a bit of graffiti or whatever and there is a social unrest mm. or whatever but Every by and large yeah. by and large tidy yeah and and it just looks so so much better yeah. one, one one of the great joys of traveling is when you see this around the world and you realize <laughs> please people just personal i i was in 07 doing the rugby uh, world cup stopped in madrid um, and what technically probably was staying in what would maybe be regarded as a lower down kind of area, Getafe, and not a high class area, but oh my god, good football team, yeah, lovely. And what a what what a little we went out to watch the game, I'm trying to get no Spanish speaking, trying to get them to put on France Argentina the opening game of the World Cup on in a in a Madrid football town, but um. Watching the locals come out in the evening and sit around and in flats, you know, the areas are, you know, what would be apartments, good? apartments, apartment developments, big, 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 big blocks, developments yeah, maybe. yeah, apartments, but, definitely, but, but flats, but, no, what, what you would regard it as, say, ba- Bally Mun in the day, and people just coming out. Now, granted, the sun helps, but sitting around, just being there, sitting around, yep. talking to each other, cleaning, that's why, that's why they can sit around coffee shops yeah. and such like, yeah. is, is because they don't have the open space in their own apartments, yeah, exactly. So and they, they all go out, so the town is their yeah. back garden. I suppose a bit like Conor Rourke used to think that Pembroke was his back yes. garden, and, and it in, was in many ways, <laughs> it was he, the amount of time that man sat on a mower just yeah. going up and down, cutting out fields, uh, changing motor, he changed the motor in the in the in the roller, yeah. From uh, petrol to diesel. Oh my God, um, he that's did skill. Magnificent work. He was an engineer yeah. and he was a pilot yeah, and he spoke many different languages. But uh, one thing he could do was step out of that back door, look up at the skies, and go, "It's going to rain in 20 yeah. minutes for 17 minutes," and he'd be right. You know, he because of being a pilot. Yeah. Uh, he was very good. Yeah. You missed a call, Amanda. Yeah, it was really cool. I know it's the, 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 that's the joy of the of the, re, the real local groundsman when, when yeah. they know like Carl McDermott, ex of Clontarf, now the Lord's groundsman. Yeah, I'm sure he wakes up every morning at Lord's and goes, "Oh yeah, I can read this weather." <laughs> oh. But but when he was in Clontarf and like that, it, it, yeah. when he was there for a Division Eight, Division Nine game, he'd be going to you, right lads, come off now. Why? Well, five minutes, it's going to be coming down, and he was right every time. Graham, can I ask you to take yep. your all yep. in one with you? I didn't realise they were meant to be skin tight. I thought the fashion was for them to be loose. Second game in. We're, not, we're, we're halfway through the second game, <laughs> and he's gotten a season's worth of abuse in. Ah, no, just, that was just one thing. Yeah. No, uh, there was yeah, something yeah, earlier as well. Be, so, you know, there'll be more. more. You know. Got a biscuit? No, thank you. I, I'm watching my weight now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I can't fit into this 5XL. <laughs> it's must be sticking out. I'll be wearing the ca- the <laughs> the gazebo by the end of the season. Well, as you well, can see, the umpires are <laughs> jogging out to the middle. They seem particularly keen. Uh, Pembroke <laughs> warming up their fielders. And there are the umpires. They're sticking those stick things back into the mud stuff. And we'll shortly be underway for this second innings. So we have confirmed no reduction. 40 overs at the moment. So no DL. Well, it has been printed, but no need to worry about any DL at this time. I'm sure Greystones will be keeping an eye on it, though, at some, like just to keep up with the pace, just in case. Well, opening the bowling. 
I was suspecting. I mean, the Luke. bowling for Pembroke. Well, his name's on the yeah, screen. Oh, he's on the screen already, so it, I, I didn't say that. So, yeah, it was always going to be Luke Murray. Ah, sunlight, it burns. That <sighs> ripping noise you hear is not Niall undoing his Velcro. It's, it just let it go down, but preferably no. wet side up. Yeah, just just yeah, there. there. Yeah. I would, I, would, I would hope, as a skipper, Dan Murray will not be opening the bowling. I hope he is. I hope Phil gives him another go. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Just not give him a rest. No, he's in good condition. Not at all. Might as well use it. Ah, give him a little rest. Look, he gave away wide yesterday. No, I'm not worried about that. I just mean he's just been out there, and, had and, a great knock. For that point of view, also, he's just scored 92, so he's got to yeah. be feeling quite good. Yeah. Give him a chance to go and be man of the match. Yeah. Give him the highest. Okay. I, I would, I'd, I'd go Murray and Shah to open. I haven't seen Shah bowl, so... I haven't either, but oh, he's, he's right. there. He's, he's, he's there as a leg spinner. Yeah, yeah, you would have seen him in those nets. The left arm quick. All right. I don't, I don't need to see him yet, uh, as in the nets. He's probably, been picked probably, for his bowling. Probably just as importantly, yeah. have Phil seen him bowl? Well, that, yes. that's more important, not me. But I, if he's been picked for bowling, let him open the bowling. In which case, leave Luke keeping, by the way. to yeah. first change. <laughs> okay, you really want to make Dan the, wor the, 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 the workhorse today. There's, there's child protection policies. I can't hear them. But now you've made me want to hear what they're saying. <laughs> I've just got one word to say to you, Amanda. I have one word to say to you. Dougal. <laughs> Dougal and Hamish. So that's, that's the safe word. Financial details revealed. <laughs> so the pin number was one, two, three, four. Card number, security code, and the name on the card, the expiry date is. Well, Pembroke have taken to the field now. The umpires are out there waiting. Phil Blackley is wearing uh, as many tops as he could find. Jordan Kelly looks a bit cold as well. Yeah. And then you get Mr. Shaw, who's just out there with his polyester top and an under and a couple of sleeves. He's got the medical bandage sleeves. It's yeah, not yeah. a full set. It's not a bolero top or anything. Okay. See what I know? I know that what a bolero top is. I, I thought that was something only Torval and Dean did. Well, there you go, you see. Show my age once more. 1984, yep. Sarajevo. Yeah. Yugoslavia, as it was. That was a former Yugoslavia. Yeah, as it was, yeah. Held together by the will of one man. Yes, until a football game took place. Well, football, the cause of more wars than any other sport. I don't you know. know. You, you, there was a war in El Salvador. Yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah. They invaded Brazil with no army. No, no not what Brazil. What was it? Was it Argentina? No, it was uh, El Salvador and Paraguay. Oh, okay. Half an hour war. Yeah. No, no, they... Um, yeah. But... The best story is Liechtenstein went to war with Italy. And came back with an extra person. And they, their army consisted of 80 people. <laughs> and they came back with a friend. <laughs> they lost nobody in World War One. They came back with a plus one. Yeah. That's, that, that is that is um, the best kind of hosting there is. Oh, no, I know. I, I, I loved the one recently. Um, the war between Holland and Sicily. The Kingdom of Sicily. It was only recently a historian realised... That this war, okay, we're about to start, so I'll wait till after the first ball. But I love this, this little, I have to tell you. So, Luke Murray at the end of his run, and the batsman, K. Tokai, Tokai, wish they stopped putting full mm. stops, it makes everything yeah, look, look like an L. L. Yeah, even the, the O looks like a Q now. This was the left arm bowler from the first innings. Um, he bowled from the St. John's Road ends, slinging action. Took a wicket. Murray starts his run up, and we're underway in the second innings of this Division 7 clash. And he goes mm. down the leg side. And mm, a wide. Well, let's hope it's not a start as you mean to continue. <laughs> I suspect there's going to be a couple of cloths out there now, yes. mid on, mid off, because. It's going to be greasy. It's going to pick up moisture. Oh, you can see Murray's certainly got a yeah, big tail. tail. Yeah. What? What's Murray got sticking out of his back pocket? Oh, that's better. That's 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 the line Murray will be looking for. 
to the left-hander. It's like you realise, oh, it's left-handed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did nobody tell me? Uh, that, but that's the corridor. That's the fourth stump line he wants. It was good, good pace and carry. Straight through to Subaru. And somebody walking behind the bowler's arm. Will the batsman... Did they stop? Did they stop? Now they're continuing. Now right behind the batsman. He doesn't care. That's, that's a very good delivery. That's Murray will be delighted them up. with that line. Squared up the batsman. Looking very much like he was looking for the edge of the bat there. Flew through to the keeper. Keeping Phil Blackley interested there at first slip. Super the keeper. Good line. Good length. Yeah, that's where you want it. That's the magic spots. That's where all the good stuff happens. That's from taking a look round at the camera. Just making sure he knows where. Yeah, he's got his lipstick on before he, he yeah. wants to celebrate his magnificent century. His so eyeliner doesn't run. Later on. Oh. So another good ball. A bit of an appeal from behind the sticks. Good length. More from behind the sticks than yeah. anything else. Subra still looking like he's hailing down the taxi. Uh, I would suspect pitching outside. But that's keep those lines, keep those lengths is what the captain will want. Asks the questions earlier on. Makes He's making the batsman play. When are we going to uh, have you with a control that you can zoom in? Yeah. Because you can do it on YouTube, yeah. Oh, we get all those stitches just in the leg. down the leg side again, yeah. however. Super getting enough on it to prevent any buys. Good keeping. But one added to the total. Okay. No, I'm just wondering. I'm just asking the technical questions. Another one flies through a much better line again when he keeps it on the right line. All views expressed are their own. Always be aware if you're down in Pembroke that any microphone may be live and you may be broadcasting to an audience of one or <laughs> broadcasting to an audience of thousands. But whatever you say, it's going to appear on YouTube forever. Oh, another appeal. Yeah, uh, call through for the one. Oh, just I digs in the mat. In that. Yeah, it did sound a lot woody, but it's given leg by. Maybe a thick tie pad. Maybe just early season. So anyway, I have to tell you this then. So, historian, recently doing a bit of research, found out that Holland had declared war on the Kingdom of Sicily. I'm not going to know years. So they declared war, on the, and a, a Dutch admiral arrives to Sicily in, his, in, in the galleon. He unloads, you know, they're going to attack, and he, he realizes there's no army facing him. So he sails off, he goes, I'm not going to bother shooting, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going to fire, there's nobody to fire against. So off he sails. Nothing else happens after that. And they realize the war, they never signed a peace treaty. They, the, the war was never called off. So technically for the last 300 years or whatever, Holland, until recently, they, they so finally signed their peace treaty. Yep. So it is shot to open. Left arm, left arm over. Making his debut for Pembroke today. It's his first game. Well, he certainly impressed me with the bat. He certainly earned the moniker all-rounder if his bowling match is up to. That's a good, good start. Good start. Nice line, nice length. Nice cox wrist. Bye, He'll David. be getting the most out of his delivery there. So I'm pleased to see that. <laughs> well, it's it's always it, it's always good when you're when you when you're making your debut for your new club to hit the first one to go down the right line. And again, well, that's good ball. That's yeah. a good ball, drawing him across. And I, I'm sure he's going to enjoy left arm to a left arm. He's not worried about angles. And 
across the body at the moment. It's a good way to start. Well, still has slip in the gully. Murray down at third in front of the pavilion, practicing his shots. Puller. That's, that's good. Nice. Well, that's good, steady bowling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm on comms, I can't move. Yeah. Oh, it's good again, good length. That's what you want, nothing short. Well, this is a fine opening over for Shah. As I say, making his debut for the Pembroke Club today. Joined over the winter. I suspect uh, our 15 captain, Prasanth, probably had something to do with his transfer. Did he get agency fees? Again, right lines. Was he with Wexford last year? Yeah. So he certainly has the pedigree, sure. He was playing Division 4 last year for Wexford's first 11. On the money again. A little bit shorter than. I'd like, but the batsman in the early doors being watchful. Good over. Maiden. Nice one for Pembroke. Good start for Shaw. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's control. At the end of the day, the, the most important thing P Pembroke will want is, if Greystones were to win, make them hit the runs. Then they deserve it. James, this is for you. There we go, we'll have a quick look there. Press pause on YouTube now before Niall takes it away again because the over's about to start. Murray starts his run up and disappears behind. Oh no, there he is, reappearing behind the scorecard. Very high. <laughs> nice delivery though from yeah. Murray. He's asking questions that of that, there is no doubt. outside the circle at the moment. Both of them are behind the bat at third, down at fine leg. Yeah. Away on the offside. Straight into the waiting hands of his brother with the rag. seems to have been encouraged and mm. almost inspired by Shah's first over. Of course, you, when you bowl, you want to bowl in Paris. And plus, it does plus he's bowling to a right-hand. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, apart from the two deliveries, he bowled well to the left-hander. When are we going to get a bonfire here? That's what we need, a little fire pit. Uh, not that long ago, we had a gas heater. That lasted one summer. have to say it was worth the investment even for one summer. Yeah, that's the lovely thing, the summer. But I, I've often seen the you know, tabletop ones. Mm. Well, that would be the one to go for, really, where you have individual yeah. um, responsibility for it, where it's called a big one. Oh, he put it there. No, yeah. He did the oh, thing. that's going to go no, missing. It's gonna fish no, it's not that it goes missing. It's just that nobody ever fills it up. Uh, yeah. And then during the winter, it gets stored poorly, shall yeah. we say. Either rusts or gets bent out of shape, or the pipes get burst, or or the tank gets taken because somebody's barbecue ran out of gas. You know, it's it's no, no, the whole heating. And as for having naked flames by the clubhouse, <laughs> I think that's a very unwise idea. Oh, dr it draws him into the drive. The big flash outside off. Yeah, much wider than Murray actually wanted to bowl. But and on this occasion, he gets away with it. So that's two overs gone. Three, three gone. Two for Murray. Maiden over. 12 dots in a row. Right. 
three on the board after those three overs, and the, the call out run rate well, started. Well, it's at 5.84 now. I wouldn't even look at run rate till the 20th over. For me, it's, the f it's wickets in the first 20, and then run rate in the last 20. Shah's pace just picking up a little bit in his second over. Sort of warmed up, feeling a bit more comfortable. He's getting as much a measure of the pitch as the batsman is. Oh, that's full. Two that's full. High. That's six. Full toss and beautifully cut away to the pavilion for six it's runs. Been given no ball. It was a fabulous one. It was way too high. Awful, awful delivery from Shah. Almost. He really left it hanging up there. It's almost like he didn't cock his wrist on this occasion. Yeah. And it flew away to the boundary. You can see the fielder bring his hand up, but nothing was going to stop that. It Nearly goes for the maximum. And that's, well, that's... Nearly hit the window. Seven runs from the one ball. And we're going to have to have that ball again now. Yeah. Uh, back on it. <laughs> that's much better. Making up for the one that... I think it just slipped out of his hand. Ah, yeah. Himself. Look, it's 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 greasy. It's well easily it could have slipped out. Um, look, considering what his other um, nine deliveries or so have been so far. He hasn't changed his angle, so he doesn't need to. But these lads from Greystones, they'd be no surprise to see their results. Yeah, them. exactly. <laughs> That's why I always laugh at people who never bat with side screens all of a sudden get precious about them. Well, whoever said that was quite correct. It doesn't appear to be easy out there. Certainly not for the bat. That's swinging across. He tried to swing that one round to the leg side. I think it may have pitched outside leg by the way the batsman played at it, but certainly Shah getting tighter and tighter. We'll, I think we might just write off that six oh, no ball as a, yeah. as a as a aberration. So far an aberration. No, that was very full. You know, gave himself a chance. Obviously close because he, he had an appeal. Oh another no foot, ball, foot but on this, this occasion yeah. front foot, no ball signalled. Now, mm -hmm. luckily in Division 7, yeah, no there are free. no free hits. Yeah. Shaw would want to keep an eye on that. Just, just pull your run up back a little bit. Well, you don't want to get a wicket off a foot, no ball. Nothing worse. Oh, he goes after him that time. Well, that one's played away through yeah. Cal. That is, that is the, uh, the danger of bowling left arm from this end. Anything short is going to be gone Dealt after. Dealt with, yes. That's, you know, 11 from the, o 12 from the over. Actually, 13. Nicely played away on the offside, but there'd be no run for that one. The most important thing today for the, for the Pembroke bowlers is to keep the length. I should keep the line and well, don't give away 50 wides right, again. No. <laughs> but no, but the, the ball. Hopefully, Shah realizes the ball sits up. His 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 pace yep. is just going to sit up and and invite the batsman to play shots where he wants on the leg side if he bowls it that short. Better full and low, and at least to make the batsman drive you. That's where the field is. So, 16 without loss from four overs. Run rate required, well, 5.67. Well within control. Oh. Good ball from Murray across the left-hander. He was looking to drive. <laughs> yes, uh, that, that was a great reminder there of Ian McElwain. Plays the shot, and then the practice shot afterwards <laughs> bears no, no resemblance yet. and looks like it came out of a textbook. Ian, if you're, in, if you're watching today, Get in touch. We've all done it. Oh, we have. Oh, we have. 
Oh, that's, that's very good. very tight again. I, all three methods of dismissal were in play there, as far yeah. as I was concerned. He was yeah. caught behind, bold yeah. LBW. Yeah. He just needed to hit something other than the grass. Because mm. that's all it did. The grass and the wicket keeper's gloves. That one flying through to the keeper. Yeah. Murray's already built his pace up quickly into his rhythm. Do you know you can get an app on phones now that is a speed gun? Oh, we should try that. Oh, pitching again. I was on height. Um, but still, great lines. Pat yeah. Carthy not impressed no. at all. I don't know, his stoic face, was he, has he ever been impressed? He was, he was not having that anyway. <laughs> I've, I've bowled to Pat with Pat as an umpire, and he, and he only ever gives you one look. No matter how much you beg him from that for that LBW. That's well kept out by the left-hander. He realised just how cramped he was and managed to get his hands over the top of the ball. He dropped at his feet. But it's another dot ball for Pembroke. How far do you think this game's going to go down? Down to the wire? Oh. Down to 40 overs? Yes. Well, you certainly got that yesterday. You certainly got your money's worth from that game. Now, look, any batsman who gets... Some, what we've seen over the last day and a half is any batsman who's willing to get himself in on this track can make runs. Oh, that's another one that goes past the edge. How many times do you think he can go past the edge of this bat without just taking a feather touch? 17. Well, now you said that, you're going to have to keep counting him now because there's certainly been four or five yeah. in the last couple of overs from Murray. Hopefully now, th this is where the patience comes in for a bowler. He's, he's had three or four go past the edge. Don't over, tr don't over bowl. Don't, don't try too hard. Keep just doing what you're doing. See, and this maybe one flies down the leg side. Oh, that that tweet. He felt that one. It was never right. Mm. And he knows it himself. It's when you for as a bowler, you you try to force it to get the wicket because you're beating the edge, beating the edge, beating the edge. And you go, oh, just if I do something a little bit harder, try just put a little bit extra effort in, and that's when they lose the line. It's the uh, chasing wickets. Getting back on. Oh, he's no, he has. He's voice of experience sat next to me today, Graham Mooney. Many, many years of bowling on lengths to wickets. But yes, you're quite right, and it's something that people do learn over time. And it's probably one of the reasons why uh, Pembroke produced far more spinners mm. than, than it does fast bowlers. Yeah. Now, which is ironic because we have two of the best fast bowlers in the country. In, uh, in, the, wor in the world. It, well, uh, from our own club and Josh Little and Barry McCarthy um, but that having been said uh, you know the amount of spinners the first 11 have <laughs> yeah <laughs> again it's one it's of those spin heavy administrative matters whereby mm. you sort of say uh, they're all around us <laughs> well well we have signed a few se seamers over the winter of course we're looking forward to seeing Nick Stapleton back bowling again this year he had a great season last year sharp onto the hip just played away down to long leg. And, and speaking of people who've had a good winter, Nick, of course, um, his his team in Sydney, they won the uh, whichever title league they're in. They, they're, they're premiership. Premier grade. Premier grade champions. Yeah. So he's coming off a very good winter. Summer for him. Yeah, he just goes from summer to summer. Summer, yeah, that's the dream. That's the life of a cricket pro. That's a bit this too one. full. And punched back. He has that full one over over where he's striving for the Yorker, one feels, but on this occasion didn't find it. Low full toss, just pushed away. They took mm. the single. The score has moved on to 19. And but now, finally, we'll see left arm over mm. against right-hander. Oh, no, we had in the previous over. Where he bowled it short and he pulled them for four. So hopefully he gets this length right here. That's a better length. But he goes for him again. It's in the, the air, but there's no fielder yeah. within sight. Bouchan it is. Slip. Does a run out chance run out? No. no. There's a set. You can see he's he's looking to target this short boundary on the leg side so with the left hander bowling some straight away onto it, and that was a better fuller length. So I would argue that shot wasn't there, but he went for it. Well, that's the important thing from the Pembroke point of view is it wasn't there. Yeah. So he's obviously decided what he's going to do. Yeah, premeditating it. So yeah. 
you know, I'm not saying we should put a bloke out there yet. Mm, yeah. There's no need. But yeah. he's going to have one he mishits. Yeah. He's going to go straight up, or yeah. Yeah. or he's going to get an inside edge onto his mm. onto his stumps. So yeah, no, cause, cause great, great to see as a bowler. Yeah. You like to see weaknesses in a batsman, and the weaknesses yeah. can't control his instinct. Yeah, because of course, having we've both played on the grey stone in grey stones, and they've got a very good mat there, very good carry and bounce. But this yep. is grass. This is a different pace. Different bounce, different, different, ba bounce, different variations and, and, come off it. And many different bounces. Yeah, exactly. So he doesn't have that as safe as he would on the greystone surface. That's a good length. Just keep doing that. Don't change a thing. Required now. One target. Well, it's an important one. They've yeah. reached it without losing a wicket, and that's that is the important one. And it's well, a no ball. You can stifle the appeals. Yeah, uh, be interesting. Was that anywhere close? Oh, okay. Do, what, what do we hit? Okay. <laughs> I know they like touch buttons. Good land. Thinking of a one. Oh. Thinking of the single. Keen to get going. It wasn't to be. It's the end of the over. Another good over for Pembroke. So, so when am I allowed? When am I allowed to touch things? When you on the, when you've undergone the vetting and, and the, the training. training. Accredited training. At least I'm trusted to have a drink up in the booth. Well, it was it was interesting this morning uh, how much Amanda and myself could actually put together. Um, before Niall's arrival, it was, it was great to be able to. Yeah. Oh. Murray again, oh, well searching for those stumps. Great line and length again. Squirting away off on the offside. Bruce Whaley, the fielder. Jordan Kelly it is in gully. He could be interested here now. This over. And he's got him. Oh, got that's him. brilliant. He deserves that. Great length. Great length. Took the off stump. Afternoon. Well, that's the breakthrough Pembroke we're looking for. And they get it, and that's a super delivery. Oh, a little sprinkle of rain there. Oh, this is uh, hopefully lots of sunshine. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's important breakthrough. The right-hander who looked to be going after some of the bowling to remove him. Murray's definitely deserved his three overs. Only three runs coming off him so far. Oh, that's a terrible shot. He'd be very disappointed with that shot. Not, not there for that shot. Well, his footwork was sadly lacking on that yeah. occasion. He yeah. ended up just yorking himself. Yeah. He, he planted his back foot and he opened the stance. To, he was looking to play a powerful yeah. shot. Over to the and leg side. It wasn't side. there to be yeah. hit. It was full of length, and it got in under his bat yeah. and crashed into the off stump. Yeah. And that's the first wicket down for Pembroke. They've got, got that one. There's 21 on the board. The first wicket for Pembroke was lost on 25. Ooh. So we'll wait and see how successful yeah. they are. The new batsman now has come in, and it's Michael Cook. Kirk. No, I think that, that the, he only seemed to be wanting to play leg side shots, and uh, that was definitely his downfall. You, you, it's great if premeditation works out for you, but that was definitely a, an, an occasion where it didn't. Michael, Michael Kirk, he's got the same hairstyle as all of his teammates on cricket clubs. They all wear it, yeah. They, they all look very well. You same hairdresser. So he faces his first livery. And he looks to play it straight down the ground. He goes for the single. The fielder comes across and stops any more. That was a safe single. Very similar delivery to the wicket taking, except that was played just straight back. Oh. The diff. That's the difference. We're mad. That's a good okay. delivery oh, again. Oh, just a bit too wide for Pat Carthy's liking. Just pushed it a little. And he 
for the... Trying to encourage that drive again. Mm. He's looking to bring those slips into play. Bowling these wide ones, hoping for the edge of the bat. Well, judging by the catch taken yesterday, Phil's hands are working this so far this season. Oh, they're particularly bruised now, <laughs> one or the other. Yeah. Oh, driven beautifully. But fielded beautifully. That's a super <sighs> piece of fielding out in the covers. Ethan Clark there. That makes you feel good as a bowler when your fielders do that for you. Makes you feel good as a bat from a fielder. Yeah. Super stop. And makes batsmen think twice about, oh, we can take an easy single to this guy. So, no, very positive. Kept away on the leg side this time. Bill Wade is a skipper patrolling that side of the ground. Getting in touch with his bowler. In fact, it's the Whaley leg side. <laughs> Stu McDonald down here at fine leg. But other than that, it's Bruce Whaley at square leg. And skipper Whaley in his wicket. Oh, oh, big slash at that. Brought, brought an appeal from the gully. But another but good over oh, for Pembroke. Another, another great. This is very encouraging for Pembroke. Uh, that's only five runs so far from Murray's four overs. See the comparison between the two teams as we reach the end of the sixth or seventh over. And you can see it's like for like. Mm. Whoa. Well, as you can see, Pembroke. Ray stones have been up and down here. It seems to be clutches for Pembroke and the wickets falling. Well, so hopefully season game, often the case. In fact, <laughs> mid season game is often the case. <laughs> <Mid -season. laughs> so we'll wait and see how Grey Stones progress from here. But at the moment, they're doing beautifully. So, Shaw to continue. Kirk facing his first time to face Shaw. Be interested to see if this right-hander tries to go after him as, m as, as the previous, or if he respects it a bit more. Shaw starts his run up, arm over. Forcing the batsman back onto his back foot with a straight bat to keep that one out. That was a lovely delivery. Good line, good length. And of course, Shaw into his fourth over here of course there'll be a bit of nerve still because until you get that first wicket for a new club you're always you know you, you just want to get that little monkey off your back you love to get it in your first spell it's chance. in the air it's a chance it's and there it. it is Bill Whaley takes the simplest of catches and there's Shah's first wicket for Pembroke and Pembroke's second wicket against Greystones 23 for 2 now and that's a good breakthrough by Shaw. Uh, and he'll be delighted. Just as I was saying, you get that little monkey off your back, a little bit of pressure, feel a bit more relaxed. You, Bill Whaley was never going to drop that. Not somebody of his uh, experience. But And again, they part, just like Pembroke, Greystones lose two wickets together. The well, new batsman departs. So Clusters. nice fall. He just and again, it's the I would I would argue no, he looked to yeah, where he wanted to play it. He too. was looking to leg side, but again, I would argue the grass did that. The different pace and bounce um, than, than, say, the Greystones mats, but it, it, he looked to be shaping to a leg side shot. Winston Whaley finishes his in inspirational chat with his team. Yeah, just do what I do. Nice catch for Bill, as you say. They won't come much simpler than that, but he'll be delighted. And Shaw will be delighted at picking up his first work, wicket for Pembroke in what we hope will be a long and illustrious Pembroke career. New batsman in. It's Deirdre Kirk. H. Kirk. But this, this is this is um, now a good chance. Now that they've got into this game, it, I'm sure Bill will be thinking maybe a change of bowling. Already, just you know, two two new this batsmen one getting increased. close to the edge again and again. Watch the gully, gully here, Jordan Kelly. Every time he goes past the edge of the bat, he is leaping. He, he, without the loud appeal but you can see that it's not far behind yeah. he's moved a bit tighter as well he's more he's moved kind of a bit it's towards the slip fourth slippish yeah oh. and, and the and I have to say as a bowler I, I'd love to see that shot from a batsman he didn't really move his foot at all and again, just pushed the bat at the, the ball it's the pace of the mat compared to grass yes he in a mat you kind of can trust it you stand, your feet don't have to be used well, as much it's 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 the velocity of the ball after the bounce. Mm. Grass just takes, seems to take far more out of the ball. 
hence we get that sort oh, of Oh, very good line. If you go short, it just sits yeah. up. Yeah. Um, but but, but yeah. yeah. There's more chance of a miss hit drive of a pop up into the covers when you're, especially if you if you haven't moved your feet, if you're not getting, if you're not moving them to the pitch of the ball, it's gonna be lofted. You're less likely to get it on the ground. So 23 for two, Greystones now in a need a bit of rebuilding. Shot. And really be doing their best to make sure that that doesn't happen. Good bit of fielding in the covers. It wasn't the cleanest bit of fielding, but it was clean enough it to is, yeah. prevent a single. And saw us through to the end of the over. And 23 for two, Greystones in pursuit of. Well, you can see on your screen, they need another 197 from 32 overs. For the first time. Yeah, just over six. six. For just the first time. Keeping over six. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on that. We won't mm. refer to it all the time because A, you can read it. And B, us sitting here spouting figures would just sound like Michael Clark on the sideline in the school book. <laughs> But uh, but also I would uh, again I would say I wouldn't be worrying it too much for Greystones until you get to drinks. The most important thing is to get in on this track. As we can see, if if you get yourself in, you can score runs. The outfield is still good. There's some short boundary areas to target. We you've still yet to see bowler three, four, five, possibly six from Pembroke. Um, so get yourself in, and there are runs there. So yeah, run rates can easily come down. That being said, looking out to the left, to the west see a big dirty black cloud heading our way and the wind has suddenly picked up which generally is the weather being pushed ahead of rain it's coming this way and it's coming this way and it looks like there will be a rain delay and possibly a reduction in overs which could make this a bit more tricky for Greystones having mm -hmm. lost a couple of wickets oh, oh, brilliantly feel the off his own bowling if they, it, if they yeah, lose a third yeah, before yeah, the rain comes yeah. it's going to make it very difficult on the DLS calculation yeah, yeah. Um, to see what they'll be chasing. It's the loss of wickets that is such a killer. Oh, well, that makes all the difference. When DLS is involved. Yeah. Now, if we do go quiet, you can, you can, and the players are running off to the side. We will get a sheet. Then you know that it's because we're trying to waterproof the gazebo. That's a beautiful shot, cut square. That's going to run away for four. I wouldn't even bother running for that one, even on today's grass, today's outfield, which, which has held the ball mm. up a bit. Uh, but that was a cracking shot, left-hander. Always looks like a good shot, the, the left-handed cut shot. Why is it left-handers? When they connect. Why is it left-handers seem more stylish? They're hitting the same shots. Uh, it's because we, it's what we see in a mirror when we're playing. Right. It's not like no, but you know what I mean. The every right every is in a mirror. Yeah. He's getting a left-handed reflection. No, but I mean, you, people will wax lyrical about Joyce, Lara, you know, etc. Playing a cover drive. Another one cut away, and this time Jordan Kelly, instead of celebrating a possible wicket, has to do the fielding himself, and he does so very cleanly. But that same cover drive doesn't isn't as beautiful if it's the right-hander. I'm going to make a suggestion here. And my cover suggestion up. is to put the cover up now, yeah, yeah. and we'll commentate from the screen. Yeah, yeah. I'll leave you to commentate, Graham. Okay. God help you all. Oh, good Lenton line from Maria again. Just he's he's. He, he really is peppering that off for stump area, asking questions. Now, granted, yeah, the odd time it's going to go for four, but this is the risk-reward you want. You want the batsman playing shots outside his off. He's got a slip. He's got a gully. He's got cover, cover in the ring. Any miss hit, any lofted drive. Again, you can just see him rolling his fingers there. We just need a full, full. We just need to be fully. We need the fully enclosed. So yeah, the sheets have gone up. Still no rain, but we're just preparing. Yeah. Again, outside off. Good lines again for Murray. He's just batsman thinking it's wide, but it was well inside the blue line. Dot ball. So just the four from the over. I suspect, slight, I think his scorecard is wrong in some way, because it's showing Murray is only four off his, oh, that was Dan's first over. Sorry, Dan came on. I missed that completely. Yeah. Sorry. That was Dan Murray's first over. He replaced his brother, Luke. As you can probably hear they are the twi They are twins. As you can hear from the Dougals, the wind really is starting to pick up now. And 
expect I'd be expecting rain along in any minute. Shower to continue. Even Niles distributing the plastic bags. Another great piece of fielding. This is really top notch from Pembroke today. It's, it, they're really supporting their bowlers. Any little iffy moments, they're forcing Greystones into just not taking a run. Driven. It was, it was there to be driven. Yeah. Nice bit of fielding in the outfield. Nice bit of camera work from our yeah. cameraman. This is the, un the, this, the disadvantage now working off the screen is we slightly don't know what's happening. But unfortunately, it's, <laughs> there, it would, there would be people who say, even yeah. if we could yes, see the whole we thing. We don't know what we're talking about. Well, slower ball. Slower ball just chipped yeah. out to the leg side. That, that wasn't a bad option. He no. knows the batsman's looking to yeah. get after him there. Yeah, Knock him off his length. Again, pace off the grass. He could have easily just popped that right into mid on's hands. It was going that direction. It's good thinking from the bowler. Oh, you know, he's, he's showing he's thinking about this. Ooh, well, I certainly think he's done enough that Bill Whaley's going to be looking to use him again and oh, again. Oh no! Yeah, the fives aren't seeing the yeah. fives aren't seeing him. I don't think the fives <laughs> are ever going to see Mr. Shaw. I think he's. <laughs> Well, if, if they do, it's some very good starring list uh, manipulation. <laughs> Hats off to whoever does the starring list if he, if he gets a game on the fives. It's like, uh, do you remember... Um, Not a good a ball. Leg. It's Chance. pulled away. Oh, bounces from front. Wow. That was very good. It was lofted. He's still there, though. Do you, rem do you remember a couple of seasons ago, uh, first game of the season, um, we had somebody play for us and they bowled one ball and we said right that's it we're not seeing you again uh, yes. who was it oh. he bowled one ball and we knew he was straight onto the trees he was extremely well built then. yes ah yes he played only a couple of seasons I did, he, had, he did have back troubles and injuries English guy I think yeah he was English yes um, but one ball, and we were like, yeah, see you later. You won't be playing on the fifths again. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, he was brilliant. You could just see straight away yeah. that he, you know, we <laughs> he was better than we knew the force had. Yeah. So we knew he was going up the team straight away. Yeah. And occasionally you come across kids as well, and we've seen it. We've been lucky enough on the fifth to see it with Lorcan and Josh and Barry and, and even uh, Andy, where they come onto the team and you just go, geez, if we can hang on to them for a season, we're going to have a great season. But, but that's not going to happen. Get, they get pulled up the teams. Yeah. Well, sure. How many games? Uh, what Bruce has played only two or three fifths games. Oh, that's too high. Just too high. Yeah. Only the bowler appealing there. No interest from the uh, the umpire. Well, the umpire appealing would have been something else. No in Well, no interest I've in the it. appeal. I've seen it happen. Yes. I've seen umpires take catches. <laughs> that's called avoidance. Yeah. But it was <laughs> health taken. and safety, yeah. Well, that's actually the error part of the field. Played away on the offside this time. It gets past the yeah, fielder, crashes four. into the fence, and four runs, and the mm -hmm. score moves on to 32 for yeah. two. If, if, if the ball hits the umpire and goes to the boundary, it is four runs because you are regarded just as an object on the field. Yeah. So if it ricochets off you and, you're and it's caught, you're out. Murray again, short and wide, and again played away on the offside. This time, the fielder does enough to stop it, but won't stop a single. Good, Bruce was Whaley it was, yeah. who did the fielding there. Enough pace on the shot, just to stop the clean pickup. Played away powerfully on the offside. But without any timing. And that bench it could be stopped by the fielder in the ring, Ethan Clark. And another dot ball. Just what Pembroke are looking for. They're mm. looking for that run rate to start creeping mm. up a bit more. When we noticed it, it was six point mm. one something, yeah. and now it's up to six point three. And that's even something. with that's even with the boundary. Yeah. So positive stuff for Pembroke. Every dot yeah. is a big help for them. It's another one hit straight to yeah. a fielder. Well, it's it's a broken record, but the difference is extras. 
Oh, it is at the moment. Yeah, it's it's th they're bowling because look, the odd boundary will come because it's an attacking field. If they pierce the uh, if they pierce the circle, it's going for four. But the difference is they're not giving the other freebies. Well, as I said earlier on, you know, yes, Pembroke gave away a, a lot of extras yesterday, but in return, you do have to say they now have a game under their belt. Yes and they know what's required, mm. as opposed to a side that are playing their first game yeah. of the year. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure Bill spoke to them about it. Little full oh, edge. This one's an edge through. Did, oh, that would have been a hell of a take. Subra, well. It was a wide if he left it. Yep. But he managed to get an edge on it. It, it just was in front of Subra. Would have been a hell of a take. I think... I, I think I think Pembroke should be happy with a dot he, ball. He did well to stop it. Let's yeah, put it that yeah, way. Yeah. So, yep, uh, another dot ball. Sliding just behind that, was it? Mm. So, the Pembroke going very well for them at the moment. Shards continue again. So well, it must be a one spell. This will be his sixth over. Yeah, seven? No, sixth. Sixth. And look at those lines as yeah. well. After the initial sort of, where are you? Searching in the dark. Mm. And then once the lines have found each other, they haven't left. And we need to go back okay. to the score bar. Okay, so something happened there. Yeah, dot ball. So, Shah underway. It did something happen because we didn't see it? We can get into a next exchange. 28.5 hours left. Still 187 required for victory. Yeah, uh, pitched well outside oh, leg. Right, there I was a foot pitched outside. Out, pitched outside leg, may have hit the bat first. <laughs> but it was hidden halfway so up middle. But yeah, <laughs> but it wasn't out, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> oh, no, it was definitely hitting halfway up middle. If you just took out all the other laws of the game, then it was out. Well, yes. <laughs> if it wasn't for those pesky laws. This one oh. right across him, nearly took the off stump. The can on the floor. Thank you very much. Well, this, this this shows you the importance of a good spell of tight bowling from both ends. Batsman frustrated playing a shot. I'm sure he would prefer not to. Better shot driven, just straight to mid off. So Craig leaving us just for a few moments. Prashant back in the box. And we really do feel like a box at the moment. <laughs> Although, now we're taking it. We're getting the view again. So that little sparkling of rain has passed. We're Another risking We're risking it. We're, we're going to come down a little on the view. Another dot ball. Yeah. No, so no, look, it's, it's, bo it's bowling partnerships. The secret, it's simple. It's a simple old game. Yeah. You bowl in tandem. Mm -hmm. You try to bowl as a pair. You create pressure together. And you hunt and pace. Yeah, well, like that, some days you'll get the wicket, some days you might share them, some days it'll be your mate at the other end. But it's important you both bowl well together. And in saying that, uh, it's a dot ball, so it doesn't matter. A little bit loose, a little yeah. bit full. I think you tried the extra yeah. pace for that ball. So that's six overs for Dhawan, and he's given just 17 runs and picked up an important wicket. Yeah. No, no. Any wicket's important, but yeah, any, anything in the top five, it's 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 meaning Greystones will still feel nervous. They don't feel a base has been laid yet. Yeah. Um, so they still need 187 yeah. runs from 28 odd overs. And as lo as long <laughs> as long as that that three figures required is up on the board, mm -hmm. Pembroke will definitely feel confidence. I think something is really brewing. So we might see a cut loose by the batsman or a wicket for Pembroke. Yeah. Something's going to give. There's yep. pressure building. Oh. That's a very good shot, though. Through the gap in the covers. It should be pulled up. It's a long way down there. It is going to be pulled up. Just a two. Yeah. Good backing up from the fielders. It was a very good shot. But again, um, Pembroke captain should be happy with the line and length there. It's, you know, it's making the Greystones batsman drive. Yeah, as a captain, you wouldn't mind that. And no. it's a good ball and it's a good shot. Yeah. Again. Oh, just squeeze past. Le le play for down to third man. Just squeeze past Gully, who's hurt himself in the dive. 
Um, one run. Yeah, and Phil was quick to react. Yeah. Just a little hold of his knee there. But again, good lines. So Dan is making sure the fielders are square. Mm. So he would expect to bowl something wide outside the off and um, want the batsman to drive. Well, definitely keep the ball full. And then he doesn't bowl to the field. <laughs> <laughs> Happens all the time. You change your field and then you forget your length. Well, that time it was line. Length wasn't necessarily bad. Dan has an extra little yard of pace compared to, say, Luke. Dan is more into the grounds. So he does generally bowl a little bit back of a length. Oh, that's a good ball. Good, Dan. He's got that it's slightly, just slightly taller than his brother, I would say. And he does come from a higher ar arm angle. And also, I think, like you rightly said, he's more into the pitch. Yeah. So that always makes it difficult for the batsman. It's slightly awkward to face him. Uh, nothing ba but back of the length is, is a batsman's worst nightmare. You, yeah. you just... You can't you, drive, you can't yeah, slog. You don't know where... where to, you, you don't know coming forward, coming... Coming forward, coming back. Yeah. It, it's, it's the length bowler strive for. And the ball came in now. Mm. So... In four balls, he's asked three different questions yeah. to the batsman. Yeah. I think the next question is, where are you going for a point after? Uh, the next question is, are you going to nick it or do I actually knock his thumbs off? I'd be happy with a dot. <laughs> keep, build, keep building, keep building. Pressure, pressure, pressure. <coughs> and the shot of desperation. <laughs> Again, his body fell away there, and unfortunately, the ball the ball followed. Lucky for the batsman, the ball stayed low, or mm. else he would have top edged it because there's no pace on that ball. No. Well, you could just see he didn't because his body fell away. He, he just didn't have the height. That's better. That's better ball. That's what you want. You have to say, Pembroke have been electric on the field. Oh well, with, with like that with this age profile and these players, you'd expect as much. Um, like that, we love we love making fun of Bill for being old man Dorian Gray, but he is, you know, he's got a very youthful side. He's built here. That's a good ball, full, just wide outside the off stump. Batsman tried to slog it across the leg side, but didn't work. And 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 rightly so. He's he's given the players who deserve the chance the chance. And they and they back it up generally. Yep. It'll be interesting to see how Bill uses spin now because Well Bruce was the best bowler yesterday. Hundred percent. And since he's coming off from a good confident game yesterday, it'll be very interesting to see if both batsmen are anyways going to go after mm -hmm. one of the bowlers sooner or later. Yeah. So you would have to throw a spinner away so that well, he can get a wicket. He's definitely gonna have to use Bruce because like that, he has to use five bowlers. He's yeah. gonna use himself. Yeah. Um, and he's going for the seventh over oh, for Dhawan. Sh sh he's going to bowl through. Yeah. 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 So that, and it's a good move, actually. Mm. They're building pressure. Yeah. And they're not able to play him properly as well. But again, w and again, w w why would you keep him to that? Because to be yeah. fair to Shah, his pace, he, he doesn't have enough pace in him to be a depth bowler. Yeah. You could go after him at any stage if you were swinging the bat. So if he's bowling a good spell, if he's, if he's got his line, why mess with it? Just yeah. let him keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, and also he's been pretty accurate. Mm. He's apart from the six, which was yeah. a full oh, toss. Yeah, yeah which is okay. Yeah, yeah. I think he tried for the extra pace and the four, and that wasn't a bad ball. The batsman just slogged him. Yeah, which he showed when he got out. He was only playing one way anyway. Yeah, no, no, look, that, and that's why you wouldn't keep him for the death because any batsman could do that to him. Good, good length again. Yeah. Bit of confusion, bit of hesitation, wrong end maybe. No, no, it's, it's a quick single. Unnecessary, quick single. I would yeah. say. I, I would it, uh, look. They got the run, so it was necessary. Yeah, it was there, but at what a cost? A little hesitation. Yeah, a little hesitation. Maybe the wrong end to throw to, but with the angle of the body, it was the best end to throw yeah. to. Um, it was a good throw, good take by the wicketkeeper. It's just and Shah wouldn't mind this. No, you no. Know? look again. You're going to get. You're yeah. always going to get singles out here. Yeah. you're not going to worry. Singles aren't going to win the game. Mm. I think it's a right-hander facing a left-arm fast bowler. Mm. Not the best matchup for the batsman. 
put away. It'll only be the one he has. He has the safety valve out there, Jordan Kelly. Excellent arm and fielder. Actually, too good of an arm that time. Hmm. Almost over throws, but backed up nicely. That would have been bad. Well, I think I think today, on sure. today's evidence, it's 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 pure and it's clear. Yep. Left arm over bowlers are the best. No comments. It's clear on today's evidence, both teams. Oh, playing a mess. And again, it's just you know yeah. these right arm bowlers. You know they're. <laughs> You know, they get given everything. They get given LBWs and they get everything. And they're useless. But the left arm was. Uh, yeah, the left arm was don't get uh, anything. An, uh, yeah, we get nothing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that's probably because the angle covers the eye line of the, uh, of the umpire half the times. Yeah. Ooh, we went for a driven. Oh, it's going to drop in front. But well watched for the spin off the turf. Just be a single then to third man. Yeah, and back, back it's actually up. a good decision to not go for the catch. Yeah. Oh, no, he wouldn't have made it. Yeah. And, and he was it better. just flew off yeah. anyway. So. He was it was always going to bounce in front. He was never going to make it. Yeah. So he, he watched watched it well and kept it to one. Yeah. We're going back to uh, cover, uh, being locked in our box again. Uh, bit, the clouds are coming in again, unfortunately. We're back on screen only here. In, so that's we just get to see what you see. Yeah. And it's a very interesting line which Dhawan has bowled to the right-hander. He's cramped him for space for the right-hander, and for the left-hander, he's darted across. Well, again, the pink ball has swung a little today. Mm. Um, certainly in the first innings, it did for the left arm over. And so your line, you, st you, you should be bowling four to fifth stump with the ball coming back in. For a right-hander. For a right-hander. And for a left-hander. Uh, and for the left-hander, you're bowling at off stump for the little bit of movement away. So because that you yeah, expect that he'll nick it one. Yeah, yeah. And they're the lines he should be bowling. That's again, a good ball by Again, Dan. good good delivery from Murray. Do you think he get do you think he gets bored of being good? No. I don't think so. He's searching for excellence now. He knows he's good. <laughs> now it's the next background step. noise gone there, that's weird. Yeah. The Dougal noise. Yeah, the Dougal noise is gone. That sounds weird now in the headphones. Okay, just a little slip down leg side. Should be given, yeah, it is given as a wide. Little half appeal, maybe he was trying to trick the umpire to think it make, hit it something. We had now have rain on top of the gazebo, unfortunately. You can see Pat Carty looking around them in the air. Yeah, I, I would suspect maybe they might want the covers to come on. After this over. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna he's definitely having a look. Little dribbles getting heavier on the gazebo top. Yeah. The, yeah, Dan trying to get through his over quickly. Batsman not ready, just sending him back. And the rain has started yeah, to become quick. It, it is it's dark. pouring it's, now. It's dark. Well, pouring. Yeah, it's just pouring. You come from a country with monsoon and you call that pouring. Mm. That's we don't have monsoon eight months. Oh, right? very, very well <laughs> bowled. That's, a, that's an Irish kiss. <laughs> you know, pouring. It's that's what you, you sometimes send, the, you put the clothes out to dry in that weather. You would, I wouldn't. <laughs> it's not heavy at all. Yeah. So some of us have played in hailstones. That's driven lovely for four, down to deep and on. Yeah, that is, that, yeah any, any boundary now is going to be important. Um, still, though, it's just five from the over. Still, uh, still under what the rate is needed. So obviously with the two wickets down... DL will be D high for D them. DL could be high. Like, uh, if we do take any break, we will go down to the bar. We'll risk this monsoon weather and, and walk down to get a DL sheet to find out exactly what the figures are. Oh, oh too tight for that shot. Well balled from Murray. And well fielded by Phil as well. He, yeah. From a slip, he moved to a gully very quickly. Rain is getting heavier. Full, driven, and safely into the hands of Bruce. Or Ethan, sorry. My, my apologies. Yeah, we've yeah. had enough. Pat's coming off. Yeah. He's gone. Oh, he's gone to square now. Are we going? Are we keeping him going? I think so. Oh, yes. They build, the they, build, they build them tough in Marion. <laughs> Of course, Pat will be the more senior of our, of our two umpires today. He's He's been in the game a long time, player 
at a high level and umpiring now for quite a number of years. So I think it's last over from Dhawan to finish his spell. He's pulled seven overs, yeah. I think, 21 yeah. runs. Yeah. And a wicket. Yeah, just six stop balls, just finish it out. Yeah, seven overs, 20 runs a wicket. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you can't ask for more, mm. except a couple of wickets in this over, but well, happy with a maiden. There again, nice lands. Appeal for that today. And then that's when <laughs> 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 obstructing. I've seen weirder as one given. Are you talking about Angelo Matthews' incident? In no, the I'm, talking, I'm talking about Irish Irish <laughs> Premier League. <laughs> I saw somebody giving out for obstructing field. That's a good land driven. Oh, oh, safely over the infield. Very nice four runs. I think that's a sign of a mm. shot of a batsman who just moved his leg yeah. and said, enough is enough. I'm just going for it. Well, now. yeah, I, would, uh, I wouldn't say that was 100% in the shot. He had to it, go for it. Yeah, but if the fielder had been slightly to his right a bit more, maybe a chance. He was sitting on the edge of the ring. If the ball had bowled in the line of the Yorker, mm. it would have been bowled. Mm. Oh, look. Greystones Grey will be happy. Four runs on the board. But still, I would be... Not too upset of a shy. He comes in for that li little nick onto the he pads. He actually rolled the fingers on the ball yeah. now. Try the slower one. Yeah. Oh, he's no, back, backed back up by the skipper. Yeah. No, but again, the pace in the grass is is, is nullifying some of, some of the Greystone shots. Yeah. So it's gonna get it's gonna get more difficult for the fielders now with it with the gr with the conditions. Every time the ball comes back to the bowler, it's gonna be wet, it's greasy. Yeah. And also, as a bowler, you don't want to bowl from a wet ball. You're never going to hold the grip properly. So a ball just chipped up, but safe. Chased By energetically. Two runs there to Greystones. I think, I think j just for me, with Shah left arm over in his pace, personally, I would have had more in the covers and a bit more... So for those drives, the way he's been bowling, um, but no one has driven him. Yeah, they well, they're pop up drives. He's bowling a good length. That's the one. I think what Shah has to do for the remaining two of his ball is try to cramp the batsman, just pull it more closer to his body. All they're trying to do is move his leg, and just try to whack it across the line. Well, again, they're they're driving him straight. Like uh, at his pace, I think they they've a very very deep fine leg, which again. Why? It's a waste of a fielder. Full, driven, through the gap, giving chase. They should cut this off. So yes, McDonald cuts it off. Little flick to Bruce with the better arm. But safely true for two from Greystones. No, I think I think I think a slight trick. This is where where Shaw or any bowler needs to be a bit stronger with a captain. And when if you know what you're bowling or what you're aiming to bowl, back yourself. Mm -hmm. And set your field, and why have I got a deep fine leg? I'm not bowling it down leg side. But to be fair to him, so he's pulled his complete quota of overs, yeah. eight overs, twenty eight for one. Yeah, That's no, it's cold. great spell. No, but yeah. but you had you could have had one extra fielder in the covers. You could have had one extra fielder in front of the bat there. Yeah. And there's a change in bowling. It's so replacing been. Dan mm -hmm. is Bruce. Yep. Uh, maybe try to uh, increase the over rate as well. It's not a bad idea. Br yeah. Bruce is a, is very quick with his over rates. He jogs back to his spot. He, he's he's very he's very quick. So try to get through a few overs here because if if they come off at all and as many overs as they can get onto the scoreboard mm -hmm. will increase that DL. So if Bruce can get a tidy couple two three or overs in, while the rain is coming down, and it, it can suddenly jump that DL if it does come into play. But also not a bad option because again he bowled really well yesterday. Now it's going to be difficult gripping. In in with with the w the ball wet because yeah. on the seam he mm. won't be able to grab it yep. and try to twist. Well, uh, if he keeps the same line and length as yesterday, he will trouble the batsman. He will ask some questions. First up, just a little down leg, but hits the bat. Oh, nearly Ooh. got to the. Oh, it's given wide. Okay, it didn't hit the batsman. I thought it hit it. He, ne he nearly played that onto us. How was that wide? It hit the body. No keeper. I oh, off I the keeper. Yeah. Okay, okay, miss. Yeah. Hey, what? Well, it's in the book. That's better. Right on the stumps. 
in quickly from Clark. Cuts out any chance of a one. I think what Greystone need to realise is that even if they don't get boundaries, they need to start taking their ones and twos very well, quickly. Any any game of cricket I is decided by how many ones and twos you take. Boundaries are great. A little too full. But he's popped it straight up. Oh, wait, that's not, oh, that was a wicket keeper catch. I think he called for it. Oh, they've missed a chance there. That's a big chance for Mer for Pembroke. A bad ball, bad shot, straight up in the air. I don't know why the wicket keeper, he's got the gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe he didn't see it. Yeah. But, yeah, but unfortunately, Bruce got, he got it, he got there, he just couldn't, he just couldn't hold on to it. That was a, that was a big chance, a little fuller, that should be probably a little edge there. Yeah, something off the bat. No, not oh, boys. No. Looked wide of the stump. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> He's going to be very disappointed in himself. That was a big opportunity to break this partnership. Change of from, angle. From yeah, so it made, that would have made a huge difference to any DLS calculations. But especially since when it was such a bad ball. <laughs> the bonus of getting a wicket off a right bat. There's nothing like getting a wicket off a really bad ball. Joy of being a spinner. Yeah. But again, the grip is going to be so hard for him today. Um, keeping keeping that line in length. Every time the ball comes back to him, it's going to be a little bit wet. But again, good starts, you know, apart, apart from the wide. Batsman comes down to track a little bit lofted again. There's a chance. Will it be held? Oh. No, put down. Second drop catch in That's the over by Phil. Black, Black, Blackley won't be happy with himself. He's got such a good pair of hands. He normally takes everything that comes to him. And he's just, that's two chances in the over. Did two, you drop two, the match, two, 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 Well, I wouldn't go that far yet. That was still three figures needed. But it's just, unfortunately, sometimes the catching yips can happen to a team. One catch goes down, two catches, it can, it can follow. And, and suddenly you can just, it can, it can permeate throughout the team. Just like catches that are taken can, can suddenly find everything is held by the team. I think we're coming off. This is getting heavier here. Here's the chance. Phil will be very disappointed. Now, it's over his shoulder. Very, very difficult chances. Just because of his good standards, he usually takes them. Looks like he just went right through. The, he, he couldn't get his body underneath it. Yeah. yeah he's very upset with that one. Well, when that's the last of the action we're yeah. going to see for a while. No, they're, no they're staying out. They're staying out. They haven't gone off. Oh, this is Perhaps it. they feel the rain has slowed down. Um, Bill Whaley brings himself on. Yeah. So we have B Whaley from both ends. Well, one th I'll put my money on Bill Whaley not to drop a cotton ball. Well, as you say, you never know. Oh, Let's be honest, yes. hands are going to be cold out there now with this yeah. weather. Oh, and the rain, rain coming yeah. down. It's heavy. This is a great or oh, good start driven back, though. It should be pulled up, though. It, the grass is going to get... Oh, I don't think Stuart McDonald wanted to throw that one back. But Stuart he held it to two. Stuart McDonald does the fielding. Keeps him to two. That's and really I, you can see the rain on the, f on the screen this now. Is, this is getting a little silly. Well, it's silly because we're so early in the season that yeah. you're just going to destroy the wicket and do nobody any favours. The club, the groundsman, or even this game. That's a good delivery. No, batsman, ah, it's yeah, not batsman a wide. Batsman is appealing for the wide, and that really shouldn't be going on. Decision to be made by the umpire. Yeah. It went over the top of your bat. You missed it. No, no review. Not even with our streaming. This one far closer. He oh, just nice. gives it the Zorro shot, waving the bat at the ball. Another dot ball. Greystones really need to be getting bat on ball. You can see the raindrops falling on the screen now. Oh, that's a good lens. All his experience there. He's not over over trying. Bill Bill's just quite happy to put it on a good line, a good lens, and say to the batsman, "Let's see if you can hit me." Well, I this, can't believe the umpire is, the, is still terrible. keeping them out there at the moment. This is getting quite silly now. This is no. It's driving now into players' faces. You if you're if you're fielding in the covers to this left hander. The rain is driving into you. You cannot say it in that. That's terrible. Wayne, he comes in. 
full of length. Batsman slips, hardly surprising. This is where injuries. Water, and you, you, as you say, you could cause injuries. Yeah. This is a Division Seven game, yeah. lads. This is yeah. not an international. There's no oh. prize money at stake. Get off and stay dry, yeah. stay wet, and stay safe. But play the, a, play a safety. And has the, to be paramount. And the other thing about this is, a lot of these players only play on mats. They don't have spikes. Hike to the leg sides. Four. Corner. And it's unfair on the bowler. Again, six runs. Being asked to keep a grip on the ball and to keep your line and length in these conditions. And now, finally, the umpires yeah. seem to be conferring, at least. The batsmen are hoping to go off. Yeah. And I'm sure they're going, Bill for, they're going for covers. Bill Whaley will be delighted to be off. And having been offered to the batsmen, they are heading off. That six could be very important. Well, we'll wait and see what the DR... DLS calculations are. There's still some confusion over whether they're coming off or not. Yeah, but it's it's raining. Well, it'll be a strange it's decision. Well, the Grace Home Batsmen are going to the dressing room. The umpires are staying on the pitch. People have gone to the covers to get them ready. The bat I think Pat Carty's calling the batsman. Is he calling them back? We still have no covers come on to the outfield, or one has. The batsmen have now left the field of play. They're safely into the shelter of the clubhouse. Pembroke players bringing the covers on, and the umpires pulling oh. up the stumps. And Dale is striding out. Dale is striding out. So at the current situation, Greystone's first 11 in this Division 7 game being played at Sydney Parade, the home of Pembroke, Pembroke thirds. Well, Greystones need 151 runs from 22 overs. That's at a rate of 6.86, but all those equations will have to change mm. once the umpires decide how many overs are lost. How much time is lost? Well, what time are we? Somebody got to watch? What time are we? Yeah. It's 5.45. So the first 5.45. Bloody hell. Hope your dinner's on the table. Well, there you have the match summary as it stands at the moment. And while we wait for the rain to stop, we'll take a short break and let so you watch the rain come down. So 5.55 will be the first deduction anyway of overs. Sure should be, depending on the half hour.
Well, the players are heading out to the middle, the Pembroke players, which suggests they may be looking to take the covers away at this stage. We shall wait and see what happens. And we shall try and find out what the revised target for Greystones will be and how many overs have been lost. So do stick with us, and you could be in for another exciting finish like we had last night, where the game came down to the last over and Pembroke emerged victorious by four runs, having taken, I think, four or five wickets in the last three overs. It was some um, helter-skelter stuff. So we'll see how Greystones get on today. And soon the covers will be removed, and so will that big match summary in the middle of your screen. Thank you for sticking with us, and we'll be back very shortly. As you can see, the covers are coming off, the fielders are coming out, the umpires are standing in front of the clubhouse just waiting for a couple of batsmen. And it looks like we're going to get underway again. Many thanks to the 20 of you who have stayed with us. It looks like 15 minutes or so have been lost. So possibly two, two four overs, yeah. We hope, we hope here comes the answer. Well, young Harry Kirk, he's getting a bit of support. Chris Boylan sending us a message on the YouTube channel. And you may be right, he may be one to watch for the future for Greystones. Okay, there we have it. 213 is the new target. In how many overs? 38, so we've lost two overs. Okay. So. 238. So, not much of a change. We've only Sorry, the target's gone up. No, gone down. Two one three. It was two 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 two. It was two 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 zero from forty. Two one three. So it hasn't changed much. In, in anything, it went in Greystone's favour. Doesn't doesn't make a difference because they picked up in the last three overs. Yeah, no, but that's what I mean. It two one two one three off thirty eight isn't much of a difference from two two zero so off forty. One, one one three off eighteen is what's required. Looking at seven and a half an hour. One, three, three off eighteen. Is it eighteen? Oh, thirty-eight hours, and we're at off, we're off eighteen. Yes, you said. 
No, no, so that's he 20. That's 38. So that's 20 overs away. We're at 18 overs. I take it they're not going to stop for drinks. No. Well, I hope not. So thir 20, 20 overs remaining. 1-1-3, one, one, or... Sorry. Well, this is the one you want. Yeah. Okay, so 69... Well, I won't update on that. He he won't he won't on live score. I doubt he he's only learning live score. So well, we have one team in the middle, ready and waiting and and to I, go. I'm more used to it than him. And we have two batsmen who have now entered the field of play. So 140, 144 runs from 20 overs is what I make it. Uh, from 19. That says 20. That's 19. Oh, that says 19. Well, no. And the scoreboard says 17. Yeah, we're so a bit confusing at the moment. Sorry, we'll out there. We'll wait and see. Yeah. Scoreboard's behind. But you're saying 144. That's what I have. Remaining. If it's 213 and 69 is scored. Yeah. Yeah. And it's showing his 18 overs bold, and a to match total of 38 overs leaves 20. So I make it 144 from 20, but so obviously it could be proven, could be wrong. Well, if we assume that we're going with 114 from 20 overs, then firstly, keep an eye on it. Mm. And secondly, we have to realize that the required rate now is up at 7 and over. Yeah, it's gone. It's so at seven there, so it might be a little bit. There it's saying one three nine from nineteen, so slightly different to what I've said. But anyway, it is. Uh, it's gone to seven and over. It's still very easily be gettable. You can still get it in your ones and twos. As long as you're pushing those ones and twos, you will pick up the odd boundary, get the odd wide. Let's keep pushing the ball around. We can hear the bells. Six o'clock is upon us. Still a little bit of a discussion going on as to what's happening. Well, captain and umpire in discussion, friendly enough. I'd say they just want absolute clarity. Whaley, it will be from the nursery end with his off spin. He caused problems before the rain break. Mm -hmm. And that was with a very slippy ball. He nearly, well, there were two catches put down in that over, including one by himself. But it would have been a very wet and slippery ball. Oh, well this swept, one. that's four. Beautifully swept, mm. four runs. Whaley just straying a bit onto the leg side, and it cost him on that occasion. Uh, it was almost a one-handed sweep. It was just a push it round the corner. And he just needed to make contact. It was full pace there mm. to reach the boundary. Just needs to drag his length back. Well, whatever it is they are chasing, it's coming down by a boundary on that occasion. Bruce Whaley now, his second ball of the over, he'll hope will be better. Oh, and that's it's much better. better. Played in on the offside, Greystones take the single. And one Ooh. gets the feeling that there's going to be chances of runouts here. Mm. These two are obviously keen to, they know they need seven and over, they'll be keen mm. to take singles and push the ball around. And that's going to give opportunities. Well, it's just like yesterday, uh, civil service in their chase, they had four runouts near the end, all going for because of just trying to get the runs taken over, and, and, and a few ifs and yes nos can always. Oh, that's a better better line of length from Whaley. Yeah, look. Beating the bounce from the, the bounce on that occasion, Kirk missing that one. Subra ready to pounce on any sort of edge there. It's it. It's Up hit. And over. And it's, it's hit straight. Four. He's not willing to run any, and he doesn't need to. Four runs. And this is a good over for Greystones, and they've yeah. gone in pursuit of this target one way and one way only. Well, they know it's a, it's a T20. Uh, we are now in a T20 mode. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, uh, for, for a spinner, he gave himself no protection over his head whatsoever. No deep mid on, no deep mid off, really. Uh, not straight enough. Well, there's a change in the field there yeah. now. Fielder goes back. Whaley re making changes, reacting to the play. Kirk with that nice shot. And again, 
As Chris Borland says, showing his one for the future. I would, I would, I would prefer it, the person at K rather than Deep Square. If he brings his length, it's more likely to be going Kev. Oh, the fields for Sun. Dot ball. Yep. Oh, this one is bubbling up into another fabulous conclusion. I only hope the weather allows us to finish this one. It seems bright enough to the mm -hmm. west at the moment. Because apart but from there the still is a strong <laughs> breeze. Yeah, apart from the two boundaries, like obviously two good shots from Greystones, uh, they didn't get the ones and twos going in that over. So Pembroke's. Pembers key is that they're not going to take yeah. those singles. Then, then they're going to need two boundaries yeah. and over to keep within seven. And and this is where pressure can build. Bill Whaley now to continue from the St John's end. Oh, there's the clouds, and there's the there's, that's what's coming towards us. Beautiful sight. So, Mister Mister Experience. Cricket season. Island played away, cut good. away on the offside, and that's quite good. Mm. And it'll just go for the single yeah. fielder on the boundary will take it. Look, good. That's what Greystones need. They need to be just bat on ball. I take the single. Mm. Uh, and again, Pembroke though would happy with that tight line from the bowler. Um, looking for a mistake. But happy with the they'd be happy with the one. Any over they can bowl without a boundary will build the pressure. This one just played on the leg side. Phil Blackley it is, who cuts off any thought of a single there. And as you say, dot ball is a victory for Pembroke at this stage. Almost played on. Got a bit of bat there. One that just hanging outside Ford Fifth Stump. Osman put it, stuck his bat out and just chopped it downwards. Could have gone anywhere. Unfortunately for Pembroke, didn't hit the stumps. Fortunately for Greystones, it didn't hit the stumps. What well, a big swipe at that one. Doesn't do anything except bring up another single. Umpire signals two to come in the over. And you know what? A bit of sunshine is almost welcome at this stage of the weekend. We've had plenty of weather. Whether it's raining or not, whether we're freezing cold or not, there's been plenty of weather. When it stops raining, the sun comes out, and the wind picks up. Temperature drops. Yeah. Clipped away down to fine leg. Fielder there will just be another single. And we'll be happy enough with that. Just dragging that one down a little bit, gets away with it. Dot ball. The years and years and years and years of experience. Just three off the over. A good over for Pembroke. Pembroke ahead on that one. No, oh, Pembroke definitely happy with that over. How would you feel about going and getting me a coffee? How would I feel? Yeah, just pronounce Prashant perchance. Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. And uh, I'll have a, in fact, a cup of tea. Tea. Wheat tea. Three Wheat sugars. <laughs> would you would you like wa water with that sugar? Well, it helps dissolve the sugar. I find. Oh, so lots of sugar. Oh, bring lots of sugar. No, no, just three sugars. Three sugars, three sugars milky, weak oh, tea. Milk? No, don't give a cow milk is fine. Can I have a coffee as well, Graham? <laughs> what do you want? No, we got. Just a black coffee, no black sugar. Coffee. No sugar, no milk. No taste buds. <laughs> Nicely poised game and Bruce Whaley to continue. Son beaming down on him now. You wouldn't have believed it was chucking it down. Nah. Just back first. 15 minutes ago. So, Craig, 
as a captain, what would you do now? Bring back your strike bowler for one more over to get one wicket? Oh, just lofted over the bowler. It's straight, but there are two fielders down there for that. And they work together to get the ball back into Whaley. And just another single. Uh, no. No? No. If anything, I'd be looking for another spinner. Really? Yeah. I would bring back a strike bowler. Just give him one more over, one crack at him. Especially Luke. Right. Build the, the pressure outside. again. Bill Blackley. Yep. I understand what you're saying about the pressure. I just think that uh, young Bruce at the moment is slipping nicely into a groove. He's tightening the game up, just like he did yesterday. Mm -hmm. And you can't find more experience than Bill Whaley in how to bowl and keep the runs down. This one slips away on the leg side. It's almost swept out to the boundary, and they're going to pick up two runs for that one. I think due to the ball being wet, it's very difficult for a spinner to grip it now. Mm. So Bruce has to rely a lot on his flight and guile to make the batsman draw forward rather than bowling a short ball. It's, it's the tendency is to, to drag it down as you find it hard to let go of the ball. This one played again out to the leg side, down the square leg. Deep square leg is there. And with one nice throw straight back to the keeper. Jordan Kelly doing the patrolling on the railway line side today. Well, certainly is at the moment. He was in the gully earlier. So yes. three runs of the, or four runs of the first five balls. Big delivery for both teams. Nice it ends up start. being a dot ball, and that's a victory for Bruce Whaley. And one would say it's not the winning of the war, but it may be the winning of a small battle, just as you say. Yep. A few runs coming off of that one. It's that interesting phase of the game where batsmen want to take on the bowler and the bowler wants to tighten the screws. Something has to give in now. Well, it's a matter of patience from both sides, isn't it? A bowler could be beating the outside edge, beating the outside, but if he loses patience and tries something else, it releases the pressure. That one's clubbed down the ground towards long on. Stu McDonald comes in, fields it, gets it back into Whaley quite handily. Nice bit of fielding by Stu McDonald. Um, yeah. And the same with the batsman. Mm. He, he knows it, it's going past his outside edge. He's quite comfortable. He knows what's happening. Uh, but if he then tries chasing one of those, yes. it's going to get him. If he loses patience, from a Greystone's perspective, right, Craig, the game is not gone. It's only eight and over. Oh All no, very much. And they're very in it, and they're playing with free bats at the moment, and it's working out well for them. Another single. Jim McDonald just being moved from straight long on to more closer to Cal. It's going to Cal. <laughs> Played out in the offside where Shah does the fielding and very neatly and gets it back to Whaley and it's another dot ball. Run rate slowly and steadily creeping to eight and over almost. It's still seven and a half, seven point seven. This one's a full toss, it's in the air, and it's dispatched, and that will do wonders for the run rate. It will also do wonders for the ball collection of the apartments. There's another one just disappears out there. And another ball comes out. Just far too full from Wayleek, turned it into a full toss, and it's just lifted into the gardens, and that's just what Pembroke didn't need. More like a stand and deliver. Well, it was, it was delivered to him put away and that's what he did better delivery from Whaley but this one's cut away down to third man third man comes and picks it up and they're going to go for the second the throw comes in it's a bit wide of the stumps and safely in by about 15 yards See, that's what exactly happens if you get a boundary or a six your run rate has gone up and you've suddenly had 10 runs and over so you covered up for the previous over as well now so you, you see after two balls you were talking about a run rate required a 7.7 .7. Down 7.5 just from two deliveries. Yep. Hence my ideology of bringing your strike bowler back. Build that it's pressure right once away again. On the offside, it gets through the fielder. They will take on the arm of Jordan Kelly. He bounces it into the keeper. Neat bit of fielding, but 
the batsmen had plenty of time to complete their single, and that they did. And that's the end of another over. And the score now? 95 for two. Was it 95 or 96? It's 96. A slight delay. Yeah. And we'll say 96 for two. And Greystones need 112 from 90 balls. So the required run rate is 7.5 and over, almost. Well, it says 22 overs on the board. It says 15 to go on the score screen. That makes 37. So mm -hmm. they lost three overs. Three overs, yeah. And Bruce Whaley to continue. Oh, that's it. That's what he wants to do. He's getting it tighter and tighter to the batsman so that if he tries to cut it, there's a good chance of a top edge through to the keeper. That's what he's looking for. That's a lovely shot out towards Cal. There is a fielder down that way, and he will... Look for two? Yes, they do, and, and they, they easily get, get back. And they get two, and a fine bit of backing up as well. Ethan Clark, that is... Uh, no, Bru Bill Whaley it is, who threw himself full length on the ground to prevent any overthrows. And couldn't stop the two. It was a big, firm shot out towards Cal. Goes for it again to the leg side. Jordan Kelly chasing round, gets there. And again, they get two. And again, Jordan Kelly's throw right to the base of the stumps. Give him another two to Greystones, and they'll be pleased with the way this is going. And it's and it's not bad from Bruce as well. He's keeping it tight, but the batsman is finding ways to sweep him around. I think it's a matter of time where he misses one and Bruce will knock him over, or it'll be a top edge. Goes to sweep again, this time closer to the fielder in the ring, which means he's further away from Kelly. And Kelly, well, all he could do was deflect it over the line and its boundary, and that's proved to be a very good over. The diving fielder, it was closer to that fielder, which meant it further for Jordan Kelly to chase down. And now there's a change in the field, and one, two, three, five, four field on the leg side, and a man goes out to Cal, which allows Kelly to come back closer to square leg and Phil Blackley as it is who's filling in the gap in the ring so it's eight runs off the first four balls Kirk has very quickly moved on to 44 Chris Boylan being proved correct in his prophecy that Harry Kirk was one to watch he certainly is he's done very well for his side here cuts that one away on the offside this time there is a fielder out there on the boundary Bouchan it is. Does a neat job of just keeping it to a single. So the run rate has fallen down to 7.2 runs and over now. That's seven and a quarter required. At the moment, these two are doing very well in taking Greystones much closer to that revised target. At end of Bruce Bailey's fourth over, so he's considered 25 runs with no wickets, and Greystone score is at the end of 23 overs, 105 for two, and they require 103 runs from 14 overs. Well, it, Bruce Wiley, you, you, you mentioned his figures there, but we have to remember that last over before the rain, mm -hmm. two chances went down. One difficult, one easy, is yeah. what I would say. Very much so, and. Uh, Either of those have been taken, then one feels it would be a different game. That's a big shot, and that's a lovely shot, and that is possibly shot of the day. And that's six runs and a beautiful boundary. He just latched onto this so early. You could see the that's intent 50. is there. Yep. That's 50 for Harry Cook. Harry Cook, he reaches his half century, and it's a well-deserved half century. So it's the second ball which they have lost now. That's well, they go in search of another ball. The standing umpire has put one by safely somewhere. But that six off the first ball certainly makes it a lot easier for Greystones this over. They'll be doing their best to reduce that required run rate even further. It's down to seven runs. Again, it 
doesn't take much to move it around when there's so few overs left. 14 to go, or 13 and a bit. And Greystone is now on 1-1-1 one, one, one for two. The same question again, Craig. Would you bring back Luke for an over? I mean, you might make a change at one end at this stage. Yep, I would definitely bring back Luke and Dan for either of them for an over. Good. Just to put breaks to their scoring rate. Just to break the concentration of the batsman, give yep. them something new to look at perhaps. He seems to have got the measure of Whaley and Whaley. Eskimo Joe returns to the tent. Another big shot and it goes past the fielder and it crashes into square leg boundary and that's 10 off two balls. And this could be the over where Greystones really put themselves in pole position and get that run rate down to less than a run a ball. 10 off two balls. And pressure is on Bill as well. It's not a bad ball, but it's just that the batsman had already decided. It was a premeditated slog and turned out to be a beautiful flick. One very full, hit back down the ground. Stu McDonnell is chasing in. He'll keep it to a single. And the full toss appears to have had the best result for Bill so far. <laughs> I think as a bowler, when you get hit for a six and a four, your mindset suddenly changes to bring more pace on the ball. And that sometimes can be your own undoing. So I'm guessing with the experience of Bill Whaley, He'll be delighted just to be bowling to the left-hander instead now. Again, just played up on the offside, takes the single on offer. And there just seems to be an air around the ground now that we're just plodding along. Yep. And Greystone seem to be taking this game by the scruff of the neck. They've, they've got in with the intent, and it's working for them. It's important for Pembroke fielders to not lose their hope. Another big shot, another boundary, another That's six. Fixed. And this has proved to be a very expensive over for Bill Whaley, and I suspect it will be the last we see of Bill with the ball in his hand for quite a while. So he's made the change of sending Phil back to the boundary. So you have a square leg, you have a cow corner, and you have a deep mid wicket. So Kirk again facing. There you go, and he just plays it into the gap that's been left by the removal of Phil Blakely. And they get through for the single. And Bill takes his cap, and I think he can keep that cap on for a little while. And it could be time for a double change. He's looking around, and he's calling upon one of the Murrays to take over from himself, I think. And Bruce is going to continue from the nursery end. Yeah. I think it's... So the required rate has dropped to 6.4. So they need 84 of 13 overs. And Bill really conceded 20 runs in his previous over. Bruce Whaley to continue. Well, you certainly get the thought that perhaps Rings End or Grand Canal Dock is certainly suffering with cloud cover and rain. As in Pembroke at the moment, we have some glorious sunshine. Greystones come through for two. No danger of that being called out. I think the batsmen have made a smart choice of running two in the first ball itself. Gets them ahead of the game. Yes, 100%. And they right now know that Pembroke fielders are under pressure. And they're putting more pressure on them by running more and more. The last over, like you rightly said, could be the turning point of the match. Kirk goes big on the offside. It bounces well in short, well in front of the Murray fielding in front of the clubhouse. Oh, 
this, but fade away on the offside. It beats the diving despair dive of Phil Blackley. Runs out for a single. Brings Harry Kirk back on strike. He's played a phenomenal inning. 66 of 59, just what his team needed. And he could be the man who could take them home from here. Very much so. The Greystones will be hoping that is the case. Or overbalancing a bit to the wide one. And it's signaled wide by umpire Pat Carthy. 80 required of 87 balls. Finally a dot. Wiley <laughs> managing to just eke out a dot in this over. He's gone big again, but this time there's a fielder in the vicinity and it's escaped his grasp. Nice attempt by Phil. He it's pretty cover, far from him. He had to cover a lot of distance and he also had it coming over his shoulder. Complete miscue. On another day now at this stage, Whaley would have three wickets and we'd be praising him. At the moment, though, Greystone's getting away with stuff and riding their fortune and, and the best of luck to them. We all do it. Yep, it's a game of fine margins. It certainly is. Another over gone. Seven of the over, so Greystones are 131 for two, and they require 77 from 12 overs. The required run rate is just 6.4. Well, well, Prasant, you get your wish now. Yes. Should have happened a couple of overs earlier, is what m I would have done as you a captain. Yeah, you did say it. Yep. You did say it, there's no doubt about that. Well, 37 of you tuned in at the moment. Thank you very much for joining us here on Pembroke Live YouTube channel. We'll be hoping to bring you the majority of the games from Sydney Parade this year. We've been very fortunate being joined by Graham Mooney and Prasant Nair in the commentary box today. But once again, our main thanks go to Noel Walsh, without whom none of this would be possible. 100%. Puts in so much time and effort. Plenty to see him. Pat him on the back. Murray has one just pushed in off the hip onto the leg side, and they walk through for the single. I think if you see the field, Phil. So, yeah, so that's exactly what I was about to say. Dan has asked Phil to move back to the boundary. So, it's more of a very defensive field. So, now Pembroke don't want to concede boundaries. They're okay to concede singles which is okay for start, but sooner or later they would have to bring the field in and tempt the batsmen to go up. Well, there are four fielders on the leg side and each one of them has a foot on the rope. Yeah. Uh, Stu McDonnell here at long on. And that one is just driven straight and that's a beautiful shot. It's gone all the way and that's another four. Suddenly, well, the Greystones batsmen are looking so comfortable. 100%. And also, I think there's a fine leg and a third man. You don't need both. You can take one of them off. They have anyways not gone behind the stumps at all. They have always looked to hit on the V or slog it out. So might as well take one of the fine leg out and bring, bring them inside the circle and move your mid off back to long on. Yes, and that's exactly what they've done. No, there's still a man down at third. Yeah, there's a man down at third. They have moved the mid off back to long on, and then Stu comes here to long off. Well, changes of foot on the Pembroke field and the Pembroke plan, perhaps. But they can't keep going the way they are at the moment. They're just leaking too many runs. Now, Colonel of White tells you. Dot ball for Pembroke, and they need that. They need a lot of that. Big shot out to the leg side. It's in the air. Phil Blackley coming in towards it, and it bounces a good five or six yards in front of him. He's a couple of strides away from it when it finally hits the turf. 
The Greystones, they're, they're riding their luck. I, and that's exact. I was just looking at the score at Cricket Clubs and what's important to see right now from Pembroke's perspective is that they need to have a couple of big overs from Dan and Luke. And in this over, it's already six runs. So they need an over where they can only concede one run and five dot balls, which which would put the pressure back on Greystone batsmen. Right now, just touch the ball, run for a single. It's quite easy. Once they get back on ball, there seems to be a single everywhere at the moment. Yeah. And perhaps has Phil Whaley become a slightly too defensive? And I wouldn't blame him. If you've conceded 40 runs in three overs... You just need to put the brakes on for a yes. minute again, or at least try to put the brakes on, and that's what Pembroke are trying to do. Whether they succeed or not, well, the scoreboard will tell us later. This one clubbed out onto the leg side towards Cow Corner. Blackley covering behind Stu McDonald. And between the two of them, they keep that down to a single. That's the end of the over. The score has moved on to 139 for two. After 26 overs, so Greystones require 69 of 66 balls. And Bruce Whaley to continue from the other end. say Pembroke need to break through here Greystone's making this look a little bit too easy whereas yesterday we felt that the civil service order well they collectively seemed to lose their heads at the end and they went down by four runs but you're getting the feeling at the moment the Greystones are doing fabulously well oh and it's another drop catch and Pembroke seemed to have inherited the disease of civil service yesterday. Civil service put down six yesterday, and I think Pembroke now have... Five. Uh, yeah, well, a couple of them were... were they weren't Half really there. So I'd say they've <coughs> definitely put down three anyway, and that's disappointing because poor Bruce Whaley is the one who suffered all three drops. Yep. And Dan would not be happy with himself for dropping that catch. We all know what an exceptional fielder he is. You could say the same of anybody who's put down a catch. They normally wouldn't, but it is early season. Hands are cold, and today they're cold and wet. Another single taken as it's hit back out to the boundary in front of the clubhouse. But yes, these two Greystone batsmen, they are playing very well now. They're seeing the, the ball like a football. The opener, Tokai. Nicely cut away. provided the support that Kirk has needed. Tokai on 44 himself. It's taken him 78 balls, but that's that's not a problem. He's he's played himself in. He's took his time, and now he's going to reap what he's sown. And his partner has been more than adjusting for him to say that, you know what, hold one end. I'll figure out for you here. Yes, Kirk, he's moved on 75 off just 67. He'll be looking to push on and complete his ton, one would think. So that's the that's problem a if nice, you have a... Nice early call from Kirk. He knew he was going to get there, and he did. And it's another single, and they're just clicking this target off now. Yes, and that's the problem when you have as a captain. If, if you concede quick 30, 40 runs in three, four overs, then you become all defensive. And that's exactly what Greystones have done to Pembroke. Well, Bruce Wiley trying to inject a bit of pace into that one. And on this occasion, it slid down the leg side. Kirk it was, who just left that alone. And another wide goes on to the total. This one hit straight, hit big. And there's a small child there, but it wasn't in his vicinity. And they can pick up two. Just a single, shot. actually. Did they only take a single in yes. the end? I was obviously expecting it to go. No. <laughs> he's not allowed open he's not allowed open drinks on the table. Is that yeah. Sorry, you can go here if you want. No, thank you. I'll have my coffee. Coffee between us there. Uh so it was going to be very I would have made it. And is that wrong on the old eight eight wicket thing? Well, another bank of awful, awful weather out to the left. But we, I think we have enough 
overs under our belt now that this will be called a game one way or another. Yeah. The only question is who wins and by how much. I would suspect uh, DL as well in favour of Greystones at this point. 63 off 10. But even if they were to pull, to pull in. And they're well ahead on DL at the moment. It will take a, a couple of wickets to claw that gap back, and that's what Pembroke need. They need wickets, Graham. Yeah, um, although it's still uh, it's still at 80 runs. Yeah, th but these two are so comfortable. Yeah, no, 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 no. Get rid of these two. No, certainly. no, definitely. I, it's unlikely that they can not. These players won't hit boundaries. But the uh, bit of a look, you know, well, they just need to keep fighting as long as they keep. At least attempt and try to keep an over without a boundary. Don't worry about a single here or there. Um, it's the boundaries that are killing Pembroke at the moment. Mm. Well, we do have enough overs at this stage to get a result. And Greystones are ahead on DL at the moment. And you can see on your screens just how much darker it's just got. Even with the modern technology of light enhancing. You can see there's a change, and you can definitely sense there's well, a there's change at the club. Oh, that's it out. Is it out? No, he's Pax safe. Says not out. And that's the difference yep. between the two sides today. Greystone's mm. just that little bit ahead, and I think he was safely home. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure he was if, if Pat said not out. Uh, it's just... No, I mean he was a long way home. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if the a direct oh. hit, direct hit well, the would have been down. interesting. The bat was down. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was down. Good slide. But if it had been safe. a direct, direct hit. It yes. Oh, no, yeah, no. Direct hit, he was gone. It needed that little moment into Subaru's hands and then to get to Because he wasn't right beside the stump either. No, he had some he distance to stretch. Break, and that difference, well, it was enough for the Greystones yeah. batsman to get home. And Kurt now facing. But it was a dot ball. And any dot ball, you know, it, Kirk, it's something Kirk to build is, on. Kirk is just swinging now. Yeah. Oh, why wouldn't you? You're, you're both batsmen. He like he got lucky. Like like you said, that drop in those two drops in that o first over from Bruce. We were saying yeah. Bruce has been most unfortunate. He's had three drops off his bowling. He could have three wickets to the good now, and we'd all mm. be singing his praises. But it was Kirk in that one over drop twice. <coughs> what a difference that would have made. Good evening, Simon Heaney. I see he's hanging out of his window. Good evening, Simon. Give us a wave. I think he's listening to us. Oh, he probably has it on in the laptop in the background or something. Tries to go short. It's cut it's away on off. the offside, and that's a super shot. Almost helicopter-ish. That's another boundary. And it's 150 for the Greystones and a well-deserved 50 for the opener. Ah... Oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. Simon shuts the window, returns to his laptop. That's because Karen's downstairs saying, they're talking get about you, they're talking in, about get you. In. So Simon Heaney disappears, but let's not take away from this super knock from Tokai. He's got 50 now off 82 balls, and that's a superb 50 for him. He's been there since the start, and he really has sort of played second fiddle to Kirk. But he's done exactly what's been well, needed. I've, I've said it all day and yesterday. It's about getting yourself in on this track. If you're there, full toss. Just the one. If you if you stay in there, runs will come to you. You know, just face the. You just need to face the, 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 the Did you delivery. Did you put sugar in this? I put three in. Okay. And a little bit of milk. Might need to put four in next time. Okay. <laughs> Whaley again, this one actually comes off the edge and flies away. <coughs> and that's another run. And they're more than 20 runs ahead on DL, DL now. And that, of course, can only be clawed back by either maidens from here on mm. in or well, if a it, couple of wickets. Yeah. Oh, bottom edge. And again, on another day, that cr collides into the stumps. Again, that's poor fielding. Uh, just get it simply back to the wicketkeeper. Sharp, well aware that his throw was poor. Especially with the conditions in the ball. You just need to take it easy. Didn't cost anything on this occasion. That's a good length from Whaley. Right up there. Kirk turning it into a Yorker with a big stride forward. 
once he'd taken that stride, all he could do was play it out in the offside. Dot ball. 54 required from 50 deliveries. Well, it's been a good first weekend in the club. Usually the first weekend it's deserted ghost town. Dale's the only person who comes down. But today we've had the joy. Well, it has been a joy. The second game of the weekend. Absolute thriller yesterday. And this one, well, at it's the moment, the swingometer of victory is very firmly in, in Greystone's camp. And we said the same last night for civil service. We did. <laughs> We so did. will they implode? Will they implode? Well, the Brains well. Trust of Blackley and Whaley now discussing. I think they're going to let Murray continue. I think it would take an implosion at this stage from uh, Greystones. Um, with eight wickets, the difference last night was civil service around the same sort of point with six wickets then. So less margin of error. Well, they've done well to get to this stage. These two have put together a fine partnership. Hundred and thirty off uh, one hundred and thirty one off one hundred and thirty couldn't ask for more. That's been perfect from the two of them. That's exactly what Greystones were looking for. And that's exactly what they got. Partnership of hundred and thirty. Pembroke had taken those two early wickets, yeah. twenty three for two, and now hundred and fifty two, fifty four for two. Murray comes into bowl. Played away on the offside. Fielder is there. That's it's why in cricket the cliches matter so much. Catches win matches. Yes, and how we saw that yesterday, and we're seeing it again today. Okay. Murray it is from the St. John's end. Goes well again. He's been going for nearly a runner ball in his earlier spell. <coughs> Has he learned from that? Keep these two quiet, or even better, dispatch one of them back to the clubhouse. Driven. Should be just the one. Nice shot, all the same. Yeah. A little bit lofted, but, but all in all, that was a super shot from a man who feels that he's in form. He's got his half century. Well, it, with the field spread, it's, it's, a, it's the same shot. Big blow out Nass towards Cow, and that's four all the way. That you'll hear that hit the fence. Phil Blackie goes to pick it up. That's four more onto the total, and less than 50 required now. Our next game on Pembroke's YouTube channel is scheduled to be next Saturday. Guess who's playing? It's the Thirds. We do have other teams, and we implore you to watch for the rest of the season to perhaps see the other people. Next Sunday's the fives. This Sunday. How, ma how, many, how many commentators will be left in the box? I suspect four out of the five. <laughs> I can't pick you. I haven't got any commentators. <laughs> no shot. No shot. I think he played a shot at that. Oh, that's very generous, I would say. <coughs> and it's a leg by. Calling that a shot. That's just one of my better shots. Once again, I know this is like a recording, but if you're watching today and you're not already a subscriber, we gained seven subscribers last night. But we'd ask you if you haven't already, or if you even if you have subscribed, open up a false email address and subscribe <laughs> again. <laughs> Craig at the moment has 721 email addresses. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> like and subscribe. Uh, that's what they always say on these videos. Yeah. Certainly the ones I watch. 
When are we sending this out to a Russian bot farm? <laughs> Twitter used to be sort of a, a, a nice source of information and interesting viewpoints and such mm. like. Now, so many of your sort of tweets that you receive are just, yeah, are false, just false misinformation. Yeah. Loads of numbers mm. in a username. No photo. Yeah. Or, or just the one photo. Yeah. Which you've seen before on six other profiles. Hmm. Mm. Stir it next time, that's the answer. Oh, sorry. It's all right, it's a good lump of sugar at the bottom. <laughs> <coughs> Service is terrible. You can't get the staff these days. You get what you pay for. Well, exactly. And hence why Pembroke gets me. 47 required from seven overs. Change of bowling at the far end now. Luke Murray looking to see if he can make the breakthrough. And at this stage, it's worth throwing all of your cards at it. Well, especially after such a good opening spell from Murray. Only five from four overs, including a wicket. I think the skipper would be delighted if he could return something even close to that. Anything just to break this partnership and, and see what else is in, in the hutch for Greystones. <coughs> I don't often predict. Long off, long off. Wide down leg side. <laughs> I think he's going to try and bowl too quickly, and I think he's going to drag it down. Yeah! Keeper went up first, bowler only afterwards. I, well, having bowled with Subra as a wicket keeper, he does enjoy the odd shout. And we'll see exactly why Pat Carty turned this one yeah, down. Pitched outside. No, yeah. It was hitting the stumps, but unfortunately. It's got to fulfill yes. loads more conditions than just hitting the stumps. Exactly. Fuller length looking for. It's played away on the leg side, another single. One thing's for sure I w if there was reviews, I wouldn't let Subra decide on them. No. He would think <laughs> you had unlimited get out of jail free cards. Small change in the field now, Kirk facing. Bruce mm -hmm. Whaley it is, who comes out to just behind point. And Bill Whaley taking up more of a mid-on position as he sends Dan Murray back to the clubhouse. Now, I think Pembroke could lose this on penalty runs if they don't pick up the pace. That's true. Nicely played away on the offside. It gets past a despairing dive of Bill Whaley. Bouchan can't get there in time. And as a result, four more go on to the total. Four more to Kirk, 87. And 42 required now. The Aussie jinx number, 87. Good try, Graham. Best luck with that. Well, the Aussies do not like this number. Kirk is aware at all of what no. his number is. And doesn't care. Uh, but I do feel he's just on the edge of picking up some cramp. You can see the way he's running his single. Yeah. He's, he's not running freely. He's tightening up there. And who wouldn't in this cold wind? And probably with a lack of pre-season training, fitness training, you may find if you're batting out there for 30-odd overs, that you do suffer with a little bit of cramp. Nice! It may actually be Pembroke's best chance at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure after this weekend, well done the groundsman. Like, pretty much two, well, 200 runs per innings. Not only that, but I mean, the advantage of having a groundsman here 12 months mm. of the year is evident in the fact that we're even playing today. Lovely shot, straight back down the ground. It will be cut off, but again, the batsman not willing to be confined by the bowling. He's taking stuff on, and it's working for him. It's strange there's nobody behind the bowler's arm, but anyway. End of the over. The score now 168, and Greystones, well, the equation 
it's all round figures. Six overs to go, 40 runs required. It is still over six and over, so they still have to go at these, but the umpires are conferring off, yep. off screen to the right. Perhaps they're talking about over eight. Pat Carthy's saying. Well, I think we should go to this Indian for dinner. That takeaway is quite good. By the red. He may be discussing his evening's plans, yep. or he may be saying to the other umpire, no, you're, you're going to suffer penalised Asian for the number of overs, but you wouldn't hear about it now. You, well, you, the captain you, you will be warned. Warning. You get the warning of time, and it does look like they're talking. Over eight. Oh, the sun, the sun now has burst through a crack in the crowd, clouds. It won't be with us very long, but while it is, you can see the shadows lengthening on the pitches as we get deep into this game now. Just six overs remain, and one of them will be bowled by Bill Whaley. His last over went for 18 runs. And he'll be hoping for a better return this time. Perhaps marking out his run out twice. Bill laying down his bowling mark. is getting down to the business end of this game now and Greystone's very much in the driving seat if you're on the boundary get on the boundary so many years of experience Bill Whaley To be a very good captain for the thirds, bringing through these youthful players, exposing them to top class cricket. Excellent fielding. And you see, there's the standard. Bruce Whaley doing the fielding. Play the way on the offside, and again, it's just a dot ball. Kirk, he's looking for boundaries. And, yeah, and I, I, he doesn't I, I, need to. Well, I think, as you said, I think he is starting to get cramp. I don't think he's capable of running. No, I th he turned down a two in the last over. And as I say, you watch him take the single, and it, it yeah. tends to be just walked. Walked, yeah. yeah. And he is looking to go big. It's a shame he's only 12 short of the century. It's a shame he's, he's running out of puff. Well, you could physically. Is this a time where you actually think of the team and go actually retire Hurts and get some of the fresh legs in? Played away on the offside. He's going to be looking for two this time. Go to the keeper with the throw. Yeah. Might be the way to go. And in fact, no. They turned down the second. Yeah. Would you would you risk bringing in a fresh batsman? Retire Hurts for the moment? No, fresh you, legs. you keep going. The game is in your control, even with cramp. Mm. I think at the moment you stick with it. Hmm? Yeah. That's a very good over from Whaley. You'll be out there, Gordy. You'll be out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we saw the Arsenal score, yeah. Well, there's five overs remaining, 30 balls remaining, 37 required. Two very well set. Although we do feel that Kirk may be hampered by tight muscles. He's turned down a couple of twos and a couple of singles. At the moment, Greystone's very much in the driving seat in this game. Just hold it, super. Nearly five penalty runs. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Well, we saw the thirds come to the fore in the last five overs yesterday. 
They took plenty of wickets, run outs, and well, whether they took wickets or civil service gifted them the game is up for debate. But it's these overs that really matter now. The last five. Driven. And that's driven and driven. <laughs> Ricocheting off the stumps back to the bowler. The non striker thought he was in difficulty. You'll see it here now. I think we had boat bails off this time, so no chance were they taking the stump out with the ball in hand. That's the way it came back to the bowler. Oh, is there a bail still on? He should have just had a little throw with it. He might have got the run out. Well, That's amazing that one bail was still on the way it hit those stumps. Luke Murray again comes in. It's short, Close. it's cut away. Jordan Kelly down by the railway go line. Go for bowler, go for bowler. Again, they're turned down to two. But again, nobody else seems to have noticed that Kirk is struggling to the take bowler. those seconds. Kirk's, Kirk's the one who's struggling. Yeah, so where, wherever Kirk's running, that's where you throw, get it out there. He's, he's, he's pulling up. Coach, throw the ball where he's running. Coaching the team from the commentary box now. Totally neutral. Big shot back down the ground. Oh, it will only one. be a single. And you see Kirk there. He's gingerly getting down to the other end. He knows he'll be safe enough. But he's not willing to push it at the moment. Mm -hmm. And he's getting cross with himself as well for, for not finding the boundaries. Mm -hmm. And he's no need to. He's on 89 now. He's got plenty of time to get to that century. But what he really wants is 35 runs from 4.2 overs. Yeah. He's now gone over 8 and over. Oh, the bowler's upset there. It's not what Pembroke need at this stage. So, 26 balls, 34 required. Well, Bill Whaley throwing absolutely everything at this game as captain. They've come up against two very good batsmen. Oh, that's a wiki. Again, it's the quicker runner. He yeah. made it home. Kirk now will have two balls to one ball to face in this over, and then there'll be just four remaining after that. Stick with us for these four overs. It's getting tight. It's getting very close. But again, swingometer of victory surely pointing in Greystone's <coughs> <coughs> so, way. Big shot out towards Cal. There's a fielder out there, but all he can do is save the two. Well, that's that's a very good over. Good four. over for Pembroke. Just and the four. required rate. Well, it's close to eight. Again, any over without a boundary puts pressure, especially with the I, I say close to eight. eight. Exactly. You can't get closer to eight <laughs> than that. <laughs> Has it? Maybe it rounded up. Or down. Um, but yeah, if, if Kirk is struggling to push the twos, it, you know, any over without a boundary. Once again, if you are watching, one of the 50 people who are with us at the moment, or 50 devices anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel before you disappear into the ether. Change a bat for the batsman. It was there for a moment. It did say 50. Uh, and then I asked people to like and subscribe, and it just dropped by 10% straight See, away. Stop putting them under pressure. 784 subscribers we were at this morning. Oh, very well bowled. And that seemed a little bit at the end. Yep. Yeah, so ads just popping into our stream these days. YouTube. Well, I'm trying to sell advertising anywhere, really. And Pembroke. Well. We're, we're primed for it. That's excellent bowling from Whaley. Nice bit of fielding as well off his own bowling. Pace off. He's keeping it out of the arc there of Kirk. Two dots making a big difference to the runs required now at this stage. Kirk goes big. He looks for Cow. He's going to find it. Stu McDonald not going to get there. It's four runs. Score goes up to 180. The required 28. Uh, I don't know why they haven't had a fielder there. 
he seems he just goes wide. It's not he's not a straight hitter. The way the amp bat is angled, it's not going to go straight. It's coming down here to Cal, and now Bruce Whaley. It is going out to that corner, giving them loads of singles inside. They could run two inside at the moment. I don't think they will though. I don't think Kurt's capable. So just keep the boundaries now. Played away on the offside. The fielder is there. Another dot. Four off four. Another dot ball. Four, two to go. We are not an information desk. <laughs> Slower ball. Uh, not it. Kirk mistimes his swipe at the ball. And you can see he is not comfortable there oh, now. Especially where that hit him. <laughs> Thud into the box. Don't rub it. And the run rate required creeping up again. 8.8 .8 now. He just did it count. I think it were, he's all good. 28 required from 19 deliveries. And all you're going to see now is flailing bats chasing the ball. Cam Pembroke just pegged them back. Big Another blow slower. again, out towards Cal. And that's a super shot. There's Four the runs. ace from the over. And that takes Kirk on to 99. Yeah, they need to push it wider. It's, it's into his arc. It needs to be outside off, unfortunately. Anything, he can't move his, his legs as well with that. Well, whatever he's got at the moment. Got to be outside off stump. Well, they needed eight and over, and they got eight and over. Very reminiscent of yesterday's game. Mm. Civil service with three overs to go needed 21. With two overs to go needed 14. And with one over to go needed seven. And they only got three, four of those. But now they need eight and over. And they got eight and over. Kirk on 99. Oh no, I've been passing comment on that for about 20 minutes now. He is struggling, but he's on 99. I don't see him retiring hurt now, Graham, do you? Well, no. no. Murray coming into bowl. Big blow from the batsman out towards the clubhouse, but there is a fielder there. It will just be a single, but it brings Kirk on strike. He's on 99. It's taking him 92 balls to get there. And he'll be, well, we'll all be hoping that he gets the single he deserves at this stage. The only man sensible enough on the Greystone side today to pack a sweatshirt. And it's made him very distinctive in the middle. Slight delay as a fielder retries his shoelace. Kirk steps back into the batter's box, as Charlie would say. And Murray comes into bowl. And, and it's well right. taken by Subra. Kirk won't mind, it's another one onto the total. <coughs> and with just 17 balls remaining, just 23 runs required. It really is coming down to the wire here in Sydney Parade this Sunday. Hello. It's well, an edge. Inside it, edge. Inside edge is running away. It will bring up a century. He runs two. He takes the two, the two were needed, and Harry Kirk with a well-deserved century. It's taken him 93 balls to get there, and it wasn't the classiest of shots. No, you don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's in the book. Although now, it, <laughs> when he looks back on it, it's on video how ugly it was, but you don't care. He played some doesn't fine matter. shots earlier on in his innings. Bit of luck. Ten fours, four sixes. And then he, he's been suffering with cramp for the last mm. 20 minutes or so. And I have to say, he's done very well yeah. to get through to that century. And well-deserved it is, too. 101. No, the two dropped catches in the, in the one over, it'll definitely, uh, that's what Pembroke will be looking back on. The catches win matches is that cliche you mentioned earlier. And how true it is each and every time. We saw it yesterday with civil service, but today it's Pembroke who have really had a case of the dropsies far more than Greystones did big swing well he's looking for the fence they've actually got the equation down 
19 off 14 balls, which if you were watching an IPL, you'd almost turn off now. It's a foregone conclusion. But this isn't the IPL. This isn't the tracks in India. And this is April in Ireland. <laughs> yes. Very, very distinctive conditions. Andy, Andy Leonard at the moment in the pool. It's up in the air. It's a big one. The fielder is underneath it. He's steadying himself. He takes the Brilliant catch. Brilliant catch. And the catch is taken. And finally, Tokay, he departs for 60. And that's a big wicket for Pembroke. One of the big scorers, that stand of 160-odd, comes to an end. And maybe Pembroke have played themselves back into this game. And a dot ball. Just as important. You can see the big swing. He never really got enough on it. It wasn't a swing of timing, it was a swing of brute strength and finally plucks the catch above his head and we see a catch today. <laughs> Enthusiastic support from the Pembroke Utes on the sideline. So 13 balls remain, new batsman at the crease. I'm sure the batsman would have swapped ends. It doesn't matter, but new batsman face. Just one ball remaining in this. Over. And then we'll have two to go. And really, Greystones will be looking, I suspect, for a two, four or six from this delivery and mm. then leave Kirk on strike. Well, so far, apart from the wide, it's been an excellent over for Murray. So hopefully he closes it. Yeah, Big hold, swing. On, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold and it. There's the dot ball. Yeah, excellent and over. Greystones won't be too upset at that. And now they need 19 runs from two overs. That's our equation. That's what we know. Now, we don't know what's going on in the middle, and we don't know if there are any penalty runs, and we don't know. So basically, we're in the blind, but we're telling you what we think. So Bill Whaley taking on the responsibility himself to bowl this, the penultimate over. 19 runs still required. Now Abzali. He's the new batsman. He's got one batsman has naught off one ball, and the other one has a century to his name. And well, he's the one you want facing, and he's the one who is facing. It's the skipper out in the middle. Cold wind blowing across Sydney Parade. Two overs to go. Bill Whaley is captain, and Kirk plays one out to the leg side. There is a fielder on the fence there, and that comes back in. Nine and a half and over required. And that ball, we'll see that rate go off a bit because singles are on Pembroke side now. Mm. 11 balls, 18 runs. <laughs> so, yes, threes are setting a reputation. You don't <laughs> need to tune in until five minutes before the end. Yeah. Another tight game here. The experience of Bill Whaley. Is that going to be enough? The field is set. There's plenty of cover out on the leg side. And the Greystones captain taking the responsibility of coming in to look for those final runs. He plays one out in the offside. It's run past the fielder. Sharp picks it up, fields it, but they will take two. And that's really a win for Greystones. Well, I'd say even. No, two of balls season home quite comfortably. Big shot down towards Stu McDonald. He keeps the broadcast area safe. And it's just a single. And the countdown is on. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see that Greystones 1, 16, 1.4, 1 1.3 oh, 1 and 10. So this really is getting tight. Kirk now back on strike. He has a century to his name. He's been the major part, the major contributor to the Greystones total. He's got them to the brink of victory. The question is, can he finish it off? And oh, it's six. six runs. And that's a big blow. Nine he required now from eight deliveries. Again, unfortunately, he bowled into his arc. He needs to keep a wider outside off. It's just in his arc. Phil Blackley with the despairing dive could only parry it over the rope. Do you know, even if he had caught it, oh. he'd have come down on the rope. 
Sorry, no. No, no, he would have caught it and, no, then, and then tossed it. Yeah. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> Pembroke third. That's Bill goes better. short and wide. It's played out in the, the offside easy, just for a single. Yeah, that's where he needs to keep it for Kirk. Outside is off stump. Eight, eight required then from seven deliveries. The six hasn't gone in for some reason. Well. And that's played away again on the leg side. There is a fielder there. It will just be a single. And let's be honest, it must be tough at the moment to be the scorer. Another tight mm. finish. That's a good question. So with one over to go, we think six are required. Seven. Seven, Seven from six. Seven from six. Well, New batter on strike, so that's a bonus. Well, you get the feeling. Pembroke need a wicket. Well, anything to get a dot ball. Just to bring a new batsman out and how the nerves would be jangling for him, just as they were for the civil service batsman yesterday. <laughs> but with one over to go... Such pressure on young shoulders. What an opening weekend we've had at Pembroke mm. TV. Last over each game. Murray goes full. It's punched down the ground. They take the single. It is just a single, though. Kirk now on strike. Six required from five balls for victory. Tie. Can't be a tie in DRS. Oh. You can, yeah. I thought you could. I mean, yeah. Pushed it out on the offside. Bill Whaley, another single scored. Five off four. I just can't see where they're going to get a dot ball from mm. unless. They bowl the guy. Well, where do you risk trying to stop the single? Oh, yeah. to be a skipper. You have to. You have to try. And Murray comes into bowl. Skipper pushes one wide the, of the That's fielder. the game. That's going to be four. He was in a bit too close. Not wide enough. There's a boundary. And that brings That's the scores game. level. They require one more run, I think. I think everyone in, it's one run. Well, Pembroke have had two exciting finishes here this weekend. They've opened the season for us, and by golly, haven't they done a good job? Now, they won the first game. It looks like they're going to fall to defeat in the second. One run required from three balls now. Hat-trick. Well, even then... It's a tie. But what a fine batting performance this has been from Greystones. Let's take nothing away from them. They really have played quite well today. More rain on its way, I suspect. And that's it. The ball flies away to the boundary on the offside. And Greystones are victorious in the last over. They win by seven wickets. And that is a fabulous performance by Greystones. Good performance by Pembroke. Four changes made to the side today. And again, a last over thriller. Glad the season started, Graham. Oh, you can't argue with, you know, it's two great games. Just unfortunately, fine, fine margins. When it comes down to any time a game comes down to the last over, you're always going to be pointing to this, that. It, it, I think it'll just come down to, you can't argue, the man who hits 111, not out, was dropped twice in an over. Uh, that is the... That has to be the big point of the game. Well, Pembroke thirds, they were put into bat this morning with Greystones winning the toss. And you can see that really the only double figure scores, well, everybody sort of was left in the wake of Daniel Murray. He got 92 before being run out after the, off the last ball of the innings. Jordan Kelly with 25, but second highest scorer, of course, extras with 38. Mm -hmm. And then Bruce Whaley with 20 and Bill Whaley with 17. And Pembroke sort of limped really to 219. Mm. 
But it's a tough ground to, to score on at this time of year, and they would have felt that they were in with a shout. Oh, no, they were definitely in with a shout. Like I said, if, if they'd held a few catches, all it took was one to change the game. Um, There's the Greystones bowling in the first innings, and Botcher was the pick of the bowlers, three for 36 from his over, eight overs. But I was impressed with Connor Peniston Bird. He took two for 25, uh, but he provided a lot of threat up top and did well for his skipper. 38 extras was more than Greystones will want to concede, but as we've seen in these early season games, uh, you often can have huge amount of extras, especially with leg side wides. This is Greystones reply, and of course the standout number there, Harry Kirk, 111, not out. He saw the side home. He came in when the score was 23 for two, and he himself and the other opener, Tokai, he scored 60, and the two of them put on 160. But the most promising thing from a Pembroke point of view was there were only 21 yeah. extras. Much, much better performance. Much better than yesterday. Yeah. And that was enough to see them home. <laughs> On the bowling side for Pembroke, again, a lot less extras and a lot less wides than there were yesterday. Um, but still, that partnership of 166, devastating for Pembroke. And it, mm. it's the it the, took the, the home. Yeah, yeah no, look. How how things how th it's small margins it's it's a little drop catch like uh, uh, Bruce will be kicking himself because it, especially off your own bowling you could argue well, should the wicket keeper have gone for it maybe uh, that's out in the pitch who called for it first and the same over uh, Phil will be kicking himself he he normally feels in the slips he's got a great pair of hands and it just just didn't quite get to it slipped went through maybe a greasy ball and uh, Kirk wasn't on many when when that happened. Well, one of the positive signs, of course, for Pembroke today was the was the uh, debut of Shah. He bowled eight overs, three maidens. You don't often see that these days. And one for twenty-eight were his figures before that got whipped away. Here, here. What are we looking? Oh, is this the winning moments? No. Oh, it is the winning moments. Yep. And cut away, and once it beat the ring, it was nothing to stop it on its journey to the boundary. And only the fence and the wall and a row of houses stopping it travelling across the railway. Well, two games of cricket and the threes are one and one. And they'll be our next game up next Saturday. Again, I suspect a one o'clock start. And again, I suspect a day for wearing plenty of layers. Many thanks to the many of you who tuned in today. And uh, we thank you and we thank Graham and uh, Prasanth for the help in the commentary box. And of course, as usual, we thank Niall for his help. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, even if you were a Greystone supporter today. Why not add Pembroke to your subscriptions and you may see more games of cricket this summer. Thank you for joining us. And hopefully you'll join us again next week, by which time I hope that Graham and myself have thawed out. It's the thirds on Saturday and the fabulous fifths on Sunday. So we'll see you then, and we'd like to say thank you and goodbye for now. Good night.